You, you're just mad because we. You're just mad because we came in here and just wrecked your ass. Well, besides maybe like Russia and uh, British. What the, the British bro, had the hell are you talking about? I was gonna about. say, you didn't do anything to my ass, I don't think. Bro, the Brits Jesus. invaded us before. Remember 1812? They burned the White House down. Yeah, Yeah, but then but then we kicked them out of like, you know, a New Orleans. Yeah, dude, we something. burned the White House down and then in 1992 you rebuilt it and put NWA in charge. I saw that yeah. music video. That was legit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you ever seen that? Fucking express yourself and it's just, like live from the black house. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I never <laughs> it's seen just like, it. Fucking Dr. Dre sat in the president's chair and all f the rest of the four of them were just like, ooh. To be fair, um. I like, think it was four at that time. Oh, apparently, the Brits got like lined up by the Germans because of like, you know, wet screen or something. Mm hmm. I don't know. All I know is we're not really worth much as a country anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's good to do some. I mean, now we're talking about the stock market, Britain is like fucking five dollars now. Yes. Uh, our exchange rate is pretty good actually compared to the rest of Europe at the moment. Yeah, I just, I just got the, the entirety of Britain for ten dollars. So yeah, we, we um, so wait, hold we're on. coming out of lockdown and people are screaming, but the so country what, sort of needs to do something to... So what you're saying is that I could buy a McCurran Senna for like five bucks. You yeah. will be able yeah. to with McLaren depreciation in 10 years. <laughs> you I can mean, buy like a 12C fund or 100K now. What's the exchange rate right now? One. Uh, ex what, the exchange rate on UK to... US, yep. Or US yeah, to UK. Last I checked it was a dollar eleven, which is about what it was pre-pandemic, so... <laughs> so we can, so we can, so, so we can help you buy your shit, basically. Oh, it's one twenty-three. There you go. Oh, okay. And it was, well, I think it was like one eleven, one twelve before. So. Laughs in stable economy. Yes, yes. Well, I don't know. Who, I don't know who. Here's the thing. I don't know who's stable anymore at this point. I just want to like just be careful and, nowadays. And there, uh, and there, uh, I have a challenge for your fucking great German manufacturers, please design a good-looking SUV already, for fuck's sake. The Tiguan looks okay. Fuck hey, it! The, the, the Q7 is kinda good. No, no it fuck isn't. that! <laughs> it's fucking no. no, it isn't. But you own, you own a Q7! No, I don't. My dad does. You, st you still own it, basically. My dad owns a Hyundai i20. I'm not gonna defend that. Hey, <laughs> Depends what well, I twenty. Wait, hold on. Why are we in server region Russia? Yeah, Russia? That, I, I don't know why it does, it does that from time to time. I wanted that too. <laughs> because I'm here and I'm pretty close to the border, actually. Wow. The, 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 they've got Europe and Russia. Bro, Russia is part of Europe, please. You know. I was just saying you're like half European, half Asian, in a way. I'm not European, I want servers in my country because uh, I'm, I'm not Brexit I'm not European. server. No, I'm not European, I'm not Russian, I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> also, go back to your SCV argument, at least you're not like uh, either Mitsubishi or Ford. Like, <laughs> I think like, Mitsubishi is yeah. yeah. no. <laughs> apparently pulling out of America. Because <laughs> <'cause>, imagine... <laughs> Wait, you go first. I have a funny thing to mention, or an interesting comment about that. Go on. Uh, no. Mitsubishi is basically committing Sudoku at the moment. Like no one buys them anymore. And they just kill off their their own brand mm -hmm. by renaming the cars that made them into <laughs> I was like, fucking SUVs and stuff. Castro, goddamn it, uh, John. Uh, I plan on finishing the race today. Go on. The Lancer SUV. I was gonna say you oh, decided yeah. that. You decided that you just you decided to name your uh, is it Lance is it Ant Lancer or is it Eclipse? Eclipse, there you go. The Eclipse. You yeah. you name your Eclipse into an SUV and then Ford decided, you know what? Let's just one up you guys. We're gonna make it a Mustang Mach. Yeah, yeah. The oh Mustang. my. So oh God. If, if an Eclipse is an SUV, then the Celica is a hatchback. I'm not gonna lie. I was so pissed off when I look at the uh, car in the last hour. I was like, wait, why is does it exist? <laughs> it's not, I don't think it's that bad. I want to buy one. Um, okay, so I mean, the other day I went, I, I went to the outlets, right, because my brother wanted hiking shoes because he's in, he's he's hiking right now. Um, we passed by a Mitsubishi uh, dealer, nice. and the and literally like <laughs> the whole dealer you could see from the street, like you you know there was no cars behind the building because behind the building was a freeway. 
like the, literally the ramp and shit. So literally the only cars that were there were like a bunch of Mirages and then it was like Camaros, Mustangs and a bunch of other used cars they took in. I was like, what the fuck? Like, what, the, what happened to their inventory? What does Mitsubishi even sell in America? The Mirage and the, and the Eclipse crossover. That's it. Drugs. Basically, yeah, it sucks. I mean, we get the ASX, which is a rebadge something from about 20 years ago, because that thing's ridiculously old. And we also get the pickup truck, which they keep putting weird faces on for some reason. Actually, it happens, let me check John, I... yes. TMC, didn't you want to buy an Eclipse like on eBay, but it only popped up like horribly tier based tuned stuff? Wait, huh? Oh, what was it? Didn't you look up like eclipses on eBay or something once? I you know. No, I remember the only car that I really looked up were Sentra SERs because they're cheap. And um, <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, all of them were riced out. So I was like, no, I'm, I don't want them riced. Here's here's the thing. Um, so Mitsubishi is not as great in the United States in general, but in the Philippines, where I were like half of my I live basically. Yeah. We have be a better list than what we have in the United States because we have, um, okay, what do we have? We have, a, we have a Mirage, obviously. Now we have an Expander oh, wow. Cross. And then we have a Pajero. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. But, well, I mean, in the Philippines, aren't they just happy to not drive an ox? <laughs> that, that is. That is. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nowadays, there's. If, if you want to if you want to get around the Philippines just quick, you need a bike because everyone has cars now and they're just like blocking each other like what the fuck? Yeah, I mean uh, Mitsubishi should just stay in Asia and they'll I, I think that's the plan because they can't really do anything like I mean in this country they're a joke. Then they I'm not gonna lie, how many cars aren't selling? What are we gonna do? Uh, actually, how could this happen? Fun fact: I I have seen about three or four Eclipse crosses. All right. Three yep. of them have had fucking written down the side in big bold letters the new Mitsubishi Across. Now, like it's a dealer car, like it's got like now from two four nine per month, subject to mm, your knees or something. So basically, <laughs> so basically, Mitsubishi is just the American version of Peugeot now. Uh, well, no, Peugeot sells cars well enough. I mean, <laughs> what Peugeot sells cars? Mitsubishi sells things. Renault's the one. Nah, I don't know Renault's this time. <laughs> Mitsubishi keyboards. Well, they they, they used to sell TVs in the States. What, Peugeot? Yeah. No, Mitsubishi. I was about to say, I don't want a Peugeot also, television. Mitsubishi, <laughs> Mitsubishi Electronic. But, um, I would rather buy a Pajero and then bring it to the United States than and buy anything in the United States for me. You don't want a modern Pajero. Have you seen I a will... modern Pajero? Pajero, okay, let's get this thing. Pandero. A dickhead. Mitsubishi dickhead. Pandero. Right. Pandero. No, here's, what, no, here's, here's what I want to do with it. I'm going to make it as the car as fuck. And just like the go car. through like... Like, come on. You, you, you got, Have you awesome. seen a modern Pajero? They look like what happens on automation when you put a fixture in the wrong place and it breaks the car. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Right, hold on. How about this? Maybe you should just... Uh, at least can you... Like, when I go to the Philippines again, uh, can I please drag your ass to there so we can show it to me in, in real life? I'm showing you pictures of it here. Look. <laughs> what is Does that look appealing to you in any way? <laughs> oh god. Uh... I mean, well, I, I, I here's think they could find a use to, uh, for it. It's a great shooting target. Well, no, here's what I want to do with it. I'm gonna, like, re modify everything and make it look like the car. Just, like, remove all the. Why not just buy a different car? <laughs> no, nah, what if I want to go off roading? Why not just buy a Land Cruiser? 220, yeah. Also, I spent years I was typing. I was gonna say, do they even have Land Cruisers? Also, to, uh, to, to address something I said earlier, currently the cheapest McLaren on eBay is £73,000. I thought it was $73. And that's like for a 2013 12C, so. 
Oh, oh, you hey, guys want to cool. see something even worse? What is what? that? Oh, <laughs> oh god. god. Oh no. They made the Murano uh, cross uh, capulet, right, so please. I guess I... I'm not a moderator, Peter. How the fuck do I believe that? Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you do is you set fire to your screen. <laughs> I mean, what's the fuck my life? Oh, actually, speaking of which, are you ready for the most pointless car in the world? Yeah, go for it. I'm here now. Hello, Sean. Hello. Hello. This is a real car that they're really going to make. And it's coming out very soon. Now. Here it is. What the fuck is oh. the point of that? Oh. By the way, you can make that car even more pointless by fitting oh. the uh, the engine from a Golf R in it, so you can have a 300 horsepower Cabriolet crossover for oh, no reason. I'm, I'm, I'm this, car, <laughs> this car is just screaming, entitled Karen. What my car is screaming is they are going to sell two of them, and it's going to be good that they sell two. Guys, let's talk about actually decent cars now. I have a quick question for you. How many, like, you say, how many Celicas there are now for sale in Poland? How many? Well, no. yes. Over a hundred. Uh, Poland, I mean, half of them have probably been stolen. <laughs> um, Half of them, <laughs> half oh, of them are Fiat One Two Sixes with pop headlights installed on them. So I'm going to say thirty. No, there's three. Oh. oh. Are any of them Carl Sands Limited Edition? We're watching a video. What? Uh, unfortunately not. But all of them are GT4s. Ooh. Nice. That's so yeah. they're basically they're being sold by one dealership who specializes in Japanese cars. <laughs> no, because one is on the fucking left side of the country. One of them is on the fucking south, and one of them is on the fucking north. Maybe Poland's really sh short now. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't uh, say yeah. that. I drive <laughs> through a Euro Truck Simulator. It's the longest time of your life because the fucking speed limits are stupid. I love yeah, Poland. Is, I, is Poland, is a, Poland is an excellent country, and I would love to live there. However, driving through on Euro Truck Simulator is awesome. Yeah, and they also forgot to put in half the fucking cities. <laughs> There's yeah, but that's just... They can't put in every... Mind you, then again, they did put in fucking Grimsby, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they put in Yorkshire? Did they do what? Did they put in Yorkshire, Yorkshire in the game? Yorkshire's a fucking... That's not a city. <laughs> that's a head. It's a district. <laughs> it encompasses a lot of shit. Oh, yeah, um... Oh, crap. Yeah, Christ. Uh, yeah, John, that was pretty big during the time, I'd say, for sure, with GT4. How about you get one best so we can buy it now? How about you have a... God, that speaker that drove past me yesterday was so fucking sick. Fuck it, I'm booking a desk, right? I'm, I'm booking a desk, right? I, what, I, for a Toyota Celica? Yes. Alright, oh, I thought you were going to say a Volkswagen T-Rock camera. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like you looked at Ender's car and was like, I could do one better. <laughs> hey. I'm going to buy this 30,000 fucking whatever backwards currency they have in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably bloody, you fucking uneducated fools of here, you don't have fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not doing. Uh, again, I really like Poland, so I'm not really doing it. <laughs> yep, I like Poland. Like I'm gonna land there and get immediately shot. I, 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 re I remember like in fifth grade when I really just thought Poland was just a wasteland with stolen cars. <laughs> 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 that was my impression of the country. <laughs> no, that's the countries next to it. <laughs> oh. Czechoslovakia. Oh. Imagine like yes. little Ender, little Ender <laughs> back in school just looking at the map. Oh shit, it's New Germany. Yes. <laughs> hmm. It's like that time Wouldn't like Top Gear. It's just <laughs> like when Top Gear did it, when Top Gear was doing that road trip and they were like going through the map and they was like, oh this is all full of Americans, this is full of spiders, this doesn't <laughs> exist <laughs> anymore, this is what, full what? of terrorists. This <laughs> Wait, is occupied by the US, they're gonna shoot <laughs> you there. What well, was it? That was my. Well, okay, hold on. What just for my American skin? <laughs> Which one? I think it was America. <laughs> no, that is true. No, it was I Afghanistan, know. I think. Oh, no. Iraq was the one that was owned by the. Oh, yeah, right. 
How much for your rack? Twenty dollars. Sold. <laughs> I can do you twenty five dollars cash. Wait a minute. Why is Discord saying I'm Russian? What? <laughs> wait, <laughs> what? I, I don't know That's why. Right. Wait, wait, who's, who's having a military helicopter outside right now? Are you talking about me? Isn't Germany basically full of American military bases? So. Uh, they're getting dra uh, they're getting back uh, sent back to the U.S. right now. So. Oh yes. no, that's never a good sign when <laughs> not, it comes not, to the not, Germans. Not, not gonna <laughs> lie, not gonna lie. The only Taco Bell we have inside Germany is inside an American air base. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> wait for the day Angela Merkel invades us all. Mm -hmm. mm. Bruh. Our military is so fucking done, we have only like two operational planes out of our 1200. Yeah, that's because <laughs> the Germans are sat there and just like, it's like, oh, why Wait. are you complaining about people, refugees? Let them all in, let's do this, let's do okay. that. And it's just, okay. Yes. You have planes? We have planes, but they keep... They allowed them to have planes now. <laughs> What? Well, you can't call you can't call them planes at the moment because all of them are just stuck on the ground because of safety hazards. Yeah, but they don't have, have face masks on there. I, I, one of my favorite things was when <laughs> all of the uh, of our tornadoes, like our F one hundred elevens, got retrofitted with new huts and stuff. And then the pilots complained that the hut was way too bright, like 10 times what it should be. So they just got fucking blinded during night operations. Couldn't fly them. <laughs> I really like Le Mans when it was like literally just a road between two cities. <laughs> yeah. Like the, 90, like the 1920s Le Mans, which is just straight. Then a then a night uh, like a, a eighty degree corner and then yeah. straight. No. The, the only twenty four hour drag race. It's like Spa as well, and like you see the original map of Spa and realize that none of Spa exists anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that was, all that was just the highway around the country. Yeah, it, it, the French way of building tracks was here's a location, here's a location. How long is it? Fifty miles. Excellent. It's a racetrack. Yes. Oh. They did that. They had like that 24 hours race where it was like a 50 mile track. Uh, track. So like I think they completed the 13 laps because everything broke down. <laughs> I, I, oh. I still wish uh, some game would in implement like the first version of Le Mans, but it would be kind of pointless because it really is just dirt. The earliest oh. one I've seen is like 1971 from the PC2. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, PC2 oh, had 71 Le Mans, really? If you bought yes. the season pass. Oh, yeah, I'm not oh, yeah. fucking season pass for that shit. I bought the mm -hmm. season pass and I don't even like the game just because I wanted to drive an Astra for no reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You wanted. Just like I said, you don't mm -hmm. like uh, what's called slightly mad games now, basically. Wait, yeah. say that again? You don't like uh, slightly mad games in general because you don't like Shin 2, you don't like. Party Cards 1, Party Cards 2, and now you definitely are not gonna like PC3. Oh yeah, because Lightly Mad Studios is a shit developer. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, PC2 could have done so much better and got rid of the, the problems that the first PC, uh, PC had, but nah, they just slapped a 2 on it and got some more cars in it, and that was it. And snow. And snow, yes. Yeah. Okay, just to quickly defend myself, the reason I bought the thing is because I saw a Panos Esperante and I was like, I want to drive that, and this is on offer, so sure. And now I haven't driven Panos. I got the you game from the Humble Bundle. Bundle. I didn't yeah, I got charity, the game from the Humble Bundle. So that's literally why only the reason why I own it. It's better than the first game by a million miles. So. Bugatti Circuit? Um, yeah, Forza has the Bugatti Circuit. I've already driven it a couple times. Oh fuck. The it's circuits. a motorcycle track really. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. I mean when you I mean here's the thing, when you're racing against online then yeah that's gonna be the problem. Well the big issue with the wait, did we run into CC I think we ran into CC with the gate Never mind the Bugatti circuit's great. No we didn't. <laughs> okay, never mind it's shit. Um <laughs> We ran some oh we ran fucking Mueller's V eight, yo oh, fuck, yeah no, I remember that. 
M Mule's V8 supercars, bless it. <laughs> bless that series. <laughs> bless that fucking... Oh, God. Hi, oh, God. Do you think... By the way, uh, Shikane, do you think this is a good idea racing a Viper around Maggiore? Which one? Maggiore? Maggiore. Uh, the uh, Group 3 and GP. Uh, How many laps? Uh, we're doing a sprint race and a... Well, we're doing a sprint race and um and two uh, fe features. Well, sprint race, yes. Tire um feature and the two features, no. And then the tire wear. Okay, so I might have a problem with that, but definitely in the sprint, definitely. I might have a good advantage. Yeah, because I'm no, using that one. If there's no heavy tire wear, then yeah, I'd say go for the Viper. Which one's Majador? Is that the one with the chicanes? <laughs> Majora is the one with the with the big drop and like that bank corner. The yeah, the chicane. Majore, Majore Italiano, Majore. The lake track. Yep. <laughs> the one that's got cool lighting on it. The only one I remember is that fucking village track. But I, 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 uh, I love uh, this. I call it the fifth one. <laughs> GT Sport did always. a fantastic job on its made-up courses because it makes them just as dull as like modern-day FIA courses are. Oh, well, it is FIA. Hey, Majora is thick. Though. Majora, Majora is, is thick. Majora is supreme. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you know what? What's up, Rush? Do you know why I'm stuck? Do you know why I'm starting to hate a bit more for some reason? Because people use it too much. It's not because of the track yeah. itself. Uh, it's yeah, yeah. Seat, it's I seat know side. That. I don't know why Seaside's used a lot. I'm like, bruh. And, uh, who, who am I talking to? Yes. I am talking to Rally Silica, Ender Failure, The Real Emil, and Mikhail2480, and Sean. Ender, so you really like the white president's meme. How, how, how do you think you're gonna like white Shrek? Just so you know, what? Renegade, he's lying to you. He has multiple personalities disorder, and he's all the same person. Two minutes and ten <laughs> seconds of stretched out Shrek walking. Is my PS3 on fire yet? So, no. I'm like saving it because I'm, I'm playing the game burn off my hard drive. And so, yeah, I don't want to fucking use the disc. I'd too be much. on fire if my PS3 was on for this one because like, that thing is. That thing looks hot. <laughs> oh. Oh, I installed a, a new exhaust on the Civic now and now it sounds like every really car <laughs> in the game. I thought you was gonna say I installed a new exhaust on my PS3. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the I fucking PS3 to needs a fucking exhaust. That thing probably kicks out more emissions than a fucking diesel. Like a fucking... I'm really not having a good experience with my con uh, with my PlayStation consoles and the uh, like the disc readers because every every console I've had up to this point which got wrecked was because of the discs. Uh, Have of you the ever disc cleaned it? Uh, that we yes, didn't know. Yes, I actually have. I actually have. There was hesitation really? there. I was see, that <laughs> exactly. was a bit of hesitation there. No, 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 I have, I have. <laughs> mm. You're sure? Are you putting this on a wheel or? Wheel. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm keeping an eye on that good old uh, G920. It's dropping in price. <laughs> I was, I was thinking about that too because I need a wheel because now I have a better setup because I used I, I sh and again I mentioned I told Chicane my setup before it's a tall table it's not good for the wheel this is now a desk a... <laughs> I'm just gonna no, this into is... this and not to this shake is... to death <laughs> this is a desk that's very lower because if I had a taller one it's not gonna fit but I'd actually put a wheel and get it set up easily I yeah really it was it was fucking shit though not gonna lie but uh, I, I, what? Like... Sorry. Oh, no. you. oh. I, I, I am waiting until they go on to two hundred pounds. That's my exact limit. It's at two twelve right now, and I'm holding out because it's dropping day by day. So I'm like seeing, <laughs> uh, I'm like risking it because it might just go back up to three hundred quid, or it might just drop to its pre-COVID price because oh. it shot up when this happened because everyone decided to be a sim racer. Is that shit so... even gonna work with the Series X though? Yes, apparently the Xbox One controllers and everything are all backwards compatible. Oh, sick. Oh. Like, the, the right. literal Xbox Series X controller is the Xbox One controller with a different D-pad. Because Microsoft was just like, well, people like it, so fuck it, we'll leave it. And you're like, well, that didn't work for the Xbox 360 controller, but at least you've learned your lesson. 
There ain't any lists yet for the PS5, which wheels are kind of compatible, right? I'm not no. sure. All I know about the PS5 is it looks like a vagina. <laughs> I mean, he, he, it kind of does. A cyber vagina. It, like here's an the thing, at least. I can tell. I can tell you what. At least it will. Well, I like the Xbox as well, don't look forward to what happens, but it looks like a box. Like a literal box. I don't care what it looks it's like. A it's a the, box. My only issue is it won't fit underneath my desk thing, which is a bit of a Oh, shame. oh what yeah. What do we want to play today? The fridge or the router? No, well, the, no, no, no. The, the fucking Xbox One looked like a VCR player, for fuck's sake. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. That, that PS5 is going to be huge, by the way. It's going to be bigger than the PS4. That way, that I have. The PS3 is probably the biggest PlayStation because I'm looking at no. my original PS3 and that is a big boy. <laughs> Why no, am I doing a 24 no. hour race in this game? Because I can. No, that that PS5 is going to be bigger than that for sure. I can tell you that right now. The way that people hold it, that is. Why do they need to make them bigger though? Like, the hardware's not actually any bigger, is it? I don't know. Maybe because. Maybe because the, there's two versions, because there's going to be a digital version, so it's going to be a bit smaller. But the what? one with the, the disc is a bit, a bit more bigger. I don't know, the picture I saw made it look exactly the same, it's just the disc one has a very, like, obvious disc hole, because it's like, well, we didn't want to make a disc version, but we've got to, so... Uh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're, like they're going to make it as ugly as possible, so you buy this old digital version, so you get a bunch of grandparents who buy their kids the old digital version, and are like, well, we can't play games on it, because we have to wait for a 150 gigabyte download for fucking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 12. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy digital because I didn't want because I'm not used. To, that's when I, I had to go move to uh, digital on my PS4 because my disc thing broke twice on my oh. PS4 Pro. Oh, damn! So, uh, so that means I had to be digital for the next gen. If I had to, if I am going to be going to PS5, I don't know about thinking about doing it. I want to, but at the same time, there are things that I have looked on the PS and I don't like it for like different reasons. So I'm kind of considering of switching to a PC. Okay. Or honestly, the... honestly, like I would get either or, only depending on the price. Like if it's like fifty dollars less to get the digital one, I'll just get the yeah. test drive one. If it's like a hundred, then I'll get the digital one. Like yeah, yeah. Mikael, I have yeah. A so what's up? You say your disc reader reader thing failed in the PS4, right? Twice, in fact. Have you tried smashing it from the top? <laughs> mm. We. That's what I wish. <laughs> I, that's what used I wish to I work. Was, that, that I was a, wish we could try that. That was an original Xbox strat, just like smack the top Dude, of the fucking box and I like the dish tray will come out. I, I'm not even kidding, but that is the way to fucking get it to work. Do you not know, miss the old days of consoles when the way to fix every console is just punch it on top of it and it just randomly burst that's into... Nope, that never, never worked. I remember that once... never worked for me. I remember once my brother had an iPod, like the original one, and it it was completely oh, bricked, no. and so I slammed it on the floor and it turned on. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> nice. Hey, are no, there? No, you didn't just you didn't just throw it. You just fucking spiked the thing. Technology is like a good woman. Sometimes she wants you to be rough. <laughs> the only times I punch my PS4 because of stuff like I don't know, messing up and, and everything. It deleted my entire save inventory, and I just had to install all of my games again. So I'm, I'm yeah. never gonna do that again. Yeah, but I you can... can install your save files on the cloud when you got PS Plus. Yeah, the save files got saved, but all of the games got deinstalled when I slapped Whoa. it. Oh, <laughs> no, no fuckboys. Nope. <laughs> Oh, wow, we just went full on fuckboys. I just people. get this idea of like you just smacking it and all of a sudden a bunch of physical copies just fall out the arse end of it. It's just like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, you, you, your PS4s were just more to BDSM, minus more like a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's more like a gill for the moment, it just sits there and does fuck off. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Let me explain. Literally, the, the, the way I've got this now right is. Underneath my desk, I've got the Xboxes, and then over there on like the Outcast table, it's just all the PlayStations. No, no, no. Here's here's my situation. So ever since I fixed my setup, now I have a PS4, PS4, and a PS2. That by the way, you you gave me that one time. Yeah. 
Which, by the way, I'm having a little bit of issues because apparently it's not open on my TV, and it's, even if it is, it's lagging. So I don't know what's going on with the PS2. So I'll check that out later. And then I have a Wait, Xbox One. one? Yeah. It's like when I when I turn on, it would it would not screen anything. It's like blacked out. So, what cable have you got in it? I don't. Yeah, the uh, what's it? The R like what's it? The RCA? white yellow. Oh, composite. Yeah, composite. Uh, yeah. It's I just either, got it's either... PS2 to HDMI, and that works. So. That worked a little bit, but when I went to the, went to the yeah, because I didn't put the disc in, I decided to just fix up the uh, stuff. It it bugged out, like it just stuck on the uh, menu. Why is Rick streaming crew again? Like he's doing, doing start let's again. he's doing a let's play, but that game is. <laughs> he's doing a let's play and ends the stream after every episode and restarts the stream from the start of the. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> There's a lot of people who come into my streams when I'm doing that and say goodbye and everyone's like, oh, well, you're off, and I'm like, no! Mm. <laughs> no, basically, the, the, like, the first the crew game on the PC is such a piece of fucking shit. Like, it fucking breaks down every fucking ten minutes. I like, bought Crew 2 and I don't even, I don't get it. <laughs> I have no interest Wait, in playing the crew, honestly. I mean, I like the crew I don't understand until they the game. The um... But anyways, um... What's up? No, you go ahead. But anyways, um, also, so I have, the, I have the PlayStation side, and then one other side is a Xbox One that I got for Christmas. And, and now, th two Dreamcasts, so basically, I... Basically, I got, like, <laughs> Just the, Just in case um, one, one disk drive fails and one fucking, like, controller port fails, and multitude of other problems Dreamcast had. Yeah. Which is which is a good thing because my my first one was not, and I got the new one that I got for free, so I saved like probably two hundred bucks on consoles alone. Mm. And I um, that, and, and the way that I put it is like I put the I put them on, on different sides, so because the PS2 and Dreamcast have bought once, and then PS2 won, and now that the success well kind of a successor actually the Xbox to the Dreamcast, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like. Because it was like Dreamcast and then I think the Xbox kind of got related because it was made by Windows for the Sega Dreamcast, so... Well... Uh, well, Sega ran out of money. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yes. that. It was more like a partnership with Microsoft for like... Yeah. some Something about... Win I think the Windows... CE or ME? I can't remember. Yeah, it's, it, it's the CE, yeah, because I read it. I have it with me right now. It's CE. So and then it, it then it translates to the Xbox and now we have the Xbox and the Xbox 360 and then the Xbox One. So technically I have different sides and you also have like the same color because I have the Dreamcast all white and also with the the Xbox One S and then I have the PS PS4 and PS2 all blacked out. So it's like different sides and it looks pretty. It's, it looks really nice. I'm still so Ooh. proud that I basically paid double the price for my PS2 just because it's pink. <laughs> Wait, you what? really do oh. just make your life more difficult because, like, you just... You, you should have seen him play fucking Monopoly. This is the type of motherfucker that, like, imports fucking pizza pockets because they're a fucking me. <laughs> even though they're shit. Yes! Yes! <laughs> here's, Dude, here's my question. It, I was like, here's my question. What kind of limited edition console you had? Pink, uh, PS2. It was I don't know. I don't want it. Hello, TV. Nah, nah. Is it? No. Let me look that up right now. No, why, that's, why that's, that's, that's the Dreamcast. They made a Hello Kitty Dreamcast, like, in 05, I think, in Japan? Oh, fuck. Wait, it, it, wait, in 05? That was, like, two years to three years after Dreamcast had Pop died. Star World. Bro, that's because the Dreamcast lasted until, like, 2007 for Japan. Wait, what? Wow. No wonder why there's a shitload of new like, Dreamcasts everywhere. Like, when I go to like a Japanese game store, I'm like, wait, why is there a lot of Dreamcasts again? <laughs> okay, I just went on Amazon. They're selling one single PS2 in pink right now for 70 euros. 
Jeez. Like, actually, another thing about that, um, if you go to, like, Japan and then you go to, like, some store, you get, like, new Dreamcasts for, like, cheap, apparently. Don't know why. Bro, you can tell this, I can go to Japan, buy a shit ton of them, import them here, and sell for triple the price. Why buy a PS2 when you can buy... Why buy a PS2 when you can buy a Bravia XDL 22 PX 300, which comes with a built-in PS2? <laughs> Wait, that's a real oh, thing? It, here's... Yes. <laughs> what? I see another two of it, actually. Can, can we start a, se a search for, like, the most retarded <laughs> You can buy one for PS2 319 limited. quid. Oh, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out where you guys are. pounds for a used 22-inch television. There you go. Can, can we just go on the hunt for the most stupid limited edition of the PS2? Well, I mean, actually, I mean, look, let me I look could, for one right now. Actually, I could just paint mine blue and say Dude, that's fucking ocean edition or some shit. When so do you five hundred dollars and fuck off? When <laughs> do you think the Sony PS2 TV came out? Two thousand six. 2007? Uh, about five days ago. 2010. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> and also, it's a HD television. And the PS2, correct me if I'm wrong, is not a high definition. It was capable, but there were only like five or six games would actually not in HD. No, no, no. But this was only released in Europe. Where the PS2 oh, was oh, not. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I, okay, okay, so you guys are really not fucking around then because this is actually a true PS2. Yeah, Sony it is. Bravia KDL hey, Ben, two, two, uh, my, my adapter just failed. What? Oh, really? Yeah, so that's why, like, I just oh. stopped accelerating, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I thought you meant like the adapter for like, I don't know, your life support machine and my <laughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ, holy... Oh, there we yeah, go. When, also, when, hi Ben. When you, when you unplug your, your grandpa's life support, <laughs> you're about to play Xbox. <laughs> Sorry, Granddad, I've got 24 hours of all mom left. Bro, you know how it sounds like that? She's oh, oh, shit, oh. So I use a little adapter to get my thrust pressure TGT to work on my yeah, PS3. My That's why, um, yeah, I, I, you have to use the PC for it. Oh, and uh, uh, would you like to tell everybody how how was how were your strategies while playing Monopoly the other day? Uh, basically, go go all in or go bankrupt, <laughs> which was like a 50-50 for me because I spent money on I on everything I could. Get my hands on without we, second we, thought. We played three full games. We only won once. You Just gotta like, go big or go now nowhere. We, we, we fucking lost because you went broke. Wait, did you guys play like multiplayer or some shit with other people? Yeah, there's, yes. Bro, yeah, there's ranked multiplayer in this. Ranked multiplayer Wait. in fucking Monopoly. Bro, oh. you gotta play it. <laughs> what, wow. what, what, what is this? I'll, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is on PS4. No, it's on PC. Uh, on it's on Steam. Yeah, business. Actually, actually, well. to be to be fair, I think there's a Monopoly on PS4, and some there some is. of the guys that I some of the guys that I played that are like top Wait, rank do it? play Monopoly. How much is it? Monopoly is on everything. Let's go on PlayStation Store. I want to buy Monopoly. I'm playing. I'm playing four, 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 four guys play Monopoly on PS4. Oh my god. Monopoly. But do I want to get the Monopoly Plus? Or do I want to get the Monopoly Deal? The or do I want the Monopoly with microtransactions where you pay one pound for the dollar? Okay. Oh yeah! Okay. Ben mentioned the um the PSX. I forgot about that thing. It was like the DVR. With yes, the dude. That, PS2. that was I heard, I heard it was. I heard. I heard it wasn't too good. Apparently, the PSX. No shit. It's a PS2 with like a fucking Blu-ray player attached to it. <laughs> You good? Look, look what I just found. Look, look at the fucking group chat. Look, look what kind of DLC you can get for Monopoly. Oh fuck, give me that just dance This DLC. is a Fortnite one. <laughs> you can get fucking My Little Pony DLC, DLC for that. Yes! <laughs> now that's, now that's, now that's a meme game that we should probably do. Okay, 
if you think if you think Monopoly uh, Just Dance is a joke, there's also Just Dance for Uno on PS4. I know. What? Which Dude. I have. I have that DLC and it's the funniest Dude. shit ever. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be one on Uno, I would make you be pissed off. Bro, no. The Uno best, Rabbit the, DLC. The best thing about the Uno Just Dance DLC is just like there's some action cards, and every time you play them, there's just a badly animated version of Bruno Mars just dancing on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? No, my, my favorite version, my favorite is the Rabbids DLC for Uno because they like throw shit around. Yes. Oh yeah, that that was like that was basically the like the mayhem version of Uno because if something yeah. if you do something, it will just like fuck everyone off. Yeah, so like, real bad. what the fuck is the PSX then? It's pretty it's, much, it was, it was a I'm DVD. looking at this thing and I have no idea what it is. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know I what think, it is. Uh, I think, from what I heard, it's a fucking recorder combined with a PlayStation 2 and it's white. Yeah. No, 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 I, when I first heard about that, I was like, because I heard well, people talk about PSX and they said it's like the worst thing ever. Yes, one exactly. of the worst things ever. Fine. In what way? So, so it's like a DVR, I think. Like, so, so okay, so there's one game that I actually, um, like, like, Played played on the N N64. Um, what's that called? Uh, San Francisco Rush. Okay. Actually, by one on PlayStation. So it was. It's not as the same as the arcade version, but it's decent at least on the console for like that's pretty old. And then decided to put it on the PlayStation PSX. The graphics were terrible. The handling was terrible. Everything was terrible. It's not oh. like the. It's not like the um the the San Francisco Rush of like you know the arcades or even the N64. Heck, right. even the even the place even the play, even the um, Dreamcast for um, Rush 2049, that one's actually is better than the PXX. Yeah. Bro, there's six player split screen on Monopoly on PlayStation 4. <laughs> six out. player. We need. We oh, need to play it. We need to play it. Bro, guys, bro, I just want to buy a guys. Mattel Hyperscan. What's up? Uh, does one of you know if uh, in GT4 one of the Dayatsu Copens is winnable or do you have to buy it? You have to buy it. You can buy okay. Skeleton skin for yes, the both Copens you have to buy. You can either get Copen open or Copen unopen. Yes. Which one? Which wait, is like which... the same car, only that it has a roof and a Yes! <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait what, are we talking... what are we talking about on this? Minecraft. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so the PSX, I've learned some interesting things about this console. One, it was the first use of the fucking cross media bar thing that like PSPs and PS3s had, which is kind of cool, I guess. And secondly, it was a. I don't know how much it cost in the time it existed. All I know is I translated it into dollars, and these days it costs $744. Oh. Cost new. Okay. Uh, that's not inflation thing, so I don't know what it is. But apparently, it wasn't actually sold with a controller, even though they made a controller for it. <laughs> oh, God. What? Jesus. What? So you had to buy the controller separately, but you could buy a PSX controller, which is exactly like a PS2 controller, however, the cord is longer. It's like wow. the most 2020 Apple shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, apparently it was did not do well. What a surprise! It's almost like fucking <laughs> combining video game consoles with things that are not video game consoles never works. Oh, I was gonna say like that that, that console is probably like one of the worst things that they had for PlayStation. Ever, what are you talking about? They sold that VHS player with the with the Sega Genesis or Ma Master System, whatever you call it. Or wait, no, you call I it I I Mega Drive. I'm sorry. They they sold that here in the states and they sold millions. Well, not really. It sold like a couple Philips thousand. Philips CDI, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, the CDI. Mm -hmm. I love my education I, I games. Think... I think um, at least they know what you're doing, but unfortunately, because you know you're. You're like going up like different like stuff. We try to get graphics uh, on your no games. I, it kind of didn't work out for the PSX, yeah, I guess, for, for some reason. It's almost like if you try and sell a console that you have previously sold three years ago, but include a digital video recorder, people who have PS2s are going to look at it and not buy it. And everyone who doesn't have a PS2 isn't interested in a PS2 because it launched three years after the PS2 came out. Okay, so. 
I'm thinking, right. so you guys, are, so right. you guys, okay, hold on. So you guys were talking about the Atsus, right? Right, for a little bit. About we, we, we briefly mentioned the Copen, yes. No, we were talking about Fortnite. Okay, Fortnite. so, so I'm looking at the Copen, I'm thinking to myself, have we ever had anything with that Copen RJ Vision Gretzer as well? Uh, ever, well ever. one of the uh, mission challenges is a one make. We need to do a race championship this thing. I never raced this thing. I never did. I didn't even get one of those, too. That's the funny part. <laughs> That's an oof. Sorry. So I was gonna, so I was gonna say, if we ever do a race with, this thing, with these things, I would love to join because I have no idea how these things can drive. Ever. All right, Ben, I don't even know I why won't. I don't even know why they exist. Oh, why no, the hell? Is... Go on. Why is the Copen Cup in GT4 National A, but the Civic Cup is National B? The fuck? Because there's the, the, the skill required to drive a Copen. You just explained it yourself, you dumbass. <laughs> ah, yes. The Copen is definitely the more expanded and better version of the Civic. Sorry. So, the, 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 the Copen now is weird. So, you can what get a Toyota Copen. Wait, Toyota? You can get... Oh, right, because I forgot. The Heights of Toyota. Like... Yes. Yeah. Uh, you can get a Dai... you can get a Toyota Copen GR Sport, or a Daihatsu Copen GR Sport, or a Daihatsu Copen Zero that looks like the old Daihatsu, or a Daihatsu Copen X-Play, which comes with the single worst color combination I've seen in my entire life. I, I don't know what they were thinking with that color. Let's see. Oh, it's just poo brown. It, 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 yes, but it's also got black in it. Uh... And now, you, and you can also get a crossover kind of version because it's got plastic cladding on it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, 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 why does the, by the way, why does the Cope kind of look like a baby GTR now? I don't know. Because it's everything has to be angry. Thank you, Zarbi, yes. for the follow. Yes. Can you can you hear me? By the way, right. no. Oh. no, 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 no. Okay, no. Oh. now now you can hear me. No. no, 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 not at all. I don't hear the words. Can you hear me at all? I don't, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> How can you have a seven-speed CVT gearbox? That's not how CVTs work. <laughs> Why can you not just have a CVT be a CVT? <laughs> what? What? Probably man. Seven-speed CVT. Yeah, but no. like, why? A CVT should just be a CVT. Seven-speed CVT. No, God, I love no. Japan. If you if you post the fucking cock and ball torture video now, <laughs> I will come to Poland and be the um, living. Actually, don't me. mention that. Don't mention that. I found something out about that the other day. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that fridge. Yeah, the Daihatsu Move Canvas, best car ever. Daihatsu Move what? <laughs> right. Just to point this out, I did some research the other day, and I found out what cock and ball torture actually is. Yes. <laughs> it is a band, and what's the name of the song? Hold on, I posted it in my oh, server. Yep. Free and okay, here is some of Cock and Ball Torture's music. This song is called. <laughs> this song is called Enema Bulldozer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's you real. Me, you tell me that there's a band called Cock and Ball Torch. Yes. I made a song called End of My <laughs> They've made more than that. Hold on. Oh. Chicane, oh, what's gone wrong? God. Same issues before the adapter. Why does that, Why does it sound like that's Predator's thinking? Okay, so they released three albums. One's called A Pussy. Uh, one's called <laughs> Sadokism, and one's called Ego Leech. Um, 
They've this also song. released EPs including Cocktails with a cock, Vindy Vidi Spunky, uh, Zootheria, uh, Anal Cadaver, Barefoot and Hungry, Big Tits, Big Tit, uh, Big Tits, um, and uh, my personal favourite in 2002, When Girls Learn to Piss on Command. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very edgy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. What? what have you joined, Ready Store? I don't even know. Oh, Would you like I... to hear some song titles? Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Okay. From Sadokism, we have When Girls Learn to Piss on Command, Heterosexual Testosterone Compressor, Enema Bulldozer, <laughs> Holden Sonata, uh, Sharp and Slender, Kamikaze incest, that's an evil. <laughs> Multiple slave sex. Jesus. <laughs> Faggot filter. Wow. Cellulite convoy. G spot gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> and supreme genital goodness. Um. Ever just say that gift? You got a feel for him. Okay, okay, my Discord couldn't Discord listen to that. Up SHUT UP! <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Thatcher! Oh, hold on. Here's the best bit. Would you like to know where Cock and Ball Torture comes from? Oh, no. Oh, I won. Yeah, uh, Australia? Germany! Oh. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, apparently their oh, first studio fun. album moved away from the trademark porno ground sound to uh, groove laden death metal. The best thing is that all of their songs, I, I listen to some of their songs and all of them sound like they're computer generated. Yes, I would like to point out this is indeed a genre. <laughs> oh, See you later, everybody. Uh, is that fucking Kent Paul? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, Ken Paul from fucking Vice City. I can believe it. sounds no. like fucking yeah, Ken Paul. This is Bruno Paul Rasmus. CVTs are the best gearbox to ever exist. Actually, wet Wendy yeah. moist yeah. 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 and yes. sweaty yes. yes. Technically speaking, they are actually the best gearbox. CVTs like are and shit. a marvel of engineering. Yes. J just look. Just look at the Ligier JS8. Or the fucking um, Williams before they got fucked. Um, <laughs> before they got okay. left. Okay, okay. Look at this thing and doesn't it don't uh, and tell me this is not. Shut up. <laughs> look at tell this me this is the pinnacle. Look at this and tell me this is the pinnacle of motorsport. Wait, this god. Aww, it's cute. Is this the new 2020 or not? It's one? not cute. It looks like Wally has like developed a drinking habit and now just wants to die. It's also, it's also the best <laughs> mod. It's also the best Why? mod for yeah, certain cars out of all of them. Yeah. I need to get a wheel before I enjoy a set of cars. So I can imagine that's going to be fun. Why have I still got cock and ball torture opening? The thing? I think I think I think me and Shikane probably just learned a bit too much at this point. What you don't want okay. any? Oh, gold grind. That's a good band. I just didn't expect we guys to talk. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Well, they bought up cock and ball torture, so I had to. Ex it's my new thing. I have to explain every cock single time cock and ball torture is actually a band. <laughs> Is that realized. when they're begging for donations or not? Yeah. Keep us just... alive! Hey guys, if you donate five dollars right now, I will go die. That's the price <laughs> of a cup of coffee. Well, bitch, I don't buy my coffee. I make it at home because it's cheap. <laughs> bitch, I don't drink coffee. Oh, I drink coffee. I drink lots of coffee. And when I don't oh, drink fuck. coffee, I drink vodka. I was gonna say that. What did you have today? Coffee. Vodka. Coffee with vodka. Do you know what? I think it's time now. <laughs> let, let, let's break this open. Let's break open a bottle of Vladivar. 
I had to use a knife to open this bowl. Oh, we tried turning it like normal. Oh, that is shit. I just it, realized. It the literally just tastes like water with a tinge to it. <laughs> Basically. I spent eleven pound on it, so I insist on drinking. <laughs> but the thing is, right, it tastes like Russian standard without any of the fun that comes with Russian standard. Oh, dude, I can show you some real alcohol if you fall down. If you fly down here, I can show you some real fucking vodka. But really, that's you Polish. Fucking, that's you Polish won't fucking vodka. get up the next day. You won't get up. You do. Oh, you do. You two should just meet in like the like just in the middle. I'm just saying, just meet up. <laughs> yeah, Ender, en Ender and Chicane did Nurburgring. Me and Salik are just gonna get drunk at a bar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm up for it. Can I? Yeah. Am I? Can I join in as well? Can I yeah. get the free pine ticket somehow? <laughs> just have a he bunch of guys is drunk in like some bar or something while you guys are just doing that. He won like an asphalt contest, so can I win like a Fortnite contest where you need to be drawn to play <laughs> Fortnite? Yes. Fortnite skins. <laughs> Here's my question, who's probably the most who's probably good at Fortnite the most out of all of us? I don't play Fortnite. I've never played it in my life. I played Fortnite once, I even won I even won the Victory Royale once. Yeah, oh, so you, mean the, then. you mean Selika, you gotta say it like the cool kids, it's the Big Roy. Hold on. Ninja's, Ninja's Guide yeah, yeah, no. to Gaming. Yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, the most the most the best I'm, book. I'm actually book keeping ever an eye on this because I'm kind of gonna buy it. Oh, it's five pounds. Wait a minute, that actually oh, exists? Wow. Yeah. yeah. There, there's two of them, uh, TMC. Oh, there's a prequel. Just a game. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. I want to buy this so I can do a dramatic reading of it at some point. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, apparently um, Ninja I has. I might buy that. It's five quid. When was the last apparently, time we had any? Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say the mixer died a couple of like, days ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and Ninja cashed out big time. Lucky yes. bastard. From one of the leading Fortnite gamers in the world comes your guide to outclassing the rest of playing games packed with illustrations, photographs, anecdotes, and insider tips. This complete component includes everything Tyler Ninja Blevins wishes he knew before he got serious. <laughs> 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 oh, he wishes he knew before he got serious about gaming. By the way, Ninja <laughs> also has a kid's book. A I novel. Also... Oh yeah, that's like, where it makes him look like a complete dick. Anyways, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you never trust um, Ninja at this point about gaming, because he just thinks he's so good. <laughs> Let's get like, that dub. Oh god. <laughs> Imagine your last name being Blevins. <laughs> wait, wait that, was that his, was, was that his last name? Yeah. Yes. Blevins, oh. Tyler Blevins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right. It, sh chicane, this is one for you. Yeah, go for it. Oh no. So you've been practicing hard. You're pretty good at games. <laughs> and you're ready to share your skills with the world. I can't blame you. It's hard for me to think of a better career than playing video games for a living. The catch is that a lot of other people think that. Comma, too. Hundreds of thousands of people stream on Twitch every day. How are you going to stand out in that crowded field? How do you even get started with streaming? What are some important milestones to hit? In this chapter, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna walk. walk there. I'm going to walk you through what makes a stream great and how to turn your private play into public entertainment. The fuck you say to me, you little shit. Oh, I wonder if any of you guys have any thoughts about Ninja, like, at this point. 
Look, I've met Ninja twice at E3 both years, <laughs> and like he's he's nice in person, but I don't really give a shit about him, so I don't care. He's such a yeah. prick, though. Although yeah, he's like destroyed. I, I, I can I fun. can only imagine. Yeah, I can only imagine how much of a dick he is on his online persona. But in person, he's like okay. But I, like I said, I don't really uh, give a shit. The fuck you say uh, any of those I, I I've got some more here. Let's get something out of the way now. There are no guarantees in streaming. You can be the most charismatic person and the best player out there, but there's no direct path to becoming a streaming superstar. There's a lot you, you can try to do to build a community, improve your content, and connect with your audience, but we'll talk all, oh yeah, we'll talk all about this in this chapter. But an element of chance is always present. Take me, for example. I happened to get to Fortnite at the right time, and it meant that I blew up super quickly. If I had been a little earlier, or a little later, or picked a different game, it's possible you'd be reading someone else's book and not mine. No one else is that full of himself, mate. I can't show you how to become the biggest streamer on Twitch, but I can show you how you can make the most compelling stream you can. Yes. Yes, because people watch Fortnite. fucking Ninja for the gameplay, right? <laughs> <laughs> for his amazing yeah. personality. Do you remember the time when he just he tried to do the floss on like New Year's Eve or something? Oh my god. Was it, was it New Year's Eve or was it like one of his events or something? It's so pirated this fucking thing so I can read it for like one. Uh, go to... Um, <laughs> yeah, go, yeah, go to Libgen. Hopefully they have a copy there. Go to LimeWire. LimeWire the ninja's book? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Keenan, for the for the sub. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna get some emotes yeah. soon. Um, I'm training. Oh, a I can download I'm it. I'm trading a system of a down. I'm trading a system of a down ticket for next year for a couple of emotes from an artist friend of mine. So yeah. Damn, Arrow with the gift subs. What the hell? Wait, we're getting subs. So Arrow gifted a gift sub to see, Arthur. See, that that only happened now because because oh. we we got <laughs> blessed by the Blevins. Yes. <laughs> Are you saying Mr. Arrow HD is Tyler Ninja Blevins? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, there was one time he gifted a. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Keenstar! <laughs> Keenstar. Uh, there was one time that Arrow gifted a gift sub uh, to Ninja for Rhino's channel. Oh, oh yeah. really? <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the camera on, god damn it dude, I'm fucking crying! <laughs> Wait, what happened? Well... Uh, Aero <laughs> gifted a sub to Ninja. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ninja's going to come in this chat and teach us all to get good at gaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he hears the dramatic oh, reading. Oh, hold on. Yep. Hold on, is, is uh, Aero here by the way? He's, <laughs> gif he's gifting all these subs right now. Thanks dude, I, much love man, I appreciate it bro. Seriously. Wait, <laughs> my dude, how do you do that? Like, how do you got fucking ninja to do that? Because you can- You just- Oh, thanks for the cash, chump! <laughs> Aero can probably gift a fucking sub to Wings of Redemption right like now and you get it. <laughs> He's gifting a gift sub to Tyler Blevins! <laughs> what the- God fucking damn it! The fucking fucking ninja! Bro! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, um... By, by the way, um, Arrow. Don't, don't laugh at me. Fucking damn it. Here we here, um... Oh my I will god. I would do this right now. I think I'm gonna say thanks to your stream because uh, we finally have an idea what to do. Oh. In a race. Oh yeah, the, what, ne the next- get, Invite Tyler Ninja Blevins <laughs> to come play GT Sport. And that, and, and that too. And that too. Well, yeah, you're, that yeah, you're not supposed Royale. to tell him anything, because we're not supposed- Yeah, team- See, I'm the only one who chanted Team Rick in Rhino's uh, Lama video. Come on. Like, how rude is that? Everyone was like, are you going to play GT again? And I'm the only one showing support for Team Rick. Come on now. 
I showed support for Team Rick by showing up and saying, are you fucking winning? No, well, fuck you. Are <laughs> 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 you winning, son? Are you winning, son? Aye, aye, ninja. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, you Dab, dab, ninja. Whoa. Well, you, know, you know, actually, I'm gonna look for the Break. book right now. Live, Jen. He lives in a big house under California. Tyler, under ninja, California. Ninja, squadhead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, the, the way you reacted to his name, I think it kind of feels like Querns from, like, or like, Razor being Querns and he was swatted. He has blue hair and looks like a cunt ninja blev. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you have, like, a shitty, like, real name and then you have, like, a something else named to help out. Uh, second place because reflexer. Second, yeah, second place, second. they did really well, actually. Yeah. All joking, so. If, if we didn't crash out of LMP2 in the beginning, we would have probably won the race because we were flying when we were catching our laps back. Oh, you did it as well, didn't you? Yeah, so pretty yeah, much you... my teammate, who was like our second fastest guy, he crashed the car in the beginning, and then our two fast guys just like were pounding laps. I was super <laughs> consistent, so... <laughs> pounding, were they? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much with, with me, I wasn't as quick as them, but like I was like maybe two seconds off, but I was doing the same lap times over and over and over again, and then our slowest guy, he was doing really well. So we would have won the race and dominated had we not crashed, because we were like easily the best team in the whole field for LMP2. Next year, invite me to the iRacing team so I can become. You like, actually found someone named Team Rick. <laughs> Errol, please no more. <laughs> Save your money. Yeah. I, Next year, I invite me to your iRacing team so I can be like that guy from Birmingham who won, who won the 24 hours of Le Mans while absolutely shit face. <laughs> <laughs> I that mean, was a weird thing, by the way, just to Consistency borderline annoying. <laughs> I, I, can, I can tell you what, um, Chicane. Yeah. At least one thing I can, I can say now is that at least the one thing you hope for next year is you don't get absolute yeeted by a certain, you know, prototype. Oh, the P1? Oh my fucking god. I'm this <laughs> British <laughs> this is <laughs> Emil, I have an idea. How about we get a team going that's... Like, all of them are fucking drunk. And yes! Drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Team so Champagne! It can only end well. <laughs> yes. It's Dude, a meal I'm extra no know then! <laughs> nice one, Arrow. <laughs> he doesn't like me, it's fine. I don't okay. like me either. Hey, we, we already have two drivers, we need the third one. Who's gonna get shit, wa shit faced with me? Me. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna buy myself a PS PC and then I'll just play it for sure. Team Vodka Bravado. Canceled. I am cancelled. I am indeed. I called out... What did I call out on Twitter? Ninja. Yeah, fuck yeah, Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> I don't believe Shadow. my greatest gamer of our Well, game. See, see, this whole conversation started, uh, Arrow, because oh. I, I mentioned to the guys that I beat Ninja in Call of Duty once, and I have the proof. I can show you a screenshot where I got way more it's kills. It's not really that. Ninja, though. That it? has it's to be him, I think. Guy who called himself Ninja. Unless he's somehow like, yeah, he probably called himself Ninja, but it, I'm sticking yeah. by the story. Do you think Ninja it? plays Call of Duty? He's too busy getting those victory double royales <laughs> in Fall Tonight. Brook <laughs> royales, okay. Yeah, it's not a work. I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm guessing Royce. that it wasn't him, yeah, but... Because yeah, you can fake names. Oh, can you? It's like that easy? All right. <laughs> yeah, oh, you yeah, can fake cause... names through the Activision account. That's, That's why everyone right. changed their names to fucking George Floyd deserved or something oh, like that. Yeah, like, I remember yeah. that. that. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. Do you remember all the names when the game bro. first came out, dude? Oh, my God. I Angry think... Jew 1939. Yeah, you and I ran I into that when we were playing multiplayer together. I remember. Yeah, and I couldn't stop laughing. I changed my name once to Joe. Everybody was just asking, who's Joe? Yeah, oh no. Oh, Fucking oh, no. Oh, oh, please. Alright, John. Take care, dude. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. Too. Appreciate <laughs> I, it, buddy. I love how every time Silica says something in this chat, <laughs> it's just <laughs> evil. Oh, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's extreme uncontrolled laughter. I just want to confirm that stuff's great. I take back everything I said about the tasting of it, because I feel great. Your favorite modern word for gaming tag? <laughs> Juice and canoes? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Dude, I hate you when I see H3H3 H3 drive past in the canoe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, my fan doesn't work. Hold on. I need air. I, I remember playing Modern Warfare once, and I saw this dude called Captain Price's fuck cheeks, so I was just 
I was like, damn, I gotta climb this one. You don't yeah. have your bar mitzvah on the river? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice S to do, but it doesn't serve sort of any tactical advantage. Do you remember when like everyone was like calling out like Go Kanaro Kid for making that video on H3H3 because apparently he said something wrong and then it's damn like, boy. Kanaro was actually Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Chopper Dice? As takes in kayak, so that doesn't really work. Sorry. Also, you spelled Aztec the Pontiac way, I think. How yeah. You do? No, actually, no, it's with the C, I think. Wait. And then again, I'm Mayan, I'm not even Aztec, so I don't know. Pontiac! Shut up, Amil. <laughs> yes, Aztec is spelled with a K. Yeah. Would you like to know what the biggest question for the Pontiac Aztec is? Quick, quick, quick. Why, Why did they stop making the Pontiac Aztec? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, do you really want to bring that? Do you really want to bring that back? I mean, yeah. it would sell good nowadays. <laughs> to be honest with you, actually, I I still insist that the Buick Rendezvous looks worse than the. Uh, it, that's me. it doesn't look very good. It, both of them look pretty crap. What's up, Chief? Well, yeah, it, it happens. Um, oh, sorry, I'm driving the Golf GTI right now. Also, Aero, I will take that over the people you used to call me oh. Emily, and I have no idea why, because British people oh, are fathom the fact that. No, it. No, and it's I got it in the first try. I was the one who said it first, actually, and I remember, because I yeah. accidentally said it. Yeah, you said, said it. Yeah. You said it first here, but like, I, I got that for like years. Thank you, Dorset, for the follow. Duty. I appreciate it, man. Oh, so Arrow, yesterday when you raided, um, when stream, I got my stream labs working now. Um, it was supposed to be the Super Smash Bros. Um, N64 Challenger approaching screen. That's what it was supposed to be when you showed up, but unfortunately, stream labs was being a bitch. <laughs> no, unfortunately, no, 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 no. it was a giant picture of Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, it was another DVD of software. Oh, oh I, I, no, I have actually, that, actually that one's quite good. I'll give them that. I have my Ronaldinho soccer card thanks to Celica. Thank you very much, <laughs> dude. If 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 fucking Grant, if Polyphonic does not do a broadcast for Top Split Super Cup, I will be pissed. <laughs> it is a nice livery, dude. The Ronaldinho soccer super. What more could you possibly want in life? Why does this what's come? The, like what's the ninja book? Like what's the what's the ninja book called again? Guide to get good at guide gaming. To gaming. Yeah, guide to gaming, get good or some shit. Guide to gaming. Bruh. CMC, would you like a ninja thing? Blev. <laughs> Let's see here. Um. Blev. Guide to <laughs> getting good. Clubbins. You've been bleft. <laughs> bleft. <laughs> Taken the L. God bleft your heart. Your car is the Super and GTS. Nice, the drift car. Sick. Dude, man, oh, I, I'm break. looking at this nice. picture of Uzbekistan and I'm like, how much do I not want to live in Uzbekistan? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up. So, um, Chicane, who's doing the, uh, the last one? Bathurst? Or Super so, originally, yeah. Reaper Reaper's livery was the Bathurst livery, but since Laguna was the home race, I'm like, you know what, we'll do it for the home race. You see, I'm kind of so, pissed, too, because, like, it's like, fuck, dude, like, they, they broadcasted oh, Europe and Oceania, but not for us. Like, why? I, I want to shill and be like, hey, I have my fucking logos all over. I have my friend's clothing brand. I have the Hot Boys logo. I have this logo and that logo on the car. Like, I want to shill. But no. <laughs> Your friend's they're, they're clothing just... brand. Yeah. The the hat Is always wears. No, the hat <laughs> the hat always wears. It's a simple. That's my that's my uh, one of my good friends' yeah. clothing. Oh brand. yeah, the simple shit. Yeah. yeah. That, that's you know brand. you know. What? Listen, you know I'd, I'd wear simple over supreme. So, uh, there's an yeah. endorsement. I wear six nine. <laughs> so, wait, so, uh, <laughs> so wait, so do you have any space for um, backwards, or do you have someone else to do it? Uh, let's see here. Arthur did my Tokyo livery. Yes, I, I need a Bathurst livery. Uh, I'll, I'll do Bathurst then. What, are you changing each time? Yeah, I, I have a livery for every single race. So round one was the subscribe to boost an ethanol car, then the um, <laughs> nerve ring race. <laughs> <laughs> then the Nerve, which I won by the way, then the Nerve Ring round was uh, like a BMW Z4 GT3 paint job on the Supra. And that one. Yeah. Then and round, that one too. Round three was something Celica whipped up. Round four was uh, something Reaper ripped up. Round five is uh, it's gonna be the um, Ronaldinho soccer oh, car. Soccer. Round six will be like a CDMA Supra style looking car, and then round seven will be I guess I don't know yet. 
So, so, wait, so wait, okay, so what round so what rounds are we next? So after what interwide goes, it's what else? Tokyo South and okay. and Bathurst. Those are the last two rounds. I'll do that. And I'm ninth in the I'll, points. I'll right do now, which is pretty cool. Dude, I was, right. I was like so pissed they didn't fucking like crazy Portuguese. The top split race at the mall because that card looks so fucking good. Bro, so, and, and like, I was having a fun little battle with some of the PX7 dudes too, so like, what the fuck, like... It, it could have been brought- they, they, they could have used that for broadcast material, but I guess not. I guess because fucking so, Solace is winning every race, like, maybe they don't want to do that because, you know, he's he just completely dominating the whole season. So, uh, Baffert's definitely right. Yep, I need a Baffert's livery. So I, guess, so I need to look for something VA Supercars related or something. Anything you want. Be creative. Yeah, so, I might need to think about it. We have a huge oi on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, like, just like the whole door oi So, oh. so, so nah, 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 nah. Hmm? Uh, you know how occasionally I go down rabbit holes, and rabbit holes are bad? Yeah, just like uh, Sean does. Yeah, yeah I, I, I've hey, started yeah. looking at a Chinese oh. car called the Cherry A13, uh, oh. which is known in Russia as the Zaz Forza. And that's why I got drawn to it. Would you like to know some of the names the fucking Zaz Forza goes under? Go okay. for it. Bear in mind, just before we begin, uh, it looks like... Hold on. It sounds Did... like a Mercedes knockoff. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it isn't. It, it, it looks like that. Uh, hold on. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's um, just straight up an Astra. Yeah, yeah I was gonna it say is that. called a Cherry Full Win, which is an okay name. A Cherry Storm, <laughs> which okay. it isn't. A Cherry Bonus, no. A, a Cherry Very, a Cherry Very. That's <laughs> <called it. laughs> a Cherry Very. Oh baby. baby. And the MVM three fifteen in Iran, where apparently in Iran they don't try to pizzazz names. They're just like yeah. Also, also a cherry popper. <laughs> apparently, it's cherry the popper successor of the A15. Apparently, it's the successor of the A15, which look like this. <laughs> so wait, know. the A14 is the successor to the A15. <laughs> yes. Huh. It's how bad it is. <laughs> it's evolving, but backwards. Oh god. So apparently, what that is is it's a Mark II Golf. Really? Uh, Number the vehicle has a fuel efficient low emissions engine. Speaking of Mark so has an engine. Anybody wanna buy one? It has, it's called a Vortex Corder, apparently. Ooh. It just so happens I have a Golf Mark II for sale. Anybody anybody wanna buy one? <laughs> Hold on, sorry. I'm sorry. I've just noticed this. Safety. It has yes. several safety I'm features, including anti lock again? brakes. Wow. I think it's the, um, uh, it might be my USB port. Nice. However, the Russian car magazine Auto Review reviewed, reported that an A15 had crashed in accordance with the Euro NCAP test and performed even worse than the brilliant BS6 sedan and that the dummy had to be dismantled. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay, the brilliant BS6 actually isn't that bad a looking car. It kind of looks like that weird Lancia that looks weird. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't look that bad. I mean, come on. Oh god, they sold oh, it in damn. Germany. Ender, why didn't you buy a Brilliance? <laughs> what? <laughs> look! Yeah, Brilliance! It looks like... Like... Uh, like like an abortion between a Maserati and a Lancia. <laughs> it looks Apparently... kind of like a generic car you'd see in, like, uh, Watch Dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Like, this is when you're in the creator to sit random. Apparently, <laughs> um, according to this, uh, Brilliance exported some of them through Belgium. Uh, and that's how they got into Germany. And then ADAC uh, did a crash test, and apparently they described the results as catastrophic. <laughs> and they said that the likelihood of occupants surviving a crash was low. 
<laughs> oh no, that's not Mate, good. How are we talking? 10%? Nah, it's not 0.2. Shit. Mate, it's called the Brilliance. They would have survived. The Brilliance. It's also got a Mitsubishi engine in it, apparently, so that tells you everything you need to know about the Brilliance. <laughs> so, Ender, when are you buying one? <laughs> uh, after I die. Oh my god, they make cool. BMWs now. I can help you with that. <laughs> Here's a Brilliance B... Brilliance H530... Look at that. Is that not a BMW? This is a combination uh, so of what, Brilliance is... What, Brilliance is pretty much what? Like, Chinese manufacturer or what? They're called Brilliance Auto. They are owned by Brilliance in China. That that kind of looks like a BMW and an Insignia. No, no. Apparently, yeah. they're actually okay. partly they partly own BMWs. Ooh. Chinese operations. Huh. Look at huh. Like, tell me, it doesn't look like a combination between a fucking Prius and a fucking. Oh my god, they make these things. When you see these in the UK occasionally, they're amazing. <laughs> Let's see. What oh. in the hell? Oh. <laughs> it's a tuk -tuk. Bro, it looks like a BMW. chunky i3. <laughs> it's a very boxy i3. They ha they use those as cabs in Thailand. They're that. Yeah, they have a horse running. <laughs> oh, dude, you could have a BMW M2 or you could have a Brilliant M2. <laughs> here's the, here's the thing when I when. Here's the it's, thing, when I heard about like um, Chinese cars in general, mm -hmm. it just feels like I'm just like not trusting it because reasons. Or I'm something? actually 25 GCT, um, May. Ah, yeah, you're wait. old now. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm are you quarter life crisis? <laughs> wait, you're act you actually are like just 25? Yeah, I turned 25 last month, bro. Oh, not shit. 25 in a day. <laughs> Come on. Although my yeah, hair says 40 because I'm, I'm fucking bald as hell. I'm gonna be fucking. Crazy. I haven't started balding yet. I'm oh. expecting. I started balding when I was oh my 21. God. Oh my god. Stupid dog, I'm fucking balding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that, that, that van thing is called a Jinbi. Um. And they mostly make Toyota vehicles, but apparently they also made a Jinbi Chevrolet Blazer at one point. Bot print. <laughs> what print? Jinbi. J I N B E I. Jinbi. Thank you, GTD. Well, uh, Grimsby is all of a sudden turned into a Chinese car manufacturer. No. Bro, imagine being with seven cars in Grimsby. <laughs> <laughs> they probably could get away with it, to be honest with you. God, I hate the Lancia National A test. In... Oh my <sighs> god! That, that, that Jinbi, right, it's got eight seats. How? <laughs> no, no, Wait, wait, first of all, how is my question. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, it. <laughs> you can I'm five foot five and I couldn't fit in that. Five foot six. I couldn't fit in that. <laughs> well, Asian, oh, Asian people are really tiny in comparison to European people. Yeah. I mean, you're, I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, you can sit on the roof. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, the beach, yeah. <laughs> like, like the trains in India and stuff. Yeah. That's not a crossover. Well, it's a crossover between a car and a piece of shit. Apparently, China's trying to say this is a crossover. Let's see. Yes, it's a crossover between seats and an engine because it's a car. Oh. It's a what the fuck's on the dashboard? Actually, <laughs> wait, what? Well, it looks like there's a tissue holder thing. Yeah, there's tissues that. and like some religious stuff. Oh, oh good news, by the way. You'll you'll be pleased to know the Wikipedia article is written wonderfully. Um, my personal favorite being the BS2 is not widely exported, and despite its display at Frankfurt and Geneva, the car was never launched in Europe due to the best press received by the crash test results of the larger BS6. And brilliance withdrew from European. <laughs> oh, European. <laughs> I hate when I have to redraw I'm from gonna, withdraw I'm from gonna European. Do you think Mitsubishi is being kept alive by the fact that they just keep supplying engines to the Chinese? Maybe. Like every Chinese yes. car has a Mitsubishi or Toyota engine. 
Oh, really? No, apart from the Proton Wadger. Well, I guess it's more than what Nissan's doing nowadays. <laughs> I was gonna say, Nissan hasn't done shit. Yeah, they no, twenty twenty model three seventy Z for the last fifteen million years. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's a new Z car coming out. What's it gonna be? Yeah. Duke Z. Oh no. Actually, I will say the new Duke looks a lot better than the old Duke. Micro Z. Micro really? Well, yes. we don't get one, so I'm happy about that. Here's Please. the thing, though. If they, if they really screw up the Z and the GTR, I'm just gonna be like, very sad. Cause like. You, you feel sad when it comes to, like, you know, them fucking all over with, you know, how can I say it? Um, the CB Chief ruined the Eclipse. Ford may have ruined the Mustang. I don't know what to say if they ruined the GTR or the Z. Like, hmm. I don't know. All I know is everyone laughs about the emissions and the world and the polar bears dying. Until you have to drive around in the Nish Nissan Days Highway Star. <laughs> in a what? That's actually something like that. Nissan what Days the... Highway Star. Or even better. What is how that? How about you drive around in the Mitsubishi Super Hike K Wagon? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is hideous. That is what we call a big boy. <laughs> Wait, what is that's, this? That's just a fridge. <laughs> that really is just a fridge. <laughs> Way more than the Xbox. Literally, oh every, my K God. every K car oh. is just a fridge with a free cylinder oh. attached to it. Okay, square okay. up. I'll tell you what. <laughs> there, there is good K cars. This is not one of them. Yeah, there's the Jeez. Mitsubishi Town Box. Like, Jesus. Town box. <laughs> Which looks like this. It's woke as fuck. <laughs> Which looks like this. The first <laughs> I, thing I, I see. I actually like that. Picture. It kind of looks like a duck, though, with the um, little like um, I don't know what that is in the middle. Woke. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that too. Not gonna lie. I think I have a picture of that somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> No, Traumatize says the Juke was a GTR, it's a mini Skyline and a Nismo. It has more Skyline heritage than the GTR does. What? Hey, the, the, no, the... you're confusing the fact that they made up black white one. Oh, there we go. Hold on, I've got it. There it is. Remem remember when Nismo jammed the engine of the GTR to the Juke? <laughs> that one time. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Save me. The Mitsubishi Mini Cab Van Bravo Turbo Four Wheel Drive. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's not the worst looking thing out of all the other ones. Yeah, I mean, Bruh. it's, it's, it, 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 pawn it with a glog. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I, I just got one thousandth of the gold <laughs> time. Fuck off. It could be worse, it could be a Mitsubishi Expander AP4 rally car. Oh, Expander. no. Expander. Finally, gold. Expander. <laughs> that looks just, that looks like... Oh, God. Uh, you know what the you know what the sad part is? That's in the Philippines as well. The expander. Wait, is that a real thing now? There's a crossover part of rallying. Yes. What? Yes, there is. They made a Toyota CHR rally car. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, t I mean, to be fair, they did do a CHR in Nurburgring one time. So I'm not too surprised. Okay. Okay. That I mean, I like thing the literally though. just. That thing literally just looks like the Toyota rally car when it ate another Toyota rally car. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Let's go with this. Um, we do have a Toyota Prius and Subaru T, so I don't think that's anything that's too weird. <laughs> at all. laughing again. I, yeah, I, but I mean, I the Prius the makes problem. sense because the Prius is like the best <laughs> one car. Also, just to point out, the Asia Pacific Rally was apparently won in 2000 and 2001 by the Proton Pert. 
Do you know what a proton pert is? No. No. Excellent. Here's what a proton pert is. As you can see, it is completely a proton. In every way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is, is no argument that that is a proton. Fun fact, that is was it? in WRC4 as well. The new version. Is it the new version? Is it? Which looks like that. <laughs> As you can see, completely a proton. It's <laughs> just a Gen 6. No, it's a proton. Look, it says proton on it. Are you sure about that? Yes. Are you sure about that? Oh god, no. Oh god. It I'm at the R30. <laughs> I'm at the R33 test at uh, Trimont. No. Could be worse. This was the last time they went rally. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look at those sexy men. What's <laughs> 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 that face? <laughs> One guy thinks he's Hall and Oates, the other guy thinks he's just like some balding dude who's just happy to have a job. He looks like an accountant. <laughs> Kinda. He looks hollow. Apparently the car's also in Rally Championship 2000, where it's an Evo 3 version of the Proton. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're just literally sharing cars in this in the private car we're in, and we're just yeah. I'm sorry, about. this happens often. People don't know what the, what's going on. Just look at Proton Perts, and you'll be where I am right now. <laughs> I mean, we're just talking about random ass cars that we don't even know who they are. What reason that why we don't even heard about them? Imagine being. Fucking... Imagine being Proton and being proud that you won a rally championship. <laughs> the Malaysian rally. Oh god. There's a lot of rallying in Asia, to be honest. Uh, rally Hideko. I think it's time for me to uh, like, fuck off, as they say. Oh, dude, the China rally. <laughs> Oh, he got cancelled. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Alright. See ya. Later. See ya. Later. Mitsubishi Expander. That is a thing. That is a oh, thing. Oh, hold on. No, right, you know that Expander rally thing? Yeah. Here's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Made, meant to make its official rally debut, however, the FIA homologation process has not been finished. So would you like to know what they ran instead? What? What? An EVO 6. I don't think they're quite aware of what, what year it is, but I'm... Yeah, apparently that was the spare car the official Mitsubishi rally team bought. Was it so EVO 6? So they decided to buy something factory related, basically, is what they did. Yeah, apparently they decided they did not want to win the Mitsubishi Expander. Here's a Mitsubishi Expander Ultimate with optional body kit to expand more on the Expander. What? <laughs> yeah, that is an Expander. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. God, that looks awful. <laughs> oh, good lord. That you know, is bad. I oh, wait, like the Mitsubishi true. Grand Lancer? I need to see this. I'm just kind of scared to see what cars would be like 10 years from now, dude, because they kind of get uglier over the years, and fucking hell, man, that, I feel like we it will, it will just be all grill. <laughs> oh no, I think the grills got bigger on the BMWs, I noticed. Yeah, uh, I yeah. hate, I hate how BMWs look now. Like, Imagine uh, being uh, Pin uh, Farina, uh, and the last car you built was the Mitsubishi Colt Convertible. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That is not how you want to go, to be honest. No. <laughs> yeah, Night modern BMWs do look weird. Their grills are, like, odd. That Z4 look looks weird. Why did big grills now become a design choice? I want to go back to hood scoops. I, I want to... Right. This is the Pininfarina Batista. Good name. Batista. <laughs> that doesn't look bad. Yeah, they decided instead of making that, they'd make this. <laughs> oh no. Why? Uh. <laughs> uh. It looks like a like a train. <laughs> like the front of a train. Not a, Production, <laughs> like, 
designed by Pininfarina. Yet, yeah, there's the Mitsubishi Colt CZC, which apparently they did while they were designing the Ferrari 599 and the Alpha Spider. What? Yeah, Pininfarina's had a bit of a weird... Um, I mean, they designed the Ford F4... Uh, Ford? Ferrari F430. Uh, at the same time, they designed the Ford Streetcar. What's a streetcar? They designed oh. the Happy Lobo. Which looks like that. At this point, it just sounds like you speak gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Happy. They designed the Enzo Ferrari at the same time they designed the Daewoo Lassetti in the Hyundai <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> you mean the Ferrari Enzo? It sounds like they designed the guy. <laughs> yeah, they designed Ferrari Enzo at the same time they designed the Hyundai... What's this thing called again? That. You, you make it sound like Pininfarina designed a clone of Enzo Ferrari. <laughs> well, they might have. Wait. Yes. Just like, the, like, like Walt Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pinion Farina is just hilarious because it's like they designed the fucking Ferrari 348 at the same time as the Honda Beat. <laughs> like, and and the the the, the Schwang Hang Happy Zagul, which is a crossover. Would you like to know what the Huang Kui? What did I say? <laughs> the second to last one looks like a Yaris. It was a Yaris. Here's oh, the other right. thing Pinion Farina designed. Oh yes! Oh the, the god! Honda Hecti. That's the just an Honda Hecti. <laughs> it sounds like a child's TV show from China <laughs> instead of a car. The Ferrari 500 Superfast. Huh. 500? Yeah, they, the, the Superfast wasn't such a silly name, it was a name they plucked out of the long history of history. That literally just is an Honda Acti. I love that thing. Remember that time Scalietti designed a Corvette? I know. What wasn't it the Aerovet? It looked like a Ferrari. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, GTD. I don't. I never liked the HCD6. Always thought it was an ugly concept. Okay, that thing oh, looks yeah. sick. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm gonna be going real quick, so I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, All right. it's itch my nuts out. Okay, that thing literally looks like you know, like the late gen 300 SL Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. That Rover Limo, it kind of looks like one of those. The Sangyong C200. Oh my. I've heard that name somewhere before. Imagine being Ital Design. You've designed some great cars, including... Hold on. Um, the Golf, the Delta, the Uno, the Punto, the Panda, the DeLorean. But also in your arsenal of cars that you've designed, you've got the uh, Proton Privy and the Seat Maggot. <laughs> Maggot. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this not the most generic car you've ever seen in your entire life, ever? That's the luxury version, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to that? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a car! I say car. <laughs> nah, like, the most generic looking car is like... The Seat Magnum? Five and the Sentra or something. Yeah, the Sentra's pretty high up there. But look at that, like it's a square! Thing. You could dry that on a piece of concrete. <laughs> they also designed the Morris Atal, which was such a great car that when Atal Design made the book of cars they designed, they missed out the Morris Atal, which was literally named <laughs> after them. <laughs> That's a Morris, by the way. Just, you know, Morris Atal. Oh god, they tried to sell that in China, what? That, that, that's just a Volvo. <laughs> It no, kind of like a Skoda, it's actually. a Morris. You see, the difference is a Volvo is good. Yes. Don't you love Chinese car names? Yes. <laughs> Here's an example of the greatness of Chinese car names. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just, yeah. They don't have proper names for shit. C-A-C-6430, C-A-C... Wow. <laughs> hey Marvin, what's up, dude? 
You know a car is good when this is your advert. <laughs> but then again, the Chinese did quite a good job of it. I like this one. <laughs> that looks like a shit pose. Cack. That's just a shit pose. That's not even a. It's cack. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing, isn't it? Oh my god, dude. It's just... Remember, lo remember like those uh, truck adverts from the 80s or something where they were like really boxy and they showed like aerodynamic flow and stuff and it was just box. <laughs> That's basically this. Yeah. <laughs> you know when you're really angry? Yeah. You know when you're really disappointed in someone? You're not angry, yes. you're just disappointed. Yeah. That's the Austin Kimberly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it does look like that. I, I can't get enough of the advertisement, dude. Oh okay, you know what I said about uh, uh, generic cars? <laughs> yeah. This is the Nissan Presser. Yes, oh. yes, that actually is the most car car out there. <laughs> yeah, it's a car. So, um, <laughs> what are we going to design our new car to look like? I want it to look like a car, I agree. <laughs> I, want to I want to make it look like it came out of automation. Yeah, yes. it's, it's like a really sad Infinity Q45. <laughs> uh, Arthur, do you want to join us? That if you can. That car above. See, see what we're that, about. That, that car above, literally, if it could talk, looks like it would only say fucking wankers. <laughs> 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 Alright, hold on, I'll add you right now. How about if a that car, car looks like a Datsun that's been stretched? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's. Oh. That. That's what people who buy an MR2 and slap a Ferrari badge on it would, would buy. <laughs> yes. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Can you see Hello, the message the history? Hello, Brazilian boy. <laughs> Are you able Hello. to see the message history, Arthur? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. I'm, I'm <laughs> look, at, look at the Chinese pretty... advert, it's, it's great. I'm on a pretty interesting form where it's just cars you don't know about. And it's literally people boasting cars that you almost certainly do know about. What yeah. is the Toyota Impul? Toyota Impul? Um, no worries, That's a Marvin. Nissan, and it's a no with a body kit. What do I think about the car handle changes in Spec 2.0? Uh, I don't remember playing Spec 1 because I played it in 2010, so I don't really remember anything about it. The game before Spectre. Oh my off. god, you remember me one thing, Emil. I wanna bring it to the, the chat. Hang on. Oh god. Let's see. <laughs> Let, let's see. Oh boy, you, you won't have any. You will not expect that. <laughs> what is that? What, what you got? <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> and... <laughs> can, can... All right. Look. Oh yes. Oh good lord. Aww. <laughs> Mini wheels. <laughs> yeah, that's a beetle with a Rolls Royce style green. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I thought it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, you've got to jazz up your cars. And, well, um, here in the 70s and 80s, we had a ban on imported products, so we have to be really, really creative. <laughs> <laughs> I well, can't buy a Rolls Royce. It could, be, listen, right, it could be worse. Your car could be angry at you. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that car is not happy it stopped. <laughs> I'm quite a police by this. <laughs> Stop speaking, bitch. 
<laughs> also, yeah, there's the shack. Look at look at look at the woman on that picture. She she looks like she's gonna slip off the edge. It's like any second. Has she got any feet? Yeah. Oh yeah, she has. <laughs> Brett, Brett. She's just hovering. There's no shadow. <laughs> she's photoshopped in there. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh god, this fo this form apparently is from 2008, so I'm finding weird stuff. But look at the way she's standing, like, there's no way she can have balance. Yeah, there's no way she has balance, and there's no way she isn't gonna slip off, and she has no shadow. So she's either a vampire or photoshopped in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably a vampire. <laughs> well, it's... <laughs> God, some of this for some of this form is just really stupid. Spooks, he did give a gift up to Ninja. He, he yeah. gave two gifts up to Ninja. <laughs> yeah, he did. It's like there's a bunch of people who are like, "Oh wow, cars you never knew existed." I bet you never knew the Ferrari 612 Scaglietti was a thing. It's like, no. Look at look at the Audi Avis. I think I've seen gone through Audis. The Audi Rosa Maya is still the worst. Yeah. Image. Oh, oh god. god! No. Oh, dude, there's the Alpha 145 Quattro. I I want one of these. The Auto oh, Rosemeyer would have been oh. the answer to the PT Cruiser and I the Crossfire. I like that. I like the 145. I want one. Oh, 145 is amazing. But the really rust nice. is eaten all of them. Oh, Damn. dude, never mind. I found a new thing that I want instead. <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that a oh is that a wagon R R R R R? It's a Chevrolet. <laughs> R R R. No, no, it's a Chevrolet. Look, completely a Chevrolet. The side of the car is clearly a Chevrolet. Yeah, it's it's technically it's an Impala if you look at it. Yeah, that's where all the bailout money went. Bad <laughs> engineering got weird. That was a thing. Saab Lancia. Saab Lancia. Spooks, thank you for the follow. That's, There's a full Fiesta a Ute. What? <laughs> Wait, what? what? Let's see. <laughs> that was oh. a thing that did exist. What? I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is yeah. blessed. That is blessed. If you remember rightly, a lot of people like to forget this and go, ha ha, China. In truth, when it comes to the world, there is two types of weird cars. Chinese cars, South and American Australian. cars. <laughs> and yes, and then you have sort of the midpoint where yeah, you get I, North American you, you weird cars and your weird cars. I have to bring something that we will be making in now because we had a racing series with these pickups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Now I can have chat, Discord, and okay, it's so all crash as much cool. It out. Yeah. It's not like you're losing time, is it? Well, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's see. There you go. Oh god, yes! Ooh, sign yes. up for that shit. <laughs> cool. There must be some kind of um, mod for Automobilista in the lost somewhere out there because it's very very unique to not have is automobilista that game that's basically project car but mexican yes mexican yeah. mexican no because that's literally <laughs> what it is it's just a bunch of mexican like race no, cars it's, and shit. it's well, brazil there's oh my god i found more pictures that of that amazing car yeah, that i saw from the monster one year too, you mean, yeah you're you're almost right you're just uh, mistook their country because it's mostly a Brazilian content. Yeah, yeah. but Automobilista one's like uh, R Factor one, but perfected by Brazilians. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Basically, yes. <laughs> the whole so world. I sent you the, a video of the racing series. Brazilian uh, touring car racing is just a blessing. It yes, really is. Absolutely. Speaking of just a blessing, how about a Jeep that's made by Brazilians? We are speaking about Ooh. racing today. I I have to check on on YouTube later. 
because today we have the very first. Oh, it's a brother! Amazing. Uh, <laughs> I love these little jeeps. Yeah, especially this one. Um, How am I supposed to get free tents out of here? Hey, you know Steyr who makes the org? Yeah. The what? They also Look. made a Fiat 500 at one point. Oh. Think about products. Look at the ad that I posted on. Oh god! Yes, Brazilian adverts, please. Oh god! Oh yeah, that... <laughs> that Fiat... That, that Fiat 500 that was built by Austrians. Yeah, remember? Yes. Is this literally just some like news footage they used to advertise the fucking thing? <laughs> it, it's it was literally on on a, on the news. Someone <laughs> passing with a trawler to a flooded area, and the the broadcaster was shocked about it not being able to to make it through the flooded area. And the main broadcaster goes, "Oh, that's a good ad material." So they just clipped the the. A bit and turn into a advertising. That's actually really cool. Hmm. Joe you know isn't cool. Americans think the multiplier is only that weird MPV, but it was actually a car they made in the fifties as well. There's a multiplier for you. I actually like that. Yeah, oh, yeah that thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I love that. It's quite unique. Kind of reminds me like a stretched out 360. It looks like, uh, what was it called again? Uh, a Tatra. Yeah, kinda. Like, I, like I love how it looks there. If you look very quickly, you cannot uh, difference the front from the rear of the car. Like, what is the front? Yeah. The yeah. That's basically every Tatra. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but I kinda like it. <laughs> It's apparently a master. Yeah, it's a master. That looks like a uh, expanded oh. version of the 323. Oh yeah, the German Suzuki Wagon R. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My co my colleague owned one of those before she got a fucking Kashkai. How many times does she roll on the way to work? <laughs> Uh, uh, I think that what? your friend doesn't have some, uh, uh, any kind of amount of self-appreciation, I guess. You've it, never you... seen humor until you've seen four fat people in an engineer yeah. go round she... and round about. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh okay. boy, so, I, so... I remember that um, two years ago, I was, me and four other friends in a... Beard, Palio, Sedan, mm. it's a small, small beard, and we were doing 100 miles per hour on the road, oh, <laughs> on the highway, <laughs> and Jeez. all of us are, all of us were like 90 kilos or more of weight, so imagine the car struggling for keeping his feet <laughs> through the highway. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God. I, don't know how I, I don't know how I managed to get alive and return alive because on the when we were coming back home, they, we were doing almost the same speed but in the rain. And in one of the moments, he said, "The driver said, oh look, I'm not complaining. Nice.' I'm like, okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> what in the <laughs> fuck is that? Okay, this is why we don't let the Australians build cars, apparently." <laughs> it is like um, the Panos, but yeah, worse. It's like and a boot like Panos. How. Yeah. Beautiful. Fucking Panos. Oh yeah, the Nardo. I remember the Nardo. Remember when Volkswagen was gonna build an interesting car? No. Oh yeah, no. Didn't. I like how many versions of that prototype actually existed, like the Synchro and the Dark. Yeah, they were like made like five of them for over like six or seven years and then just never built it because they were like, oh well, we got it. 
I yeah. kind of like that um, CRX convertible. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of. Uh, cool. I dig it. Yeah. I dig it. But Panos. <laughs> I mean. It stopped with the Esperanza GT1. Fucking Panos. <laughs> Panos has made one car for the last 30 years and just been promising to build another eventually. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's that God. weird Ferrari from Gran Turismo 5. The, the SP1. SP1. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a good looking car then. What was the point of it again? Uh, because a know. guy in Japan wanted it <laughs> and he paid him the money so he was like, yeah, we'll make you one. Yeah. That's literally, like, if you look into Ferrari's histories, they've built, built thousands of cars, because people would just go up to Ferrari and go, I want a, this, but I want a slightly different body on it, and they just go, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. And yeah, they just give it a silly name and let you have it. <laughs> oh, dude. A Czech supercar. That's oh. the, what I want. Oh, oh, I know, I know what it's gonna be. <laughs> oh, no. That's it's a bathtub else. with pop-ups. Oh, it does not look bad, actually. What the, okay, it's the a bathtub. The headlights look pretty bad, like, pop-up-wise, but yeah. from, from the first picture, yeah, the first picture yeah. doesn't look that bad. It looks like the sad cousin of the EV. It just looks too. like a bathtub to me, but that's... Yeah. It looks like a uh, Congo, but cousin of the Jet XJ220. Remember that sports car from Isuzu? <laughs> it basically Ooh, looked yeah. like that. Oh, the fucking With pop ups. Pizza? The pizza. Yeah. yeah. Nah, not, not the pizza. What was it called again? The 4200R or something? Oh, oh yes, the that concept thing. one. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my god, they modified a Metro. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Tick for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the aerodynamics and stuff! <laughs> 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 what did you do to improve your air aerodynamics? We made it squarer. <laughs> yeah. We blew wind at it. <laughs> you like God, they tried to make the Corrado into a wagon. Uh, no. Wagon. The, 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 not a good looking car. Nope. It really doesn't. Uh, it, no. It, yeah. The front's okay, the rear, no. No. Yeah, the front is okay because that's just a normal Corrado. Yeah, but it looks like a freaking um, 80 Civic in the back. There's always yeah. one fucker, isn't there? Cars you've never yeah. heard of before. Here's the BMW M5 CSL. It's different because they made one. <laughs> it's it's an M5 yeah. with a livery. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm... That's basically I'm, BMW, I'm, though. I'm, yeah. I'm, uh... I don't understand this concept of an M5 with CSL because the Ooh. point of an M5 is like, I mean, fast but still Oh, oh my oh, hell. Oh, God. Do you know what the best bit about that is, by the way? The guy who posted that picture said, wow, it's a looker, isn't it? I don't anymore after I watched this. What, what even is that? Is that a set one or what? It's a BMW prototype, but again, apparently the guy who posted it put a comment underneath and said, Yeah, it's a looker, isn't it? No! <laughs> no, it no. isn't! <laughs> this car is... This car just screams, Existence is pain. <laughs> Speaking of cars that scream, Existence is pain... This year from Goodwood Festival of Speed... <laughs> oh. What in the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, the Dymaxion, yeah. 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 Oh, this looks some something about from a 1930s movie about the future. Yeah, listen, right, yeah, kid, the kids sit there and go, what important car do you want? Oh, I want a Supra, I want a Celsius. No, you don't. The best JDM-only car of all time is the Toyota Mega Cruiser. <laughs> That's just a <laughs> Hummer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Listen, what? right, when this car has... It has a 4.1 litre four cylinder diesel. Look at it! It's amazing! No, he's at Celsius. In case you're GT. wondering, Doug DeMiro said that's one of his dream cars, but apparently he just can't find stuff for them, so. But I Imagine want it. living in one of the most crowded and cramped countries in the world. Build a, a, yeah, you should get one of those. 
we get one of those. That's amazing. Just I, Jeff, I wasn't Japanese even expecting Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of cars, I scream existence is pain. The Sylphia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're just a sad Suzuki. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's crying. Mr. Mr. Why must I live? Only to die. And sorrow. Yeah, it's bless them. This is the problem with trying to make a unique-looking car. You end up with that. Yeah. And you realize it's unique for a reason. It, it looks like a cr like you know the the second gen Suzuki Swift. It looks like that, but crying. Could be worse. Listen, it thinks its life is bad, but it could be worse. It could be a a Wagenberg canter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know of that thing. Why would I you know of it? The street just take it inside with you. <laughs> That's that looks like I, I can add this thing rolling over at any speed over five kilometers per hour. That thing looks like a, a fancy version of that car that Clarkson once built. Oh, yeah, fucking, the 45. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Toyota Cavalier. That was a thing. Happened. <laughs> uh, Do you want to see what happens when the Japanese get a Honda Legend? Okay. Yep. You guys want to see the very first electric Brazilian car? Wide Accord. <laughs> wide? It is a wide boy. <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. Wow. Looks oh, oh. like a trapezoid. <laughs> the fuck is the Google? <laughs> a Google in type? What is a gurgle? A gurgle. 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 Gurgle is like the go German go word for like where. Well, what do you call it when you make that noise with water in your mouth? Yeah. Swish? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically the German word for that. Hey, Google. remember when Packard tried to come back? Packard, yes. Yes. They made a car that was very ugly and they never came back. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing. Oh god. god. Oh god. Oh no. Ugh. Oh dude, the Toyota... Okay, right, the Toyota Cavalier with TRD package. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I like that. It looks silly. That, that looks like it's best friends with the Dodge Neon. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't the worst looking modified car that came out that year. What? Oh. Don't ask. Oh yeah, they made the Cavalier into a GT300 car as well. Remember when Toyota really thought that thing would sell? <laughs> why do you, Although that being said, I mean... Um, go on. Why would you design the hood like that? What purpose does it serve? The big speaking bulging... Of, speak, speaking about cars that... Could have gone into products, but it didn't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm glad no. that didn't go in production, oh, I'll be honest. Oh, fuck. Uh, GTT, the only thing I know that Dome did was made. they made race cars for a bit. I don't know if they made any other road cars or concepts. What What brand? Dome. Uh, oh, no. I don't uh, think they did much. I don't them. think they did. No. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Knowing that cars like that exist, right, would you rather live in a world where no concept cars ever existed or all concept cars went into production no matter what. Yes, I would I would I would <laughs> take that one. Uh, we already I kinda have like the idea of that world. Just think you we could even... get stuff like this. Not the men, the car. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Porsche 924 hearse or something? I don't know what it is. That looks Dorf like a 924 hearse. Oh. What is that? <laughs> That's a... Hold on. A pipper. A pipper. <laughs> a pipper. 
I'll send you now a picture of something that is actually quite nice. I can't believe these. Obviously, this is a very American form, so it's just people being amazed about cars they make in Europe. That thing needs a spoiler. It look <laughs> you remember, like, that car that was basically just two torpedoes glued to each other? <laughs> Let's see here. What, what are you posting? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wasn't that something with the Fittipaldi? Yeah, because this it's Fittipaldi on the side. Didn't they, like, work on that yeah. together, the brothers yeah, or something? Yeah, it's the Fittipaldi pretty, pretty Beetle. They're, like, two uh, Beetle engines welded together. Huh. So it's a flatmate. That so, sounds scary. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for a mindfuck? Yeah, let's go for it. And uh, this, this was basically in the 60s, battling with four GTs and stuff. Oh. Do you realize the issue? Uh, yeah. Rothman's livery on a Mitsubishi is weird. Yeah, I guess, but I don't... Yeah, but... but oh, that's the... the fucking thing! But also, didn't a few years later the Mitsubishi got sponsored by Winfield? Yeah, I sorry, I'm, I, I, sure. I'm having my mind blown. I've never actually yeah, seen yeah, this picture Yeah, yeah, there's before. a Woodfield Kilo private Yeah, team. there is. So yeah. it's like kind of the same brand. Hey, AJ, what's up, man? I, 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 I'm having my mind blown. I've never actually seen this car before. I, I'm in the video that I did for the CLK. Basically, what happened with the CLK GTR is they bought a McLaren F1 and added stuff to it that they were yeah. going to put onto their car. I've never actually seen the picture of the car they ended up with. Yeah, oh. I, I can see that. It, it, it's... Whoa! It looks like a Venturi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does, that's what yeah. ended up with, yeah, and so then they did that. The uh, and now it looks like that. So, that car's had yeah, a very they, weird history. Yeah, they okay, much they better. So they original specs. You're nuts? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, being but, cons but considering what Mercedes did to develop the CLK GTR was amazing because they oh, it's great, it? in months in order to be ready for the next season. What was the car called again that came before the CLK GTR? Wasn't it like this? I forget. No, it wasn't the GTR. The Lincoln no. Machete. No, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, it wasn't called the Lincoln oh, Machete. Regardless, um, that's I guess ugly. The Do you mean the Salva? CLKLM, that's right. Oh, CLM. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. The, the, the CLK GTR was the first one, then it was the yeah, CLKLM, and then it was the CLR. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. The CLR was the last one. And in the, the CLR season. is famous for one thing and one thing only. Speed. Speed. <laughs> Going mm, big oof. Three oof times. Yes. Although apparently the Porsche did that as well. As yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where was it? Ro was it Rodolanda? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. A dilemma. Are links allowed? No, I try not to like post too many links. Sorry. Otherwise, I'll start linking my OnlyFans. <laughs> linking Park. <laughs> linking Park. <laughs> oh, why are you understeering? Are you ready for the car version of Linkin Park? Uh oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> its wounds will not heal. It's cute. It's cute. No, it isn't. It's... Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. It cute. wants you to kill Leave it. it. Leave it alone. <laughs> it's trying its best. Why did the Chevrolet Malibu look like it's aged? That, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that's okay. <laughs> what what oh. makes the car what makes the car buff even better is that you can see the Messerschmitt cabine roller in the background. That was like one of the smallest cars ever, and that thing yeah. is twice the size of that. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know those Chinese things that I was mentioning earlier? Those Chinese minibuses that we get over here. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Here's the best bit about that. This is what their badge does. <laughs> BMWs? Oh. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's the brilliance is a BMW apparently. Alright, I'm gonna go grab dinner. Alright, man. Alright. This is probably my last stint. Have, uh, have fun with Le Mans. This is probably my last stint for today because I, I can't do a full seven fucking hours of this. No, go on. <laughs> Push through it. No. No. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. No. Yeah, kill yourself. <laughs> I'll, probably pick, I'll probably pick this up later tonight or tomorrow, but yeah, I'm, the goal is to beat the game sometime by the end of the year, I guess. This year. <laughs> the power of the Holden Utes that compels you. That's gorgeous. Yes! That's that nice. is. Too bad we never got didn't those. BMW, here. Didn't BMW like create a like a youth version of the M5 once? Yeah, they use it to ferry parts around or something. Don't ask about that one, by the way. <laughs> That's <laughs> Swedish <Stop>. engineering. <laughs> Sweet, yes. <laughs> See, Sweet you can leave it. Oh god, the swords. I like how some of these are just like cars that you obviously know about, and then you end up with cars like the Roof Dark Car. The reason Darker. why Roof is not allowed to design cars anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was, that's yes. a Roof? Yes. That's a Roof. Oh, yes, I yeah, know they, that one. They, oh, they dropped the ball. Hey, they wow. made a good version of the Panamera, but... The Cayenne, not so much. Oh, I, I, yeah. Yeah, not the Cayenne. How about Babs? Babs. Babs. <laughs> Babs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just good old early day engineering if you look at it. Speaking of good old engineering, would you like to drive a bin? A bin? Yes. A bin. It's literally <laughs> a wheelie bin that you can... <laughs> then they see one. <laughs> It looks like, like, like a box. It, look, it looks like that mech character from Overwatch. <laughs> this is basically what if uh, the Metal Gear box was a car. That's the yeah. smuggest. That's the smuggest looking car I've ever seen in my entire life. Isn't that a Mazda? No, it's an AC Acura. It looks like an Aston Martin Vantage and a uh, Jaguar X. C75 kinda. It was in a video game, so that's something. <laughs> in a video game? It was in Topa World Touring Cars, which has yeah, many weird yeah, cars in I it. Recall, yeah, one of the unlockable. Oh fuck. That's just hideous. There's a reason why AMG is restricted to only making Mercedes. Oh yeah, back when they yeah. made stuff with Mitsubishi, yes. Yeah. Yo, that's horrendous. Yeah. That's a Galant, or Morse. That's a Galant that ramped into a 190E. <laughs> oh, there's the Brazilian Beatles. There's the Audi <laughs> TT with two engines in it. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that one. Speaking what? about good logic cars, but they they do not uh, go as fast as good as it looks. The yes, SP2. It, 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 it. Mm. I, I'm not too sure what to make of that one, looks wise. I'll be honest. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. Remember that Porsche that was basically just uh, uh, a Volkswagen minivan type three. I don't know. All I know is I'm currently looking at a rear-engined front-wheel drive car. Would you like to see it? Yeah, go for it. Oh. Wait. What the fuck? That's 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 a Tatra, is it? No, it's called a Coleman Motors Maroon car. Beautiful, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really nice. At least on the back. Yeah. What is that? The rim's well, the kind of also, it's a Fiat one forty seven. Based from the Fiat 127. There's a bitter. Completely not a Holden. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that either. Not a Holden. 
That's the one thing you got to make of it. It's completely not a hold. Look, it's just bitter. Got a B on it. So again, we have we had one of these with a turbo engine, and consider that this car weighed less than 200 kilos. There's a nice beetle for him. 800 kilos actually. Dude, with a turbo? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it it was like. The car, will, the engine would run away, and we'll, we'll be standing where you are with the steering wheel in the hand. <laughs> the car had so much power, but no way to move it. To move. Okay, the car I'm gonna send now actually has a bit of a backstory because it's a three-time marathon winner at the Nordsch Life. A marathon. Yeah, it's basically three days of driving. Oh fuck, it's that Russian thing that's rear engine, isn't it? The, the Tatra, yes. Yeah, the Tatra. Oh yeah, yeah, right, I need to Hang send on, the back right of it. Okay. Alright. Not gonna lie, I actually I like do. that. I, I have one. to send in the rear of it because the exhaust is just a. <laughs> the exhaust is so fucking big. You have a rear oh, picture? No. Okay, yes, here. Holy shit. Oh and it was a V8. Beautiful. Yeah, it was like a V8 that made like no power. Yeah, 190 horsepower. <laughs> you know those um um that that Volkswagen XL1 they built. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. 0.9 liters per hundred kilometers. Yeah. Thing. Turns out Volkswagen was working on that for a while. Here's the first iteration. As you can see, I'm kind of <laughs> glad they advanced. I want that. I like how its name its nameplate is Wobble. <laughs> That's all Volkswagens. I love Volkswagens play because they always put Wob. <laughs> I don't even know what oh, Wob means. TMC. Yeah. I'm currently at the driving test with the RX-7 at the Nordschleife. Nice. That was fun. But yeah. Oh god. <laughs> First turn and I'm out of there. <laughs> I forgot the oversteer. <laughs> How bad but do it was, you have actually. warp on your license plate? Wobble. What warp. is warp? Let me let. I, I, what what I, I city is warp? Warp. Is, is it Wolfsburg? What yeah, Wolfsburg. S sorry, I'm being. Um, this is why India shouldn't be allowed cars. Wobble. You didn't have to look too hard. The mo the Montana emerged. They're basically saying that car is the best car in the world, obviously. Mm. It looks it's like a, a stack. It looks like a stacked up Honda ZX. It's a Reliant Kitten. Oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, the, un the under and over steer on the RX-7. I completely forgot. Oh, <laughs> I remember. no. Would you like a sepsis? What? The saddest looking supercar. Ever. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> no, no, no. If you want to see the saddest car ever made, look at that car that I, I, I can't remember for shit what it's called. But it was basically some car manufacturer who had like the remaining chassis of the EB110 and built cars out of those. And it's just the saddest looking thing ever. It's not the honky CH750F, is it? <laughs> That's just tragic looking. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a fucking Nissan Classic. Stanza. Yeah. Oh god, the Mitsubishi Pajero Evolution. Fuck yeah. That was a thing that happened. Toyota Medicruiser, Lancia. Daedra. Oh, the best Land Rover. Discovery ever made. Uh -huh. Completely accurate. Good. Very nice. <laughs> Very good, yes. Oh, apparently, oh, I found it. Apparently it didn't sell well because, um, believe it or not, the Japanese were amazed to find their Honda wasn't very reliable. Okay, I found the car. Wait, uh, wants me to subscribe to the daily thingy. Yes, that's okay. 
Castle Motors SP110. Let's see. It's so sad. It's just so sad. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. Dude, that looks so sad. Holy shit. So guys, do you want a Lancia Delta? Yeah. Do you yes. have enough money for a Lancia Delta? No. no. <laughs> well, that's good because the wow is here. Wow. <laughs> I the, the headlights kind of remind me of that the high to move from uh the, the the one from GT2. I forget what year it is. Uh, oh god. I actually kind of like that. You like the wow. Yeah, it makes me say wow. I I have a feeling you would not like the wow if you've driven the wow. I probably wouldn't, but looks wise, nope. looks okay. Ah! Last corner, goddammit. It probably looks better than the Mustang FR500. FR? FR? Yeah, this is the sort of car you don't let around your children. <laughs> okay, uh. It's, it's an angry fox body. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really look Dude, good. Dude! Oh my god, do you like the Lincoln Town car? I know, I, I remember that from somewhere. The Lincoln Town Car, it's a bit, it's the Crown Vic, but like luxury. Yeah. TMC, do you like the Lincoln Town Car? Uh, not really, but go on. Then you'll love the Honky CA7460. Oh. <laughs> what the <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I love it how what you can tell an especially bad Chinese car when they're taken in an alleyway and just <laughs> yes. look like that. Do you like the Mitsuoka? The what? Okay, what the f- <laughs> You know Mitsuoka, that country that makes those like, the, the micras that look like Jags and stuff like that? No. Well, either way, you'll want that. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is what? that? Uh, what, 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 what were like though? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Don't say anything else, I need a comparison. Wait, what the fuck? I don't know what this is, but it's just funny. <laughs> That's not Christine. <laughs> That's a Saturn. <laughs> okay, Ooh. okay. Look at look at that thing that you sent in before. That yes, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to look like, apparently. <laughs> yes, it's just it's just a, a, a Citroen, but it, but it was almost starved. Yeah. Uh, do you like Daihatsu's? We 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 did Daihatsu's earlier. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, you commented they look like a fridge. I, I raise you the hijet d jumbo, dumbo. <laughs> I also raise you the town cube, and also my <laughs> personal favorite of all, the Daihatsu Myra Milano. Oh, oh god! god. <laughs> that, <laughs> what? That's a good that's, bubble. That's just that's the knockoff two CV. That is what happens when, like, someone's like, I want a car with all the headroom. Headroom. Excellent. Yes. That's oh, a that's... A small car for tall people. <laughs> Do you want to see what happens when an R33 and an R32 mate? Let's see. It, it, I, I can't... My brain oh. can't quite compute that one. Okay, that's... It's kind it, it of looks cool, like, but strange at the same time. It looks like, yeah, it, it, is it like a Skyline that wasn't a GTR? No, it's a GTR. It looks like a GT33, a GT32, and a an Honda Accord. All in one. Yeah, apparently Nissan kept it, and it's in their little vault of stuff. Do you guys like Mazdas? Yes. This is completely a Mazda. See? It says Mazda on it. Obviously oh, a Mazda. Totally not a Ford Fiesta, or whatever it was. No, no it's a Mazda. I, I used to be obsessed with those. Me and Asa sort of kind of want one, because <laughs> they're just ridiculous. 
Yeah. Didn't didn't Chain Bear on Twitter like tweet about this that the Master, f I don't know what it was called again, and the One, Ford Fiesta were just twenty one. Yes, yeah, so basically the same thing. Do you want to see what happens when they try to sell the McLaren F1 in America? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> this this, I'm not joking. Crazy. This is part. They had to reduce it to a single seater, and also add. Um, Mm. <laughs> oh no! Oh. What the hell? Have you That's seen just... like the? Have you seen like what it looks like when they try to sell the Bugattis in America? And it's just like those big square black yeah. boxes on the back. And they have to put in that like little thing in the boot because like yeah. they think they're gonna like capture people. Because obviously you're gonna get kidnapped in a fucking Bugatti. Yes. America's lowest priced high mileage four wheel drive car. I, I had to read that twice to make sure that made sense. Apparently, this car's called the STD, by the way. No, <laughs> <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> god, there's a bunch of Shelbys. Apparently, everyone's just. Oh my god, Carol Shelby did this. Yes, they did. For Wowies. For Wowies. For Remember, like, the when Shelby just strapped more and more aerodynamics onto the GT500 and it just looked like. Ugh. Yes. Oh, God. Reminded of bad stuff. Now everyone's discussing all the concept cars that could have been Mustang 2s. Have you ever seen the uh, the Fiat Panda Italia 90? Is it the more curse or more blessed than oh, the last lap, by the way, for this name. It's super right. blessed. This is the way the Italians celebrate winning the Euros. There you go. Hmm. Oh my god. Is the wheel supposed to be a football? Yes. Oh my fucking god. I've seen one of those for yeah. sale before. I oh my god, the wheel. That is cringe, dude. What the fuck? What are you talking about? It's amazing. Could be worse. It could be the Nissan Pulsar SSS. <laughs> SSS. <laughs> SSS. Look at this beast. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that Lord. spoiler is necessary. I don't think the spoiler is the biggest issue it has. It's the badging. Yeah, the badging is like whoa. Is the SSS of test? SSS. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Who would win SSS or RRR? <laughs> I'm being confused by that. <laughs> we need Salika for his fucking wide president. His wide. Yeah. <laughs> wide golf. Wide golf. <laughs> Bottom oh, takes. Wasn't it the, the golf guy was basically a Porsche? Uh, Wait. Instead of a, uh, they actually go. It's like a Porsche, one of the front engine Porsches with a go body over it. Uh, yeah. I think I might. Yeah. Americans being amazed about the BMW Compact. Have you ever wanted a car with no f features whatsoever? Here is an Austrian version of the Volkswagen camper van. Have you ever seen a more tortured thing in your entire life? Without Even the, the people inside it don't look particularly Dude, pleased. without the emblem in the front, it looks really strange. Yeah. I think it looks great, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just got no face. <laughs> no. Oh. You want you want to see like the best Porsche to have ever existed, which actually is marked as a Porsche. Alright, people, I'm gonna head out because I have a league race to do. Right good, now. good luck. Alright, right, yeah, right, later. Bit. We're yeah, we're man. ending anyway, so it's all good. Okay, yeah, we're ending on a. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Corona, you the thank wrong you for the follow. Convertible car. You should have bought that one. Oh. Okay, and here's there? the Porsche. Here's the Porsche B four D two. Oh yeah, that <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. All right, and this is where we end this recording section. 
session, session. Lap 333 free free. All right, this is the uh, second to last recording session for this, this particular race. Um, I'm gonna do an hour by myself, no commentary, because I just wanna build up a big enough lead to the point that we get back with um, the homies on Discord and we just, you know, fuck around as usual on the voice chat. Um, I don't wanna lose the race or anything. So I'm just doing an hour, no commentary. Just skip an hour if you don't want to see this Pescarello driving around. Other than that, uh, enjoy the sounds of the car. I'm using bumper cam because it's the most comfortable that I'm with. That and hood cam. All right, back in an hour with my actual voice.
Yay, back to live commentary. Two hours, ten minutes to go. Maybe like two hours, nine minutes to go after the pit stop cycle, but yeah, uh, we're close We're close to the end, y'all. Very close to the end. Back live on Twitch with this recording part because I did an hour and a half by myself just to make the race go um, faster. Hello, King. How's it going? Everyone's a king in this um, stream. Or a queen. Like I said, Mikhail's going to join me a little later. The reason why it skips the, the pit entry... <laughs> you dropped this. The reason why is because um, I just yeeted into the pit lane. So the game just picks up picks up on whatever you do last. Also, for those watching the stream, um, I decided something with uh, the final part of the LP, which is the 24 Hours of Nurburgring, which is the next episode of Let's Play Gran Turismo 5. Um, the camera's going to be making its debut in the LP because this LP has been very inconsistent. It took me about two years to get this done. And then also, I have to re-record some parts so yeah uh funny thing is I'm, I'm actually gonna have the house to myself again this weekend because my my uh, my brother's gonna go out of town he's gonna go visit a friend because um his friend is doing pretty bad in terms of the pandemic so he's gonna go and like you know just kind of be there for moral support and stuff you know because he's not having like the best times mentally so he's gonna go be there for him and you know i i support him 100 percent i'm that you know i did that with one of my friends that was like struggling big time with dealing with the whole pandemic situation but, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, it is rough, but... You know what? Um, it, it kind of needs to be done. And I get to have room to myself. No, seriousness now. Um, in all seriousness, yeah. If I was in his position, I, you know, like I said, I did it with one of my friends before. I would do the exact same thing. But, yeah, um... We're almost done with this. We're going to finish this race tonight and then get started with Nürburgring next. And I thought about car choices. I think I know what I'm going to choose. It's going to be either A, the prize card for this race, or B, I'm going to go the Rhino route because he bought a Nissan GTR. Like the, I don't know what, what spec it is. It might be a GT4. It might be a GT3. I don't know. The, the, the Schultz or whatever Motorsport 2011 car, the black one. He gave it a turbo, right? I'm probably going to do the same thing to compete with the LMP1s. A GT3 car. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm So, basically, the price for this, or go the Rhino route, except not use the GTR. Use another uh, GT car. And I know which one, so I basically have two choices for this particular race. Or for Nürburgring, I mean. Off-screen, I did some testing with that car, and... Use a street car. That could be a third option, too. To give GT5 a proper send-off, buy, like, a Audi R8 or something, or buy, like, a Ferrari and just... What is it, then, Arthur? Mr. Know-it-all race car man. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Arthur. Um, yeah, what kind of race car is it? It's, like, GT4 or something? Or it's just an N24? I don't even know. All I know is that car is really gorgeous. It's just an N24 car. Got it. Yeah, I meant the DLC one, because unfortunately for you, Rishi, the uh, GTR LM Nismo did not exist when this game came out. Although this game came out in 2014, uh, it never got the GTR LM Nismo. Even if it was a 2015 car, you know, they could have said, oh, fuck it, La you know, last car, blah, 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 but no. I think the latest car, like, the latest year car to come out in this game is, like, 2012 or 2013. I cannot remember. Like, the newest model, it was either the one of the 86 BRZ FRS clones, or... I don't know. I forget the other one. Unless you're thinking of something else. You're probably thinking about the, um, the one in GT Sport, the blue one, the 2013 one. That's for sure a GT3 car. There's, there's like, three of them, because there's that one... There's the uh, GT Academy one, which I think was a GT4, which is the 2012 one. And then there's the um, then there's the 2011 one, which was the free DLC that everybody got with Spec 2.0. I just don't remember what exactly the um, the category is. You're a dumbass. I'm a dumbass too. But hey, that's why we're friends, Rishi. 
We could be dumb together. So yeah, yesterday, what a stream for Rhino. I I was lurking in the beginning, around the time he did he bought the uh, Prelude and did the spot races, mainly because like I was assisting my um, I was assisting my mom with some stuff online. But yeah, it was so nice. Honestly, like it's so nice to see Rhino revisit the Gran Turismo games, like the old school ones, only because like obviously. His, not only has his production quality changed, obviously the difference from 2010 to 2020 is day and night, because 2010 he was using like, I guess he was using like a hop hog or something, but it looked like he was like recording off a VHS player, because you can see some of like the static lines and shit, which I thought was like a nice touch, but at the same time, like, it's still pretty cool to see like the difference between his 2010 versus his 2020, but also, um, his style. His style changed so much. Like, I, 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 I feel like, I, I don't know. In, in his own words, he was a little bit more dark and edgy and shit. And like now he's just himself. Which I think he was still himself back then. He's just different now. But, um, but seriously, like, it, it was nice to see because when you watched his original LP, like, same with all of us who start on, who start content creating. It was kind of a mess. But, like, now, like, like, you know, when you kind of find your own style, you kind of figure out what, you, you know, what you want to do and stuff. You kind of, like, you have a big appreciation for that kind of stuff. Now, nah, Castro, I knew it wasn't bullshit because he said it for years now that I'm going to re-LP the, the first three games, but he decided just... He suddenly decided to do the whole series. This might sound like a copycat thing, but dude, him playing GT1 again makes me want to play GT1 again on stream. Like, I, I, I LP'd it before. My LP, while it's not terrible, I feel like I changed since then in terms of, like, in terms of, like, um, you know, obviously production style, um, commentary, the camera, etc. I kind of want to re-LP it just for that sake, just because he's doing it too, and it's like, well, holy shit, man. That's amazing that he's replaying it. And also, because, like, the thing is, is that my order from the from the series was, like, 1, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, right? But I figured, GT1's a short game. I could do GT1 right after 6, and it will only take me a couple of streams, at most. And just like before, I'd play the Japanese version because the Japanese version soundtrack is amazing and copyright free too. Like, okay, if you guys, obviously, you'll probably stick around for a majority of the stream castrol. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of any of the Japanese songs, which by the way, the intro for the stream today, I played um, the Japanese Aston Martin um, dealership music and the Japanese Chevrolet music. But yeah, I'm, I'll go ahead and play. You thought it was something amazing for N24? Hmm. Only Moon Over the Castle? Yeah, dude. I'll show you. I'll, uh, during the break, the intermission screen? Fuck no, Rishi. Maybe for the 24 minutes of Nerve Green, but not for the 24 hours. That's a big maybe. But yeah, um, also about continuity for this LP, um, there's parts I have to redo. I, I'm going to redo the Super License because too many people were bitching in the comments. We're like, oh, you, you made it you made it too easy by wrecking everybody. Uh, uh, uh. And it's like, bro, the Super License in this game is ridiculously easy. It's just an overtake challenge, and even then, the AI doesn't push that hard. Like, I crashed every single car to make it fun. GT300? Oh, dude. Oh, well, um, GT300 would be for GT6, Arthur. Because in this game, unfortunately, it's LMP1s and GT cars. It makes no sense. I wish it was purely GTs because I feel like GT cars in this game are really underrepresented. They only come out in the World Championship and that's it. And sometimes the All-Star Race. But yeah, um, I straight up said in the beginning of the Super License video that like, hey, I'm doing, I'm crashing every car for fun because this this exam is really freaking easy. I know, right, Rishi? 
Although LMPs and Indy kind of make sense, only for the sake that they're open top cars and the FGT is a unicorn car, so like, I, I think PD wanted some diversity and shit. Yeah, it only barely makes sense. It only does, but I could see why they did this. They made the choice. LMPs at Nords is kind of dumb. It should have been like, you know, that's a that's the funny thing, Rishi. I remember reading in some article back in the day, like 2009 or 2010, that the IRL was supposed to be in this game. It was like a rumor, or it was like unconfirmed. But some some article had re had reported that the IRL has struck a deal with um, Polyphony to get the um, Delara IR07s or whatever chassis they were running at the time. I say IR07 because they barely... Oh, it, yeah, they, they haven't even changed that much, like, from... Okay, so 97 was the first time that the IndyCar series, or the IRL at the same, Indy Racing League, used the chassis. Uh, they barely changed. They, the engine formula changed and some of the body style changed, but, like... Those cars were pretty much the same since, like, 2001, 2002? Yeah, because there were a bunch of, like... Where the hell were you before... When I was... Way behind, game. The rain comes now? Okay. You know, I'm not complaining. Like, I don't mind the rain, but... Damn it, if the rain had came, I wouldn't have taken, like, three hours of this recording session by myself to, like, gain a lead. The AI is abysmal around the rain. Well, we could be quick. Unless you're, like, one of my B-Spec drivers, and my B-Spec drivers are, like, really good in the rain. But, yeah, it's finally raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Um, all right, Mikhail, let me go ahead and call you up. It says you're offline. Are you sure about that? Discord. But yeah, um, I did see Is Ayrton sent on my beast. No, I had F Alonzo, K Kobayashi, um, K Yamauchi, A Rossi, M Weber, and um, R Vargas. Those are my up? six. Yo, what's up? Those are my six um, beast bag drivers. Well, give me a second because I need to switch to my uh, Luke's real quick. No worries. Don't send M Weber out of Lamar. Oh, um,. That's right, there's four choices. Okay, so here are the four choices for Nurburgring. It's the prize card from this race. B, option B is what I mentioned before, the um, tuning up a GT car, which I, I already know which one I want. I'm not saying which one. Option C is actually the CLK, which I won from the uh, AMG Driving Academy. Or option D is what Rishi said, which is buy a street car and tune it and max it out. However, I, I legit don't even know. Now that Rishi brought... I, I feel like Rishi's suggestion threw a whole curveball at, at my plans. And that, it's not a bad thing, because Rishi brought up a really good suggestion. But, um, but yeah, anyways, the IRL, I remember reading in some magazine. The, IR, like, the IRL, the Indy Racing League, and the IZUD IndyCar Series had struck a deal with Polyphony for, for Gran Turismo 5, and then... Nothing was mentioned after that. So I remember reading that. I was like, oh my god. NASCAR and IndyCar? Let's go. But then, yeah, nothing came of it. So, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I didn't know about that. That's probably why they had the Indy 500 in this game. Because they have like, a little deal with IndyCar, but they didn't do it. Yeah, it didn't go through. Rhino with the raid. Ah, we're only two hours away, boy, from finishing this goddamn race. Hello, hello, everybody from Rhino Stream. How did, um... Yeah, Team Rick! Team Rick! Team Rick! Dude. Uh, Blue Kaiju, thank you for the follow. Rhino, thank you for showing so much love, dude. You raided me, like, multiple times this these past couple weeks, dude. I, I fucking love you, dog. But yeah, um, the future is bleak. Thank you for the follow. I don't have my camera on because of continuity for my Let's Play recording, but for the next race, which is the 24 hours of Nurburgring, we're going to bring the camera back. Um, finish six? Nice. Oh, you got to speed. Uh, end of the line. E fuck. Okay. Leading with 20. Oh, dude. That sucks. But you know what? Okay, so Rhino got a speeding penalty, end of the line, while he was leading with 20 to go, but he finished six. It was ILMS. Oh, no, ILMS. Um... NIS, right? 
or was it just like Class A racing? Because I I forget if NIS has Wednesday races. I think they do. NIS got it. How's my uh, sound? Is it loud? Yeah, you're good. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm Dino and practicing for right now. SSRX. Dude, <laughs> fucking Nations Cup special stage route. At oh, you didn't realize it was the full 400? Holy shit, dude. Hey, but you know what, man? Good shit, though, dude. At Rhino, you're getting better and better at NIS, man. Dude, Charlotte was a great race. This was a great race. Bro, it's only a matter of... T oh, and so was Homestead. It's only a matter of time before, like, you get that dub, bro. So just keep at it. Dude, Nations Cup special stage route X... I told Diego, I was like, you know what, dude? If you don't have any NASCAR Heat Pro League clashes for that, do it. Because he, he used to do the GT6 all the time. The, or GT5 as well. The um, SSRX, like, slipstream races. That would suit him very well. Like, big time. Yeah, the only problem is that they want competition cars, so you can't really put a livery on it. Just... He gets kind of ass, but at the same time, like, eh, who cares? It's, it's just going to be a slip fest anyways. Kind of hype about Kentucky. Nice. I need to do I mean, it. I need to get more oval stuff done on iRacing because I'm like, I'm a terrible oval driver, but at the same time, like, the reason why I'm a terrible oval driver is because I don't practice enough. Piss your pants, Ryan. Yes, piss your pants, Ryan. I mean, you'll be fine with oval. Speaking about Ryan, uh, Rhino, I was just saying to the, to the chat before you came in with the fat old raid, um, I really like the fact that you're replaying GT1 again. It's nice to see how much you, how far you've came since 2010 to now, in terms of production quality, commentary style, video style, organization, etc. It kind of makes me want to replay GT1, just because I'm, you know, I'm just a clone copy, except uh, I'm not as good looking. <laughs> I'm kidding, um, but yeah. But when I LP GT1, when I that was my first ever LP as well because you inspired me to do it. Like, you, Jimmy Broadbent, um, Arrow, you guys were like my main inspirations for streaming in the first place. So, I did the Japanese version because the soundtrack is fucking incredible. Um, I'm probably gonna replay GT1 once I'm done with GT6 because the plan is, the plan was GT1, then GT5, 6, 2, 3, and 4. Then I figured, you know what? GT1 will take me like two or three streams at most. Might as well just do it again, get it out the way. But yeah, dude. Good shit, man. It was really fun. It was really fun to watch. And I gotta send you some of the Japanese soundtrack because it's freaking incredible, dude. But yeah. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, uh, Special Stage Route X is gonna be a shit show. <laughs> I mean, you don't even need, you don't even need the race because you're just gonna be bumped around in it, like, you know, in every corner, you know? Dude, Devin better do that race. He's like the master of the freaking SSRX racing. Laughs and Ooh. torque. Devin! Definitely, yeah. He needs to do it. But what rating is it? What, what's his rating? I don't know. I'll probably check that when I go see him. Because I, I have a feeling that most of the top split people are gonna skip out, except for like Mista and maybe like. I don't know who else in top split would skip. I would be dumb enough to do it. Just to ride, you know, just to ride in the back and try to capitalize, but I don't know. I feel like it will be mostly like second or third split people who are trying to get max points and they're just going to cause a big one. I mean, is this going to be like a lot of like shit going on? This is why I'm training myself with like, a open lobby race because yeah. you, you kind of want to know what's going to happen. You know, if there's going to be an accident, when are people going to make dumb moves? I could, use the, I could use the burner account, Arthur. You're right. Sorry. Go ahead. I mean, and it, this is why I'm already in two leagues for top, for top speed already. Oh. Uh, one for a group four with a group four BMW, and another for a you know the obvious uh, one of the Devon's leagues thing to do. So with the Nissan, so yeah, it's more, it's more of a training for this for this race. So Rishi, I th sorry, go ahead. It's just a lot like this. It's not just a simple like you know two straightaways in that corner. You know? Rishi, I think most top two people have burner accounts that are A plus. So like. PX7 Lamb has his Dodge Lamb account, which is I think is his OG one, and like it's 60,000 DR. So does Erky. Erky has like 55,000 on his um on his burner account. My burner account has like 40 something thousand DR. Is it okay if he can use a burner account? 
Uh, for manufacturers, no, because that not only helps your own chances, but you're you're helping the manufacturer that you're representing get more worldwide points or whatever. I think for nations, it might be okay, I think. I don't think it necessarily is, but I don't see what advantage you can gain from, like, 200 points from one race, you know what I mean? You're going to be down in, like, the 500s or some shit, you know what I mean? So I think I might use the burner account for, for that race. I don't know. I'm just going to make myself a burner account and swear to product that's through 24 or something. You bought the Tomahawk? Nice. Have you have you tr uh, driven it in any actual road courses, Castro? It's insane. Um, if you cut all the chicanes at Le Mans, or if you do the no chicane version, because I did, I cut all the chicanes in the uh, Vision GT GT League race just for fun. And you can do like w you can do like one minute fifty laps around here with a fucking tomahawk. It's just ridiculously fun. Imagine if it's not the end of one. 800 but just like a group rides race ads. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I am kind of disappointed that it's only the Ferrari, though. I, I, uh, I'm I assuming that it's done for like, not necessarily BLP, but for like, you know, to make the racing equal. But at the same time, dude, if you look at all the races that people do for SSRX lobbies, everyone's using like five different cars and the racing is pretty much like equal. But my question is, what's the slipstream strength gonna be? Is it gonna be weak, real, strong? I don't. I'm probably gonna check it out once I find the uh, schedule for sure. Cause the problem is that if it's on, if it's on real, you're not gonna go any. It's on weak. Okay, that's good. Because okay, so you do have some stuff. So yeah, some because if it's on, if it's on real, it's gonna be just a procession. It's gonna be like an, it's gonna be like the Arca Talladega race. No one's gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be single file. But with yeah, weak, sounds, yeah, you still have a chance. Because if you have strong, guess what? It's not good. Now you're gonna be not legit. Because, well, that's just, it's gonna be like a, a, it's gonna be like a cart fucking um, what's that shit called? Um, uh, Hanford device race. Yeah, and just everyone's just gonna be trash because everyone's just gonna be bunched up together and everyone's just gonna make dumb moves. So I think people are gonna make dumb moves regardless. Like I said, you're gonna have your third or second split people bracing with the top split guys and they're gonna try to prove points and they're gonna try to like go five wide or some shit and they're gonna wreck I mean, everybody. I mean if I do end up in your lobby for some reason, because there's no way in hell because I'm like an AS. But if I do, I'll probably help you out. Round twenty four Manny's at Blue Moon, I appreciate that. Um that's not bad. It's in the infield. I might consider doing it. But at least it's not the roadster race ender. Because that last slot where, where G-Earthquake pushed me out when I passed him for the lead pissed me off, dude. And then also Wait. the... Y y okay, so... G-Earthquake? So I... I, think I, heard about I went... I went on the outside of T1 on the second lap. I passed him, and then he literally just used my car to push me, dude. To make the corner. Not... So no brakes. Nothing. So G-Earthquake, right? G-Earthquake. Girthquake. I think I may have heard about him. I may have heard... Eh, don't even bother. I don't really care. Like I, the way I look at it is like first or top split, like elitist mentality. Like like yesterday, like that T, that former TTG driver, who uh, the one who who says he's a race coach but he crashes people. He was flashing his lights at me, trying to force me out the way in yesterday's stream. And I just said in my, I said to my chat, keep flashing, motherfucker. I don't fucking care. Like you're gonna have to earn it. Like. That's what Judoka was telling me. That's ex yes, him. He kept flashing oh, and, and he kept really? flashing and trying to like force me out. Though, yeah, dude. It's like and, and then afterwards he said, "Man, that was trash." It's like, no, you're a dick. Wow. Like Holy just shit. just because you can't. I didn't tell him that, but I just I just kind of laughed it off. I was like, just because you can't pass me doesn't mean that I'm supposed to move out the way. Because oh my god, he's top twenty in the fucking region. I don't care. So basically, you just stand up to a, what's considered a bully. Oh, dude, if, if he had touched me, I would have ran his ass off the road and not give him a fuck. Honestly. Oh, please. I would love to... Only love because... To only because... The thing is, is that... These... Um, my my homies in the top split warned me that the elitist mentality from the top people... Yeah, exactly, Rhino. They warn me about these type of people, and I'm, I'm here to show them, dude. Like, I know... I know I'm the slowest guy in the top split because I barely got here, but I don't give a shit 
what, how many world tour events you've been to, or if you drive in real life or whatever, I don't fucking care at all. I think I even told you myself, right? About the t uh, about them. What, TGG? Yeah. What, that I they did. merged with VLX? That I didn't know. I knew that. But I did, I did tell you about like, the girls not to tell you as well, because I heard from like, different people. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not even surprised, because everyone talks about this particular game. It's not necessarily just their team in general. It's it's not the team I'm necessarily talking about. I'm talking about the elitist the elitism mentality of some of the top two people when it comes to newcomers and then them them trying to muscle people out the way just because they've been in the top split since the game came out or whatever. Like that's yeah, what I'm yeah, that's, that's right. what I'm talking about. I'm talking about G Earthquake, I'm yeah. talking you know, like talking about Robert, like like I said, I don't care if they've been there for longer than I have. Like I, I earn my, I earn, I rightfully earn my spot to be in the split. And guess what? I'm gonna qualify 15th, and I'm gonna run in the back. But I'm gonna learn along the way and get better. That's all I can do. So I was thinking about this the other day because, no, Arthur, you're not allowed to join my Discord call. Mm. <laughs> it's only cool people only. Uh, I'll call you when I'm on the straightaway. Um. The thing is, is that I was thinking about this the other day because Chris had made it to the top split for his first ever time, right? And he was thinking to himself, like, ah, you know, like he wrote, ah, why am I here? Same thing with uh, Ender and Chat. He managed to be in one of the top split races because of a lack of um, participants. So it just kind of meshed together a bunch of splits to fill the field. And the way I look at it is this. Making it to the top split in GT Sport is just like progressing through a, a junior ladder in any championship and here's why because you're because you're working your way up and winning all these races right you know like real life race car drivers do this to to go somewhere so like for example leclerc for, for example right so like you have a guy oh i was paid attention <laughs> um you have a guy like like charles leclerc right who wins all the races in the junior category to make it to f1 but he doesn't win immediately in f1 because he has to learn the ropes it's the same thing with with esports. E You're gonna win every single race. Yeah, I, I wait. That was a wall. I didn't. I didn't know. Thank you, Rhino. You're gonna have a moment where someone like me won all these splits to get to the top split, and now that I made it to where I want to, I have to learn all. I have to learn the ropes and learn how to be faster and learn all these things. You know. And so, to anybody, I, I might make a video on it and just kind of explain it further. But. The point is, is that for anyone who gets discouraged because they get put into the top split, don't be. You're going to get your ass whooped, but be happy you got your ass whooped because you're going to learn from it. And and every si and like I said, like real life drivers, sim racers also have to learn when they get to the top split how it's done. And they have to learn from their fellow competitors how they're doing it, you know? I'm having this kind of pushover behavior is like, okay, you're fast, so your job is to find a way to the thing. And your job is to find a way to the thing in theory, because, well, in theory, you're faster, you're better than me, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to the thing to get out. Um, moving me out of the way. If you can't, then you're not that good. I'll increase the volume right now, Rishi, just a bit. Alright, there we go. Should be good now for Arthur. So you want to say is that if you are faster driver and your value is a slower driver, the network expected result is to overtake. So you shouldn't have a problem. You shouldn't need to overtake a slower driver, uh, having to push him out of the way. And if you're having to do it, it's because you are actually not as good as you think you are. Right. Because it's, there's a difference between having the speed and actually having the race track and race track also uh, ha had in the equation the ability of being clean and making other things and for anyone who is joining the top speed you should not be afraid is actually these faster, faster guys are also an opportunity for you to develop your defensive skills because yeah you cannot be the, as fast as them, but if they have a bad day and you know how to place your car correctly, 
in theory they will not be able to overtake you so you have to capitalize on that you cannot have this mentality oh he's back so i'll let him pass only when it matters but when it's actually you're fighting for him for like the final battle no you should know how to defend yourself exactly i like what ender said too i was happy at least i at least got to breathe the same track as you guys it shows while i have a lot to learn it shows that i got what it takes to at least make it to a top of the race and that's exactly what i'm going to address in a, in a video that i'm going to do like because it, look i'm not a representative of the top split period i have a long way to go for sure but it's the fact that i made it in this year and i'm you know i i experienced winning every like not every race that i did in, Na in nations and manufacturers till this point but at least doing so well and really going from being okay to being where I am now. I feel like I progressed so much in so little time with my driving that at first it intimidated me to be in the top split, but now I just don't care if I finish 20th, dude. I told my best friend this. He was like, congrats, dude. He's like, you finally made it. And I'm like, yeah, but he's like, he's like, are you going to start winning those races now? I'm like, no, hell no. I It'll take me a good while before I win one, a really good while, but... As long as I can learn and get better while I'm here racing with the big dogs, that's all I care about. So, to address some comments real quick, uh, Fiends, we got Nurburgring after this. I have already 100% B-Spec. I did B-Spec first before I did A-Spec because I wanted the prize cars and a little bit of money. A lot of money, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> and to, to get rid of that as well. And to skip the um, level grinding for some of the special events because I did all the licenses immediately, then I did all the special events immediately. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see here. Were you there when Rhino did the B license? Uh, no, I was kind of there when he did it, but... I was kind of watching on the side. Yeah, only 25 hours and 40 minutes to go of this game. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds like an eternity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Risha, I can invite you in. Wait, are you going to do SSRX, um, Arthur? Yeah, I may do on my burning account. Like enter the bottom split and uh, just race there, like no qualifying and just have the car right ahead of me. You were point zero zero. Wow. Oh fucking hell. Well, that's the good thing about Rhino doing LPs is that I can watch it on YouTube again when it's edited and with music and everything. Cause yeah. yeah. What's up, Rishi? You want to join Hello, us, by Rishi. the way, Rhino? You want to welcome to join our little voice call if you'd like. Anyways, um, what's up, Rishi? Are you doing uh, SSRX for Nations? Please say uh, yes. When is it? I don't fucking know. It's... You got to get ready for work? Yeah, I feel you. Oh, okay, right. This is the race on uh, <clears throat> Friday? Huh? No, no, no. No, wait. no, it's Saturday. It's a... Yeah. Saturday. I might be working Saturday. I don't know. I'm going to check my schedule. Check what day it is. Yeah, of course, Rhino. You're you're always welcome. Um, I forget what day it is exactly, but yeah, dude, that's that's gonna be a fun race. Like I said, I, I was telling Diego, you have to do this race, dude. You have to. Wait, does this mean uh, SSRX is officially the America race gets done before the July? No, it's not this weekend. No, no, it's this weekend. No, 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 no. It's, it's very at the end of the. Season. It's like the 27th round. Oh wait, that's uh, that's too far ahead for me. I don't know if I can. Okay, yeah. You get like so a worse schedule like weekly. Think about it. How are you? Yeah. This is without a doubt the hard GT 200%. I don't know if I'd say that. Oh, I think it might be the hardest in terms of like endurance, only because of the level grinding. It just wins you out and you just don't want to anymore. But like I said, I just did the rubber band trick with the keyboard clamp and the right thumbstick and rubber band because fuck doing the endurances over and over again by myself. And using the Red Bull. Oh, I gotta follow. Thank you, Bugtooth, for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, No, actually, you can probably use it 100%. Because the B-Spec, you just can't put in a no car. 
put on the phase one of the taking and both in it. Yeah, but the uh, the individual challenges I think are harder overall, like the uh, driving missions and such. Uh -huh. I think those are <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll have them. True. Also, you could just cheat with B-Spec, but like, what's the what's the fun in that? Yeah. Oh, actually, Mizan is nice to drive on ACC. I think anybody who does B-Spec in, in GT4 Endurances, that's not cheating in my opinion. I think it's the only there. time... It's there. It's there for you too. Exactly. I just think where I, where, I don't, where, uh, where I would classify it, I guess, well, it's kind of wishy-washy, but like, if, if people who speed it up, I don't really... I like what Marvin or what Torrent does, where like, they both um, did Endurances and they, they allowed the B-Spec driver to take over other shifts. When they had to go get food and stuff, but they wouldn't speed up the the time or anything, so it would still be a full 24 hours, like real life clock, not necessarily in game. Um, oh yeah, FGT, dude. Oh my fucking god, it took me forever to find the damn car because, oh, it's a used car because it's standard, but no, it's a mandatory race, and no, you can't use the Ferraris even though they're in the new car dealership. The Ferraris are completely pointless. You have to wait for a seasonal event, but guess what? The online doesn't exist anymore, so the Ferrari is completely pointless. Yeah, the Ferrari F F1 cars. Yeah. Nice touch, but my god, they were pointless in this game. Maybe it was a Ferrari demand. I think my opinion on these back in GT4 is that it is kind of cheating, but also I'm going to do it anyway because I don't have the patience yeah. to drive like 90 oh, hours for the I, I don't have the... I never had a patience for it. For example, the Mille Miglia. Yeah. Oh, I love that event. Oh that's I'm, the one, that's I'm doing. The European event. Yeah, I'm doing that with the with the stock uh, Nissan Bluebird. No, I, that one I bought the AC Cobra. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Oh, except for the transmission. For Le Mans, you need to have a racing transmission and extend the gears to about 130 pounds an hour to keep up with the Alpha. Other than that, yeah, um, it's completely stock Bluebird except for tires. I always just got either the, uh, the Cobra or I think the Camaro. And I was like, alright, I'm just gonna tune this up, put the spec on it, just run it at 3x speed, because this is awful. Yeah, <laughs> while I was sleeping, I was I just woke up to put in that race every time to sleep. The worst is how um, GT4, if you put on 3 times speed, uh, if they go in the pit, it just goes back to 1 times speed, so it's not yeah. even worth the most. We are now, Castro. Um, the, the comment kind of the, the chat kind of derailed from I don't know what to thousand miles <laughs> but yeah a thousand miles is great only because I I don't know I have the patience to drive classic cars and driving for a long distance just because I think it's relaxing honestly I know why I'm getting like bored I'm tired of this race I think I know why now because it's the it was the month of June and because I did I racing the Supra Cup, um, now we're gonna do ERC, and I forget what else I did here. I just ran Le Mans so many times in June that I just got tired of the track. I think that's why I'm like, ugh, with this game right now. Nürburgring will be a whole different story. I'll be enjoying that more, I think. <laughs> and this time we will have two races on Le Mans. Yeah. I just, I just looked up the, uh, the stat sheet for the thousand miles, and oh my god. The Cobra is such a cheater. It's got like four times the power of every other car in the series. Yeah. No, and, and, and to see that one of the rival cars on the race is the Fiat 500. I know. <laughs> like, there's like a fucking AC Cobra, and then you've got this little tiny Fiat just trundling around at the back of like 50 miles an hour. It's beautiful. Barely doing the climb to, I don't know, of course, um, no, they're not working. You're selling your PS3, Fiend? Any particular reason? You just need money or you don't play it no more? Um, Subaru would normally use the Cobra, some similar powered car. Off chance that the AI also does. Yeah, it makes sense. You still need a job? Okay, I, I see. Night Line loves a Monaco because you love driving a Monaco. Ah, okay. Yeah, Monaco's fun, dude. 90, 99 laps is pretty crazy around there, but it's just such a fun track, dude. Like, that's the thing. I might not use the... Um, the Bluebird, I, for sure my car's gonna be stock, without a doubt, right? Um, 
It's going to be either the Bluebird, the old 70 Celica, or it's going to be the 117 Coupe. It's going to be one of those three cars that I'm going to use for 1,000 miles. I hope Monaco's in GT7. I hope. I hope, I hope they bring it back, but they still put it under like the off-brand names, like the oh, Coke Desert. Like, 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 yeah, it's not Monaco, guys. Please don't sue us. <laughs> But actually, the, the, even though the name is not cracked for Monaco, the, the reason it is is cracked is like a, a sneaky way to avoid. Very sneaky, sneaky. I actually think that uh, Racing Evolution had the actual secret in Monaco. Except for the um, except for the swimming pool chicane, the track is like very identical for a not F1 game. Yeah. Okay, Watch we have to slap on it in the I forgot the Chicago chicken is this. But yeah, um, other tracks I want in GT7 are like. I just want a bunch of street courses, dude. I love street course racing just because of how tight the walls are and just how close you yeah. have to get. That's why I think Tokyo South is like my strong. It's one of my strongest tracks in, the in all of sport. And I think that's going to be the track where I can get. Like, for that race in particular, I think I get 300 points, dude. Uh, like, so he's... South is the one with the, with the harbor section? Yes. The death skin? No. No, no, no. The, one, the one with the chicane is um, outer loop. Inner loop is the one oh, with the harbor. Okay. Oh, okay. But I love both circuits, see? But inner loop, I'm really yeah. good at. That's where I had that number two time for the manufacturer's race with the Audi. Until Mr. Stinky Bug took uh, took over the top spot. I'm so glad they're bringing back uh, Daytona. It was such a good track. I know, dude. Yeah, I know, bro. Bro, does that mean they're bringing back NASCAR? Hopefully. They're bring, like, like, Gen 5 NASCAR. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, we can't stand the new ones, guys. Sorry. I Even... don't want Gran Turismo to feature some DPIs as well. Even if it was like a fake category like Group N or Group S for, for NASCAR or for stock car or something, I wouldn't care, dude, if it was just fantasy stock cars. That would be nice. Um, how many street circuits do you think they'll make for seven? I don't like to predict. I don't like to give a number or anything just because I feel like people who predict content will just end up getting disappointed anyway. So, like, eh, I don't care. Just as long as we get some of the old, like, if we get some of the old school tracks back, also in some new street circuits that are fun to drive, that's all I really care about. Uh, okay. let's see. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I had to reset my phone a little bit because I think you guys... No worries. Ah, no worries, dude. We were just talking through the chat. Some people hate Tokyo, Tokyo especially you love it. Yeah, man. I love Tokyo as well. It's... Uh, yeah, I love Tokyo as well. It's Tokyo's so fun. fun. Yeah, all the loops. Central is fun to drive, but... And I feel like Not it can be... Qu racing. Yeah, it's just too much of a clusterfuck to race on. Raptus. Hello, Raptus. Um, you enjoy the races on the road courses more... Sardinia, you hate learning those tracks? Sardinia was a track that took me, like, I learned it a lot later than most people because I never bothered driving on it, but it took me only a couple of, like, minutes to learn all three layouts. Something about Sard Sardinia is, it, it clicks with me, I don't know. The nice track. Layout, I can tell that I don't know how to drive the out. Sardinia is the layout. Layout, layout is water, but layout be I'm like, uh, no. Sardegna is like really nice, but also super forgettable. Like, it's like it's nice to drive for a little bit, but it's not anything that will keep you driving. It's not great for races either. Ender sees it the yeah. opposite, so you love speculating and predicting. I don't blame you. I'm not gonna hate on you for that. I just don't personally like it, only because most of the people that I've dealt with who did speculations for any game and then didn't get those met, only just bitched and whined later. That's the only reason why. I just had bad experiences with people who do speculations. <coughs> Jeez, <planet. coughs> I mean, Damn. Damn. <laughs> I was just saying, Damn, bro. GT1. Yes, this guy. Yes, this guy. Yes, this guy. Yep. <laughs> Are you really pissed off about that <laughs> I'm not pissed about it. It's just annoying to go on GT Planet and then just see people like whining like children about most of the content that we're given. 
every time and like, it's G the gt channel posts an update on the community you get the same people in the comments with lists of like 30 million colors they want to add it and it's like yeah. what what is wrong with your Bro, life you're getting this for free why are we doing it? it's oh, like you like making street circuits in Google Earth? Oh, that sounds like fun. There was, yeah. I remember there was a Formula E contest by Mahindra, which was like go on Google Earth or go on Google Maps. I think I can't remember what what, what um what city, what part of India they're from. Pretty much their hometown, I think it was. They pretty much told their fans like make make a street circuit for Formula E, you know, in our hometown, and whoever has the best design will get like some Mahindra swag or something. It was pretty cool. Anyways, um, London and New York were your favorites? Yeah, mine's too. I, I really liked London, except, um, you know what's funny? Now that I look at London, the GT5 course, I can't stop thinking, that, obviously it's in Piccadilly, I can't stop thinking about the damn Call of Duty map, and I absolutely hate that map. Is that the triangle track? Yeah. Triangle track? Uh, Madrid. Oh, yes. Yeah, Madrid. Madrid is a very not spoken track, but he's actually very funny. You hated Sardinia for a while? Oh, okay. Oh. Imagine, like, competitive online racing on, like, a tight street circuit. Like, that would be awesome. Like, a, a sport mode race at Macau or something. Oh my like, god. Oh my god. But, I, I'll tell you, even though, yeah, it's kind of a danger to keep predicting contact, I would love to see Macau on the set up like a competition yeah or like yeah just like one of the devs is like you know it would be really funny <laughs> what if we just put like macau and just let him deal with it dude yeah i would love i would love to have i would too. love to have macau as well only because yeah it would be carnage but dude i i've only driven macau in i think r factor 2 i think i found a mod for it or r factor 1 and i crashed so many times but Trying to learn the circuit was so much fun, dude. It's just so crazy. Oh, it's like, so and, it, and, and like, Rishi. When, you, when you learn how to stay away from the wall, the drag actually has some flow. Hey, by the way, uh, Rishi. You said that we don't we don't have mechanic in a video game. I think we had it one time in Race Room. You know Race Room? Wait, Race Room, Race room had it? Yeah, Race Room, yeah, Race room has, has it. Maybe so because now? of the WCC deal. What? To be and honest, I thought the only won. game that had Macau was Project Gotham Racing 4. Really? No, no. Race 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 has it. That's no. sick. So, and, and I actually watched a, uh, what's it called, a race from a certain streamer, I think uh, Activision or something. Actual Vision, yeah, I heard of him. So, so, yeah. so, um, I. The first time I watched him was the uh, when he had the uh, TCRs race around Macau, and oh my god, it's absolute madness. Oh my god, I, I have to see that. Dude, it was fun. Like everyone was hyped. Like, I at that point. I still think about the millions and millions and millions of dollars oh of damage crash. We're at we I think it was um, Lucas Degrassi who gets like dogpiled and he just gets sent into like the top of every car and every car crashes except for maybe like one. <laughs> no, no, the, the more well-known um, moment of a cow is when that Audi was upside down and MC still winning, by the way. Still won. Yeah. Incredible. I think they ran the flag at the track and conquered the previous lap river. So, so he ends up winning because he just, despite destroying his Audi, I'm like, okay, that's good. Is, is that the strat? Can you just, like, finish with one lap in the lead and then crash out, make everyone else oh, crash? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, here's, here's the thing. He was he was the only one, but yet he still ends up winning somehow. <laughs> I don't know how he does that. And I even told um, the guy uh, Van Dor because he ends up he ended up racing the next year at IMSA. And we ended up talking about it when uh, when we were like at the autograph session, like, yo, what happened there and all that. Oh, so you actually met one of the drivers who was in that race? Yeah, Lawrence oh, Van Dor. Oh my! Oh, oh yeah. makes sense. He was driving for a Porsche that time, so. Yeah. Fiends, I, I feel you. I remember when I saw the track list too, and I was just kind of like, oh fuck, so many of my favorite tracks are gone. But Which one? Well, uh, GT5. But in general, oh, yeah. I was just a kid in high school who played PS2 all the way till like 2010 when, my, when I got one for Christmas and GT5. So I was just 
I was just more happy to play than not. But now I look back at it, I'm just like, damn, dude. And you look at all the hidden circuits that are in this game, which my buddy Cat Cool has a bunch of videos for his hidden circuits. And I'm just, for the hidden circuits in this game, I'm like, damn, there could have been so much more. Um, yeah, I'm over it. I, honestly, like, I still look at the standard cars. Like, actually, when I first played the game, again, because it was the fact that I finally got a PS3, I'm current gen, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was happy with the car selection, even if they were standard. Now I'm just kind of like, well, could we have just cleaned up the textures, maybe? That would have been nice. Like, what were they thinking? Come on. This or car is, like, awful, even by, like, 2010 standards. Okay, yeah. and... Oh yeah, by the way, I'm racing in uh, X races, like open lobbies. I'm worried that if during the races when people get upset in these lobbies, I cannot think. I cannot think what's gonna happen for uh, nations. Yeah, yeah people <laughs> are gonna be triggered, bro. They're gonna be pissed. The strat is gonna be in the end zone, though. I think. No, no, no. no it's, it's, it's a four, five, eight, eight, one make. A one make? That's garbage. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, oh, no. You, how about you? You garbage. Yeah, but, but um, anyway, oh, one make with two make. It's, it's not bad. You can just figure it out. Get a good tune, you'll be fine. I'll help you out if you want. If you want to do it yourself. No, it's not even the tune that's the issue. It's just like, like I would have preferred like a, just an open selection of cars. Just like, I mean, game. true. But I think they, I think they just want to be very careful because you know, yeah, uh, they're bad. Yeah, and. I don't know if I, I probably didn't might notice, but the I don't know if some of the Battlefield guys know how to just like top speed too. Cause that's a whole different story. I think they probably do, but it's way different. Cause in regular races, you don't really have like you know, just BOB, no tuning, everything's fine, right? Mhm. Mm then you go to these lobbies, and then all like or these open like lobbies or for top speed, it's way different. Because now you had to like open up your gears, you need to put up as much power as you can. Hope to pray to God that you have like the best line to get around the track. Because oh my God, people are gonna slide around and stuff, not know where they're going. Wrap, wrap this. I never really played Prologue, so I have three copies of it because I have an American copy, a Japanese copy, and a Japanese copy of Spec Three, which was an individual disc and not a DLC download for for Japan. Um, I only played it once at my friend's house when he first got it in like 07 or 08, I can't remember. Um, and that was it. That was the only time I ever played Prologue. Which, I am going to play all like the Prologue concept games once I'm done with the main games. I want to see, I want to see you try the, like, the Tokyo 2001 or you know, the auto show ones. And that's going to be interesting because I want to play all three versions because I think they're all slightly different from like the exams or whatever. That's what I hear. GT 2000. Uh, no, 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 this is what this is what I want you to see in the future. I want you to race those little tiny cars. The pods. Yes. Boy. Oh, cars. The ones with no, the that, tails. Those are the ones I want to see in like in GT7. Yeah, they bring back the, the fucking tail. The pod yeah, cars. it's real pod racing. I, I... No, bring bring that back and also um, the 2022 Nike One. <laughs> I can't believe that Nike failed on making the Nike 2, the, the BTT project. I was so hyped. What's Spec 3 JP? What's it, Francisco? Um, It's the same thing as Spec 3 was when uh, when it came out for the online download for US and PAL. It's literally just the extra cars and whatever else came with whatever Spec 3 update was. So again, I don't, really rem I don't really know what Spec 3 is. It's just a different disc, and I got it for like five dollars at a Japanese game store. I was like, screw it, I'm taking it. Part of the GT wait, collection. Wait, five dollars? Yeah, because it's 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 a demo game. That's not bad. Yeah, especially for an import. Um, you went back to probably a few months. Oh, okay. Nice. What kind of PS3 did you get, Raptus? Yeah, pod racing was derpy. I never, I've never done it. I've only seen videos on YouTube, I think from like GT Rufus or something. Dude, it looks so funny as hell because they have like bumps everywhere and stuff. And oh! So, isn't, there the real car. isn't there a part where like you have to stop in the middle of the racetrack or something? Like... Yes! I think you have so. To, you have to stop and then go over a ramp. It's wild. Yeah. It's, it's whack. And they make the cutest sound. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? I don't know that like weird custom track. I want to tell you the pod. Man, 
I want to tell you the mo motor triathlon race car. All these, <laughs> all these bitches be like, I want Whoa, to two raids for road. today. Holy crap. Yes, Tyrant, my boy Cyrus Ooh. with the raid. What's up, my Ooh. dude? How's it going, hello, everybody? Hi, hello, Raiders. Hi. Dude, we got the raid from Rhino today, and we got the raid from Cyrus. What's up, everybody, from Cyrus's raid? I hope your manufacturer's race went well. LWKII, -I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Thank you for the follow. I hope your um, uh, manufacturer's race went well. Red Bull Ring Mini? Uh, yeah. Ugh. I don't know how that served the Lambo. <laughs> Magpie, thank you for the follow. You actually skipped? Oh, you did racing from the back. Nice. How did that go? Did you lose more um, DR? Did you get a DR reset? Follow this, man. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you, thank you. So, for those who don't know, my name is Elmer, a.k.a. The Moving Chicane. Um, I do a lot of sim racing content, arcade racing content, just automotive stuff in general. If you guys like that stuff, hit me a follow. If not, I appreciate it regardless for joining the raid. And also, thank you for supporting Cyrus. He's a good friend. Yes, yeah, and we went and we went through hell together at the Nurburg 24 with the GT Invaders. Mini Maestro, thank you for the follow. So uh, I should do press the little heart icon and then right to the right there, this little bell icon. Click that as well. <laughs> <laughs> what, by the way, um, yeah, that Nurburg race was a Lince 185 Saga, thank you for the follow. Also, I don't I, I don't have the camera by the way, just because I recorded this entire LP without the camera and I did this race mostly without it, so. The race will be without the camera. Once we do the final race of this game, the camera will come back. B Chevy, thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. By the way, that number dream was a pretty interesting, um, how can I say, experience for you. And also, it, you know, Erky, Cyrus, who else was in there? It was Erky, Cyrus, Gunny, um, Beanup, myself, and I can't remember who was the sixth driver. Oh yeah, Beanup was there, I right know. Yeah, you guys have a pretty interesting time. You guess it well, despite all the, you know, what number dream throws you and stuff. Yeah, it was fun, dude. Regardless of like us crashing, it was still my very first endurance. Still a good experience. And it was like me jumping at my man pit five fucking times in a ten lap race from the back of what what? <laughs> That's crazy. And to be fair, you were racing in a car that you're not even expecting to race. Oh, four, dude, the four, four eight eight. I, I hated the four eight eight. Like Erky loved to drive it. I hated it. Like I kept crashing in practice because I just did not like it just was like walking on a tightrope, dude. And I just felt, I felt like no comfort in it. In some I mean, ways, it, it was kind of, I was kind of glad that Erky crashed it. Only because I didn't have to push as hard, I just had to bring it home. But at the same time, I think my strategy would have been the same if uh, he didn't crash it. Just bring it home. But it's weird because like, my first endurance, I jump into the deep end of the pool with that car. My second endurance, I use the LMP2 and I'm way more comfortable in that. Like, here's the thing, you're racing a mid-engine car for your first time, so I can understand what, how you felt. On iRacing especially, like, it was quite insane. But how, how does it feel to put, like, like, in, like, compared to, say, GT Sport, like, mid-engine cars? I, I mean, snap over steer for days. The only one I could really compare was the Audi pre-balance update. Not this BOP, but I'm talking about, like, the physics balance. Um, Ooh. but... Alright, Cyrus, no problem. Um, I don't have enough experience in the in the Rari. Yeah, in the Rari. I, I said Rari like in the music videos. Um, so I can't really compare the two. You'd have to ask Erky to compare the 480, the 458 GT3 to the 488, if you want an, a perfect like comparison. Somehow you're driving 200 miles an hour at Mole. Sounds he's faster than me driving 400 miles on the SRX. But yeah, um, it was quite interesting. I mean, my next endurance is going to be six hours of Daytona. I'm doing it with uh, uh, one of my other, well, one of my more recently made friends. He's uh, one of the people in my chat. His name, not right now. He's not in chat right now. But uh, AJ Autosport, who comes in my chat once in a while. Um, him and I are going to team up for Daytona. At least that's the plan. We're going to be driving the LMP1, so that's going to be a lot of fun on iRacing. Especially, dude. The freaking battery regen on the high banks? Oh my god, dude. We're gonna have a good time. That's gonna be ridiculous. Like, I don't care if we lose the race, and I don't care, like, where we finish. It's just the idea of driving that car around Daytona is gonna be really fun. But, um, yeah, in terms... Thank you, Jason, for the host, by the way. Um, in terms of other endurances on iRacing, I think... I was saying Rhino before he went to work. Um... 
For sure NIS, I gotta run more oval stuff. And really, I have to just start planning a schedule out, man. Like, what sucks is I wanted to plan a schedule, but I just got kind of sidetracked. Also, you're busier in life, with real life as well, right? Not as busy because unemployed, but um, mainly because of like the, the the exercising and dieting and shit. Yes. Oh right, that's true. Oh, you're and, that. and also school prep too. So yeah, I go back to school in August, which is gonna be cool. But I don't know how the hell school's gonna be done, only because I don't know if the campus is gonna be open or not. I doubt it's gonna be. Yeah, there's no way. It's probably gonna be PC. Yeah, PC, but you know, internet. Right, Unlikely. and I'm cool with that, to be honest with you. That means more streaming, yay! <laughs> <laughs> no, well, actually, actually, um, I know, because I noticed this like a couple months ago when you're doing your when you're online stuff. Yeah. And you posted me a picture about this, and it looks like you were about to like help, like help your whole class know how to make a lot more brain <laughs> with that luck. Dude, you, when you have, you, you have your set up the whole thing, I'm like, bro. Bro. Literally, when when we all went to Zoom classes, right? When we moved over to Zoom, I'm like, oh god damn it! Some of my classes require a camera, and I'm gonna be on my computer. I'm like, okay, I, I'm not putting the sim rig away. Literally, ev everyone looked at me and they were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> there, and then, <laughs> and dude, like, I, dude, the reactions I got were, I got two reactions. Either one, is that a steering wheel? Are you okay? It's like two and a half reactions. This one and a half was. Are you inside a car right now? Or the second one was like, okay, no, no, three, three reactions in total. The second one was like, nice setup, dude. Or the third one was like, are you gonna record a podcast or something? <laughs> <laughs> Only because I had the big boom mic, dude, and everyone was on their phones and shit, and like, dude, you're, you're just balling your setup of a mic, bro. <laughs> I wasn't trying to ball. Oh, I'll do a Zoom call, like, while sim racing, it's like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, just gonna finish this race real quick. <laughs> no, 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 you're probably, you're probably gonna, like, pull in, like, a, like, a screen of, like, your racing, and you just show them, like, a corner, like, in, say... Bro, I just, I just read Gecko's comment, and I imagine a matchup of memes, like, the instead of Supra meme, but instead of saying Supra, it was Skinny Rackham in Yali, Skinny Rackham. It's a steering wheel on gloves. <laughs> Dude, um, I'm not gonna lie, that made me laugh when I saw it. I was like, oh no. You have returned. Do you want to join us, by the way, Cyrus? You're more than welcome to join our voice call. Literally, literally from my Let's Play recording sessions, these are just super casual, and we just shoot the shit. Because yeah. imagine me driving 24 hours of this race, like, in chunks, and being quiet the whole time. That would be boring. Hey, we got some funny moments out of it, too, you know? I'm not a high ice spot. You wow. spun, Arthur? Oof. Well, where do you spawn? You're about to eat and work out? Nice. Well, yeah, that's right. He does, like, you know, those um, stuff that he does, like, you know. Tricking. Yeah. Wait, yeah, tricking and stuntman stuff because he's a stuntman. Yeah. That, Dude. That yeah. is the guy who breaks the gravity. <laughs> no, he. <laughs> gravity base and gravity No, every time he does it right, he, I, it's so satisfying. Then I feel, and then I feel from when he does like something, like something bad happens, like when he lands on a long way and such. <laughs> Skill really says, "Found out I can cut down trees just by looking at him." It's true. I saw it with my own two eyes. But yeah, he's he's great. Uh, Cyrus is very great, talented. Like, not gonna lie, he's very good. Yes, sir. Although, have you has your tricking slowed down or anything because of COVID? I mean, like. Obviously, you can't go to the dojo and practice, but like, are you still able to do it at home in any way? Like, do you have a backyard or you can do it in or something? I mean, I know, I know Molly must be like, I, I bet you drive her crazy if you try doing tricking inside the house. Like, you probably break like, you probably break like the flower pots and shit. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I imagine um, Cyrus and Strong Yami all the the tricks that they do at home. Yeah, I tricking. <laughs> it does like a backflip, kicks the light off the ceiling. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Only two times? Damn. You used to do backflips in her apartment? <laughs> oh, shit. CJ, thank you for the follow. Too bad you didn't follow the. Well, he did. Oh, CJ did follow the train because you followed me, so thank you, CJ. Arthur, you said you're playing ACC? Yeah. 
PC or is that the cursed no, console? No, 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 the cursed version. Oh no. <laughs> because I PC is actually a patch and I have no PC. Man, that's mm -hmm. playing ACC console. God bless him. I mean, that's yeah. what I have. I'm here to think though, uh, what car are you using right now? What the Uda car. Uh, uh, Ugaro Ring. Oh no. Nice. I need to get ACC still. I want to get ACC, but definitely not on console. Hell no. Wait, but the console. Steam sales are going on right now. Yeah, you, ACC, I think, is just kind of... When I only have a, a laptop, that needs, like, a lot of updating. Well, I, I can get it. But I, I'll, but here's the thing. Here's what's more important. Street Racing Syndicate is only 59 cents right now. Why it's not 69 cents? Considering that it's kind of, like, almost softcore porn. I don't know why, but that would have made more sense. I was going to say, it's like, one hope for, like, oh my... Well, well, it's pretty much the game where it's, like, a Need for Speed knockoff, but except instead of earning money and, like, sponsors, you basically get more access to, like, girls slightly getting neuter and neuter. Oh, <laughs> Cyrus with a gift sub to Fiends. Thank you so much, dude. Look at this MVP right there. But, yeah, dude, I want to I wanna see you play it. Dude, I am gonna play SRS. Like, I'm gonna get it because it's only 59 cents. Although I think it's still too much money for SRS, but you know. Hey, it's something. It's not it's less than a dollar. You can you can get all the girlfriend videos in one video online. That's true. But at the same time, dude, you you, you gotta experience it by driving super riced out cars. That is a good point. Oh yeah, it is very riced out. Now I think about it. Holy. Well, I wanna. Eric, thank you so much for the follow. I do want to play um, Juiced. That's a game I've actually never played before, considering that... Um, Once stop by check out your camera quick. I appreciate it, CJ. Really do. Thank you so much. And thank you for supporting Cyrus as well. Alvaro with the subscription. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so, so much. And like I said, emotes are coming soon. I'm talking to my artist friend right now to get some done. Uh, hopefully I can exchange several, several emotes for a concert ticket. We'll see. Or if not, I'll just pay out of pocket because, you know, you got to support the homies. But thank you so, so much for the subscriptions, the follows, and everything, guys. And we're at 300 followers. Holy crap. Awesome stuff. Yay. In a short amount of time, too, I would say. That is very awesome. Good job, dude. Thank you. But, yeah, I've never played Juiced. That's a game I definitely want to play. Like... I, I've only seen my, like, okay, so, like, I had a, I have a friend that I grew up with, like, in my neighborhood. I'm talking about Rudy, by the way, because my brother's here. I just have to mention who it was. Um, and he, he had Juice, and I watched him play it, and it looked like fun, and I watched Jimmy Broadbent play it once on stream, but I never really seen much of it uh, other than that. The Juice it one was amazing what? because once you figure it out, uh, one on the game, it was very easy to grinding money out of that. Was it? Yeah. You know it's another game I have to play? Or right, let me read some comments first. You bought Ultimate Edition Grid and Dirt Rally 2.0. That's cool, Fiends. Your prime couldn't be very used with my white. I appreciate it, man. Crimson! Oh, oh my god, we have a hype tree. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> this, it's like when you're getting away from it. Uh... <laughs> Crimson, thank you so much for the subscription, dude. I really appreciate you, man. Hey, um, GK. Yes, sir. Um, just let it happen. Just let it all happen, okay? Yeah. Choo choo. Um, but yeah, fans, go for it. Um, I appreciate you as well, Ovaro. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see here. What else? You're streaming when your internet gets good again. Uh, I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that, bro. Thank you so much, CJ. I really appreciate it. Split second? Um, you know... That's an okay, okay, game. okay. This was, like, edgy 14-year-old me, but, like, because Disney was one of the publishers, I was like, ugh, it's a Disney game. It's probably for children. <laughs> ugh. So I never Disney. bothered playing it. Yeah, they, they, like, published it or something. Like, yeah, di yeah. like Disney's gaming division. This so I never bothered playing it, but, like, I seen some gameplay footage of it now, and split second looks incredible. Incredible. I'm like, okay, yeah, what the I hell have I been missing out on? No, here's the thing though. It, it, they were planning on doing a sequel, but it got cancelled, so... Ah, uh, that oh, sucks. Damn. Crimson exactly with the gift sub to 9,000. Thank you! Thank you guys so much! 
This is a very big hype train. Thank you, thank you so much, Crimson, Cyrus, everyone who's followed all the new subs. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much. But yeah, um, that's a game I want to play. Uh, what's the other one? There's another game I really want to play right now. Um, oh, TXR, Tokyo Extreme Racer. I've never played a single TXR game before. Oh man, you should. The question is which version? There's different versions. There's the, PS2, the, there's the original Dreamcast. Dreamcast. I'll see. I can play my Dreamcast to you if you want. Oh, I, I have if Demo. To, I, I think if you want to buy the Dreamcast, buy the two. Play the uh, PXR two. Is it is that the better one for Dreamcast? Yeah. Because I, I hadn't even played it myself actually, so we're. Yeah, I played yeah, you played the PXR two instead of the one because it's more dramatic. Because right now I have like two Dreamcasts, three controllers, so if you want to, you know, if I can bring it to you guys, I can just make it like a little. Hey, what Daniel. Um, here's the problem. I don't have, um, oh, by the way, one hour to go for this race. Woo! Um, I, Woo! I don't have, um, a capture card that can you that you can utilize, um, com composite cables. So I'm going to have to pass on that. Oh, it's raining heavily now. Now that I have no grip in Indy. Oof. Oof. But yeah, um, Magpie says it's class, very original. I think they should make a SS2. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a go, but for sure when I'm done with the re-playthrough of Underground 2, I have to finish the little Need for Speed Marathon I had going. I never got done with that. I kind of had my oh. streaming exile, but once I finish with, with Carbon, which is the last game of that little mini marathon, I think I'm gonna give TXR or Split Second a go. For sure, I, like, I want to do more playthroughs of games like that and just play them blind, because honestly, I've missed out on so many games. The problem, too, is that we were poor growing up, so I can only buy a certain amount of games. And my hatred for Slightly Mad Studios was because the, the money that I barely scraped together, I bought Shift to Unleash, and it was a hunk of shit. Oh. And, and, and this is why you're probably going to be mad about PC3. Oh my god. Yes, sir. No, oh, no. PC3, I was already skeptical. But the when I saw, and I saw again because of the hatred for it, and, uh, and when I saw the, the announcement that Pikachu 3 will not have fuel Dire where no pizza whatsoever. I'm like, dude, bro, it is awful. And you know, I, I, I get so annoyed because I look at the comics, it looks pretty nice because you have like the C8R and everything, but then you have this, and you're just like, well, shit. Well, it's like, maybe they would change back because people are not happy. Well, it's like when it's acceleration style like automatic tire changes on track like oh press a button wet tire mode. you know there was an f1 game one of the ea sports ones that did that i think it was f1 2000 i like how you mentioned acceleration three she you have some pretty good taste oh and also <laughs> also uh, it's like what i told you mikhail several recording sessions ago all the puns intended slightly mad studios makes me heavily enraged they don't make me <laughs> slightly mad I, I, I hate that studio with a burning passion because of all the awful games they made. Um, Fight oh, says you were to... you were stuck on the final split second race. Again, I know, I know it. nothing about split second, so no spoilers, please. Speaking about SMS, remember that Ferrari game? Oh, the, SMS the test drive Ferrari Legends. Yeah. Dude, I was close to buying it too. I was like, oh, this is awesome! All the Ferrari cars and stuff, but I just never did. Uh, and, then I, and then I saw this, this slowly bouncing physics from. <laughs> and I had to pick one and turn on my. Here's the thing I bought PC2 very cheap, by the way. Yeah. And I, and I got all the DLC because of the whole sale they had like a couple weeks ago. I would mm -hmm. love to do like a race with F355 Challenge in Long Beach. Funny thing, because uh, Pinkham mentioned in chat, what about the Ferrari challenge? That's a great game. Uh, yes, Castro, right after this, I will change the stream title, and we will begin the 24 hours in Nürburgring. How much will get done? Probably an hour or two at most. Dude, dude, f 5 challenge is pretty damn difficult. That's another it game is. I have to play on the channel one day. I, again, I can... Oh, part of the challenge for the Pirelli. But Here's the thing, I have the game, so do you want me to... If, if we don't have this... Buyers, I would bring that the Dreamcast everything to your TV and we'll play. The, FG, the problem, like I said, is that I don't have a capture card that has um, Hype Train. Oh, Hype Train Success. I, I again, I don't really know. Um, 
Do so, they even have a capture card for this thing? Yes, but my my uh, capture card does not do composite. I have an HD60S, so it only does HDMI. We would need an HDMI converter, but... I, ha I have it. Oh, you do? Oh, yes. maybe one day, but I have Demul, the Dreamcast emulator, which is pretty good. Okay, but I can tell you right now it's pretty difficult to play a simple game. Because well, you're just driving the same cars and they're like already difficult as it is. I already played all of them. Yeah, probably. You could get the um, arcade cabinet version. Oh yeah, I I played the cabinet. Dude, the cabinet. Oh my god, you have like three screens, and it's, it feels. <laughs> Dude, I played it when when I was in college. I would play that game like at the end of college. I would go sneak through a bus, go to Ronaldo Beach because I because I like around that area. Go over down the beach and go to the arcade. You know the arcade there? Um, just kidding. The one that's closed now? Yes. Dude! Hold on. My brother's in here playing FIFA with headphones. Hey! You remember the remember the arcade in Redondo Beach? Yeah. One of my one of my friends on the on the voice chat on the voice call right now just mentioned that arcade, man. Dude, why do you get to bring it up? It's just making me sad now. Dude, that is that is a good arcade, but they took it off. Like, why? Like, the Fun Factory, yes, that's what it was called, the Fun Factory. Dude, I have I have pictures of it, by the way. Speak up a little bit. You're making me sad, bro. Like Holy right? like it was the it was the little like that turn, that, that yeah that little game. ride, and then there was like yeah. Into Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. By the way, hi, Denny. visit I still saw that art that particular arcade the uh was that Michael Jackson Bill Walker it was still there it was still there the last time you went when was this yeah I think it's like before it closed before it closed what when was that like 2018 2019 probably like that yeah the Walker I, machine was still there no, no yeah it was still it was still there yeah yeah that is, that is, that is some bull crap. I don't like it. I, I mean, I, neither do I, man. But what can you honestly do? But is that arcade? Did didn't it have like Indy 500 and Sega Rally and like yeah. Crazy Taxi and yeah, the yes, mm -hmm. the, the Ducati ones? Yep. They had the um. They also had uh, what's that? Uh, Max, Ma uh, what's that? Iowa TT game. Iowa Man, yes, dude. It had they that. Got that. 
I, rem got, uh, I remember there was an arcade here. Oh, sorry, go ahead. They have American uh, 18 wheeler. They got a 20 USA in like three different areas. Um, they got a initial D game, uh, version three. When did that come out? Like 2001? Probably. Um, and they also have a Ridge Racer arcade game too. Because I remember one of the ar local arcades had um, international touring car from Sega, if I remember yeah. correctly, where you can drive like the Calibra or like the Castrol Supra. It was pretty yeah, badass. Yeah. It's hard to use. To, it's hard to handle. Oh my god! Like, yes. Oh my god. Dude, I remember. I remember when GameWorks used to be cracking, and like, I remember we went. Yes. Do you do you rem do you remember? I think it was for. Um, it was probably Johnny's birthday, wasn't it? So, so I have a cousin who plays for um, FC Tucson, and I forget what what the soccer league is. What is it? which soccer league is it? The USL, the, the US Soccer League, pretty much. And um, I remember for one of his birthdays, we went to one of the game works. We played Moon Over the Castle when we start the Nurburgring race. You know what, Castro? I think we're gonna play Moon Over the Castle when when we end the game, like when when we get to the final lap of the 24 of Nurburgring, we're gonna do that. So I'll do your suggestion. Um, I'll, I'll take a look and see if I have any pictures of that arcade still. Because I took a picture at the end of the, its life, technically. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to see. Point is, is that I remember for for one of his birthdays, when GameWorks used to have a shit ton of the old school Sega games, dude. There used One of the GameWorks locations that we went to, for his birthday, I remember there was like 12 different Indy 500 pods dude 12 Yo, different remember. cabinets and i remember I, I remember like all the adults and then including some of the kids like me and i think him the birthday boy um well mainly his uncle because his uncle was you know as a big formula one fan and motorsports fan and you know he got his son into karting but they stopped karting because they ran out of money and he did some drag racing with a tuned up acura which was really nice point is is that i remember a bunch of us did an indy 500 race not the full 500 but like the we did like yeah. one one dollar race or whatever the $4. It's like a $4 it was race, so much fun, dude. Like, it's stuff like that that makes me miss arcades. Like, obviously, we grew up past the arcade time because by the time fifth generation came out, which is like PS1, Saturn, 64, arcades started to become a little bit obsolete because the point of an arcade was to get better was to get better games than your Atari 2600 or your NES or your Master System or whatever. However, it, we still grew up during a time where arcades were slowly being faded out, but they still brought bangers in. Nowadays, you don't really find arcade, new arcade games that are hot off the presses anymore or anything, you know? Which oh, sucks. Yeah. I was just say, you forgot about one gun or Maximum Tune 5. Well, Maximum Tune 5, it, that's like the one exception. What I'm saying is like, you're not going to have a new X-Men, you're not going to have a new Battletoads, you're not going to have a new Ninja Turtles game, you're not going to have a new, like, Metal Slug, unless it's like direct to console you know because our, like i said arcades are becoming obsolete now yeah, i think now the arcade is uh, more for nostalgia in more small I think, nostalgia material it's i think it's awesome. not just like whoever is gonna bring a See, this game one, today this is our recording we'll system play on when i record this place it's just shooting the shit just kind of yeah basically that like i i want to come on arcades back for it's just sega racing cabinet like Yo, they can make so many Yo. racing cabinets, and they're all amazing. Dude, I want to come back. Hold on, hold on a second, sorry. Sorry, go ahead again, Miguel. I didn't hear you. Or whoever's just talked, sorry. Oh, uh, I was just saying. Oh, Rishi. I, I really like all, like, the Sega arcade, like, racing cabinets, you know, like, yeah, that's the main thing I want arcades to sort of come back in some sense because there's so many great um, cabinets and it's like we're not really there's not really a way it, to play those games. It doesn't look like it or, doesn't look colorful because I remember when the arcades like especially with racing arcade games, you could tell if it's a racing game. Right. It's colorful. It looks action packed, it has the best music. Have the have you have you <laughs> gear shift or like and dude, and if and if they if they do something extra to make it like more like I guess not sim, but like it feels more realistic. Yeah. And it just feels badass. Like say again, like I mentioned, FD five five challenge. When during the time they had three, they have the three screen, and you can pick six tracks like Montegi, Long Bazooka, Beach, Long Beach, Masugo, and all that. 
and then you just like erase them and you're like what is a pretty much surrounded by fields away it feels for a for person back then it's the dream now you have you want to say grand treasure score and it feels sort of stick even more even when you're on screen right which is which is the sad part well it's not sad because it's cool that we get it's cool where gaming is now, but it's sad that the fact that arcades are pretty much obsolete because of that. The only arcades that really exist now are like the chains, like round one, because they offer Japanese, you know, they, they offer Japanese import cabinets that we don't get in the U.S. That's how they survive. So mainly it's just like, you know, m mostly the weebs and, you know, the race fans who like, who like initial D and stuff will mostly go, you know, to round one. I'm not saying it in a bad way, but what were you going to say about arcades? Sorry. And I love beat em ups. Yeah, for real. But that Gauntlet game, like, I don't know, I just, I just feel like. Probably should have like, pitted. Where, where people found um, advances in technology and graphics and whatnot, they slapped and lost in fun. Right. Which is like the most essential thing. I think part of the problem, too, is that, like, modern, any modern arcade, hold on, let me read some of the comments, because I know I missed a couple. Um, Ender says there's an arcade two hours away that has the only arcade stage machine in your state, and it's the only arcade that has it? Wow. Pinkham corrected us and said that U.S. needs maximum two and six. Thank you. Crimson says we have a place downtown that is a huge place with a ton of older arcade games. Dude, that's what's up. Um, well, no, it's just people in my chat, so they're from all, all they're from all over the world. Yeah. All over the world or all over the U.S.? Um, no. Castro says, I have an arcade near where we used to live that not only had arcade cabinets, but also old consoles. Dude, that's what's up. Um, really, for old consoles, like, you Oh, actually, that's a lie. Um, there is one place in Las Vegas. It's called the Gamer's Paradise. I went... When I went to the um, Gran Turismo Americas final as a spectator, um, that place has, like... That place has an arc. It's an arcade inside a video game store. So like you could play some of the kiosks that has like EverDrive cartridges, which are the ones that you put an SD card with a bunch of ROMs, or you go into the back and then um, you pay to play uh, different arcade games. So Indy 500 was there. One of the House of the Dead games was there, I believe, and, and a bunch of other stuff. Eastern US, gotcha. Okay. Um, but yeah, for sure. Like okay, we have some people here from the US. We have someone from New Zealand. We have some people from Europe possibly watching because some people we have someone from spain watching so oh i didn't run out of fuel hooray um point is is that i feel like part of the problem now with arcades is that any arcade game for sure that is made now like arcade games have always been made for profit right and the way they made profit was by making the games brutally difficult scotland cool mini maestro well that's that's my hispanic side coming out my friends from guatemala and yeah. you hablo espanol so yeah mini maestro um anyways Arcade games have always been made for getting, you know, the maximum amount of quarters out of people because of how difficult they were. Now they're just made to get quarters out of people just to play them, period. So, for example, the initial D arcade stage games. There's a career mode in them, but to advance through the career mode, you have yeah, to pay yeah. money every single time. That's because Itsuki was easy to fight. Itsuki's a pushover. And here's the thing, you, if you want, and, and here's the thing, if you want to be very competitive, you want to like finish the career mode to get like a oh, fast yes, car. Oh yes, 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 yes. Itsuki did. I thought you were talking about the car. I'm about to say no. That's um. I'm about to say no. That's uh. What's his name? Ikitani, But no. You're talking. Yeah, you're talking about Itsuki. I forgot he wore a green shirt. Anyways, go on. Sorry. Um, and you want to be, if you want to be like the fastest, like you want to face against different people, like if you want to stay in the community, you gotta have a fast car. Because if you don't. Yeah, you're not gonna have a good time. No, Castro. Um, you just crawl around 50 miles an hour. I mean, 
do we need to look for my photos? I'll have a lot of photos I need to take a look at. Um, yeah, um, the thing about this Pokemon game is not only about, yeah, it's all about the profit and also about the fact that the game didn't have many hardware resources. So yeah. they had to go with what, what they had in hand and what were like uh, an hour of gameplay. Of, your gameplay, so to make that our last day have to crank up the difficulty. Right, to but have the people playing over and over again in order to accomplish to finish the game. But even then, even then, the games would not charge you just to continue to play the game. Sure, the purpose of the difficulty uh, spike was to make make you keep playing the game, right? But in older arcade games, if you mastered the games, you could beat the game with a single quarter. Now you have to literally pay like a, a hundred dollars to play the entire initial D arcade game. That's what I I'm... Guess because, I guess it's because we didn't have the internet back then. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, that, that's the thing. E like, Eagle Raptor, when he made his um, sequelitis video about Castlevania versus Castlevania 2, he, he said it right, where like, with hardware limitations and games not, you know, not lasting very long, how do you make... How do you make your sixty dollars last for an NES game by making it super hard? So you you know you play the game continuously. Arcade games were 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 sort of the same thing in concept, but in a different way. They make them super hard, so you keep putting in quarters. But you can still hey. master the games. Now, when any new arcade games, you just have to play. You have to pay to just even play generally. Hey, uh, Shikane, do you, yeah. Do you want me sad now? Sure. It's closed. I found, the, I found the picture of the uh, entrance to Fun Factory. Bro, that is my childhood wrapped up right there, man. Holy fuck. Let me check. Dude, that is Dude. that is my childhood right there. That arcade is my childhood, man. Yeah, I, now you're sad. Oh. I'm not really... I'm not super sad in, like, super depressed mode or anything, but I am pretty bummed. Like, I guess that's what happens when you have, like, you know, people want to make, you know, they're making new apartment stuff because, you know, people are more living nowadays. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I, I'm not gonna really talk about the the apartments thing only because that has to actually involve politics. But I'm yeah, just gonna leave I, I it at it. that. I'll tell you later about that, about what are my true feelings about that. But yeah, um, but yeah, dude. In general, just I I do miss arcades, what they used to be. But you know, at least we still have round one. Uh, yeah, true. And, and you then, know, we still have classic arcades. You know that keep the spirit alive. You know, like like I said. Like that Gamer's Paradise place in Las Vegas. That, that place is really badass. I need to find yeah. more arcades here, though, that aren't round one. Dude, we need we need to meet up like, to arcades once we do have time, for sure. And once um, once the uh, pandemic is over, because I'm not going I'm not yeah. going to a fucking arcade right now. Yeah. Wait, at least, guys, wait uh, at least for we're not having anything. Well, at least we have a vaccine for the COVID in order to... Bro, if well, I'm would, if I refuse yeah, to go to a gym, I'm not going to an arcade. I mean, arcades are pretty gross as is. Exactly. In the middle of a worldwide thing. Exactly. I still were I still were my revenge against Shane though, because he beat him one gun. Oh yeah. Also, do you remember I beat that guy at at Anime Expo on um in this was the arcade stage? Oh, using, using using my fucking sim racing skills because he was like, oh, it's tournament rules or whatever. I'm like, all right. <laughs> everyone. I'm like, for us. I'm like looking butt in the back. I'm like, okay. Dude, all it was, I just did. I just did a switch back on him. Like I made him run wide, and I just went. I just took the inside line at the last minute, and he was just like, "You played this game before?" And I'm like, "No, no." And he was like, "How? How did you win?" I'm just, I'm just like, dude. I just do a lot of competition racing. Like, I, and I'm like, even if this is an arcade game, like I do sim racing. So like, I just, I just like forced you to a mistake, pretty much. That's all I had to do. <laughs> Just said I'm better than you, and just left it. At that. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you, you just destroyed every person. I'm like, oh god. Yeah, and I, that's when I realized, damn, this is a great game. I I have to get uh, an arcade emulator like um, Mame Dude, or you, something, or whatever it's called. Act, people do make playthroughs of that game. Which is why, which is why I'm saying, like, um, I think there's an arcade em emulator called Mame. Although this was like back in the day. I think that was for like 2D fighting games. I know for sure there's emulators out there to emulate the newer initial D arcade games, which is what I definitely want to do. I want to use the wheel and stream it sometime and just, you know, play arcade games and shit. Just because, like, I love, like, I said this a million, a million times before, right? I love competitive, um, initial D arcade stage eight, I think it is, the latest one. Yeah, it was, it was stage eight. It was a VD, actually. As much as I love doing 
sim racing and as much as I love air quotes being a competitive driver and air quotes top split even though I just barely got in that's not what I'm basing my entire channel off if I don't want to be just one single thing I want to be like arrow or Jimmy where it's like I want to be a variety you know and Rhino I want to be a variety you know I think that's what matters to me more you're gonna have your guys who do their own thing like you know Cyrus is mainly AC and GT Pelicans mainly GT um, etc but I don't want to be that I want to be diverse you know when it comes to like my automotive content Oop, hit, hit the tire barrier. Don't matter though, it's a waste of time. We're wasting time, we're letting the count clock, the timer go down. And we have a two lap lead, so we're good. Get Techno Parrot? I've never heard of that, uh, Pinkum. On the topic of uh, arcades, I think something else is kind of sad about arcades dying out is that like, on home consoles and PC, you don't really get the same kinds of games as you would in like an arcade cabinet, right? Like, you'll never see you don't really see home console games that are like Daytona USA or whatever, right? It's yeah. Like they they a sort of different style, and so you lose that very arcade style. The charm, so music, like like just the wackiness and stuff. There, are, Dude, you do have you like. That obviously would give them high like hardware limitations and such, but it's still like very iconic styles. And it's like, Dude, like well, you forget. I lost that. It's like you, you mentioned Daytona, right? Like the music. Oh my God, good music. Ten out of ten. Like it, it's actually like it made a, it's basically a meme because of the, of Daytona because of the music. But it's a great yeah, meme. Yeah. yeah, it's a good meme though. It's wonderful. It it really is. Like it's it's really amazing. You know, just like. I don't know, man. It's just I I I do miss that. I do miss that charm. But at the same time, like, I could see why we're moving away from it. You know, you can't really be stuck in the 90s forever. As much as people yeah. love whatever generation they grew up in, like, I, I'm I'm a 90s baby, but I grew up in the 2000s. Like, I'm not going to lie and say I grew up in the 90s because I was five years old. I was four years old when the 90s ended. I only remember carts, and that's it, and cartoons. <laughs> that's, okay. all I, <laughs> that's all I remember. I'm from 94, so I'm going to have a great memory from early earlier than 2000 however like as much as i love the generation that grew up in i'm not gonna say you know like we need to keep the generation like it is because everything has to change somehow you have to evolve eventually like you can't be stuck in one time period forever otherwise it'll get boring it's nice to go back in time and look at it but at the same time the progression should be you know it, it, sh it should be done well and i unfortunately i feel like some aspects of gaming are kind of losing that um that charm as i mentioned before yeah, and I think like a lot of that charm from the sort of arcade time is because you know games in those times you have to be eye catching, you have to catch your attention like, immediately, you have to be intrigued. It. So it's very sort of flashy, over the top kind of stuff. And it's like I don't necessarily want to completely bring that back, but it's like that sort of like overconfidence in the game design is like kind of charming in its own sense. It's like it's kind of a shame. You know what's the perfect example of that? You were three years you were three years into your job when the nineties ended, you were twenty two. Holy shit, really, Crimson. Wow. Um oh. so you know what the perfect example of that is? Any uh fifth generation and back. So you look at like box title like box cover arts, obviously eight bit graphics like an NES and sixteen bit graphics like Super Nintendo or whatever. Obviously, you know, you can't really put the graphics of the games on the on the cover art. You could like some some of the original Nintendo games like Metroid did but like some of the creative box covers like Castlevania holy shit some of the art dude they, they used to do for games were so cool now it's just literally a screenshot from the game you know which is fine and everything but man sometimes the, the creative art direction for like creating box the box cover arts were amazing yeah by the way you want nostalgia yeah go for it I have two videos of the entrance, and I actually have a uh, picture, or not video, a video of the Tony USA in its uh, old glory. In its old glory, nice. You know, the, you know what the like? It was like you know those seats where the, it's a car, and it's like the old like how to say it. You take a look at the video. It's basically an old like version of Daytona, and it's like what would be its prime. So there's that. Well, the issue too, Daniel, is that since there was no internet and no way of like properly advertising apart from like commercials on TV, you kind of had to advertise the game through the um, cover art itself. 
which is why a lot of companies back in the day were super creative with their box art. You kind of had to sell games through that because there wasn't word of mouth wasn't really a thing like it is now. The only thing we had were CBS that not even here in Brazil and uh, and magazines, gaming magazines. So yeah, it's like to advertise the game, you really have to know what you're doing to make the game eye catching. Yeah, I <laughs> it was really, I really, born in 2012. I'm not gonna lie, I miss the old arcades, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Now we're playing in our, you know, in our homes, with our, you know, more like, you know, realistic, more accessible. You don't have to worry about quarters because you just spent the thing. So, and now think about that, the, the consoles, the um, the uh, arcades, they kind of feel like they're the bigger version of the console, in a way. Because it just feel like, because they have like they put they're, they again they put all their stuff inside that thing that big box and the only reason why they're big because they want to sit down or you know or do that. Rishi and, and Rishi and Castro are right on both ends only because like Rishi is right about not judging a book from its cover. Also, damn Rishi, you sound really deep for an eight year old. Growth hormones. Um, I was, I was, it's, it's a voice modulator. <laughs> yeah, voice modulator. Um. While while Rishi is right on the um, not judging a book by its cover, Castro is right about the um, they're there for a reason because you kind of you you have to pitch your game to get it to sell by having cool uh, cover art. That's how I, it, you know it wasn't until maybe PS2 I'd say where like actual reviews like you kind of had it you know at least in the US with X Play on you know G4 and then we had IGN and stuff that's when you actually got the chance to like have internet reviews and other people review it and stuff instead of just warts mouth or pretty much playing the lottery essentially with buying old games yeah the uh, the I... best uh, way to buy games is going to like GameStop getting the pre-owned like copies and the box art's all uh, covered it was not covered GameStop Boxer. Oh that's my god. It's got, that, it's got that custom boxer. It's so great. You can't tell anything about the game. You just see the title. It's like an action it's like a, it's like two action characters, like generic ones, but one with a gun yeah, and then sure. one with the little GameStop bag <laughs> with glasses. Oh my god, dude. So, good. <laughs> so bad it's good. <laughs> this is starting to become really nostalgic for some son. Jeez. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, it's, 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 Right. Let's see here. Um, you didn't get your first computer until you were in high school, which is a glorified typewriter. It could run Word, when it, which was amazing. But like, what kind of computer are you talking? About, like, are you talking about like Windows ninety five? Are you talking about something like Commodore sixty four? Like an Amiga? Like, what are you talking about, uh, Crimson in, in particular? Um, let's see. What I mean is, without the cover, how do you determine what books you decide to read and which ones you don't? Do you just read all of them, none of them, or choose them random, or what? Read them in the bookstore and never pay for books again. Dude, that was me every single uh, elementary school book uh, book fair. Find a book, <laughs> sit down and read it. Or, bro, with, at my age, when I had when PS2 was was the thing, is every single kid would do this. Go to like go to the other section, get the book with all the cheat codes, get a piece of paper, write down all the cheat codes for the games you own, and just put the book back on the shelf. Oh my god, book fairs are so great. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. We need to bring back, we need to normalize book fairs for like adults. Dude. Yeah, Lotus, last half hour. Dude. Honestly, the only book that. Oh, I put it to the image in Yeah, I saw it. It looks action packed and all that. I agree, the guy is holding the controller like a guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, yeah! That's, that's the fucking GameStop art! Oh my god! <laughs> it's so fucking bad, and then like I love how the ERCB rating is just like I don't know what font that is. It's like Arial or some shit. Like like stance like. Jesus. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna post it in the chat. That's the old Sorry. GameStop art from like PS2 games. Oh yeah. <laughs> so oh, fucking this. bad. You know, you know the game, the, the arcade is bad when it can fit the whole screen. Was that at, oh, um, yeah. what was this? Disney, 
This is in Fun Factory. Oh. USA. You look at it. It's, it cut off the top of the screen. <laughs> Castro's like, God damn, that's weird. And then Fiends just says, Oh, jeez, I have a few of those boxes. Dude, Dude I, I didn't. Got, I got one of them for fucking Bakugan, game. It's so good. <laughs> 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 but for the record, the Bakugan game is actually really good. So, <laughs> 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 the first time I played it, the first time I played it, oh I actually read it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hello, Adam. How's it going, dude? Um, Lotus, do you want to join us, by the way? Or we're doing Nurburgring right after. Wait, you're almost done? Yeah, dude. 30, 25 minutes left uh, of this race. And then, and then right after we move to Nurburgring. Hold on. Let me... I'm once I'm done with this race, I'm going to go watch the rest of the stream. That means cool. you're good? All right, man. No problem. Because I want to watch this, uh, the ending. I'm doing so great. Long. Thank you for asking, Adam. We're just, um... Finally, good pot to finish the LP. Whoa, 24 more hours after this. Yeah, boy. Unless we, have, unless we somehow have to do level grinding, which if we do, I'm gonna be pissed. We used to just do all 24 hours of level grinding tonight to keep going the stream 24 hours. Well, here's the thing. Um, when I eventually LP Gran Turismo 4. I think for the 24 hours of Nurburgring, I'm going to do 200 A spec points, all 24 by myself in one sitting. That's going to be the goal because oh, no. by the time... Oh. But here's the thing. The car that I use, it's slower than the... Um, in the straight line, it's much slower than the DTMs and the... G uh, it's much slower than the DTMs, but in the corners, it's amazing. So I wouldn't really give a shit regardless. Um, Will a boy and exit a man. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Daniel just sent what? me some um, generic uh, EB Games terrible box art covers oh, from New Zealand. <laughs> oh my I god, need, that's terrible. Dude, I, I need to see this. Okay, this hold, on. Like, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to post them. This is going to be straight up like I'm, I'm parking in the middle. I don't I don't even care. Like, wait, the, what is this? The what, right. is this what is this? Wait. This is cut off. I always see it's a trophy. Oh, we'll put, put height 670. Oh, 67. sorry. Um, hold on a second. You know what? Right I'm cool with parking on the side only because, like, who cares? Like, I'm already leading by two laps. I'll read you guys' comments in a bit. Just give me a second here. Um, let me. Oh, I gotta this open up the link. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh bro, he's, he's, he's a champion, bro. He's number one. <laughs> he's a champion. <laughs> he's finished the race so oh. far ahead. Oh, he finished so far ahead. E2 and E3 oh, haven't oh, finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so generic. It's more generic than, like, 99 cents for a cereal <laughs> brand. It's more generic than like, than like fruity boulders instead of like fruity pebbles. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Daniel, you had to curse me with that. Game store generic box art. So <laughs> <laughs> like the retro game store that I used to work at, it was literally just our logo and then just the title and the game written in Sharpie. Like it was, it wasn't cringe, but like, it, it still was just kind of cheap. <laughs> Waiting for other folks to talk with another server. Gotcha. You know what I gotta do, uh, Lotus? What I have to do is I literally have to. Um, I gotta get the THR boys together. Like some of the people in the Highway Runners. I just don't. I'm just too lazy to, to ping or to ask Thunder and be like, "Hey, can we get a session going?" Because here's the thing. I'm part of like two private servers that you know with with a group of friends and then obviously i'm part of a well i'm part of three if counting thr i gotta get the thr guys together because the thing is i keep telling myself okay i gotta get like my group or the groups that i'm in get a recording session with different people all the time but i'm just too lazy i literally do it the last minute i'm like mikhail you want to join me and he's like sure and then from there we just get arthur and rishi and whoever else decides to join dude i was gonna like do some like root x like chill sessions and then all of a sudden you came out okay sure why not <laughs> no, because no, I'm practicing. I was like preparing my. Dude, I I'm was practicing. preparing my cup of um, CBT on the Estelle uh, Cosa Competizione. I Dude, keep... I'm just. I, I I keep overshooting the Molsons and I have to realize like it's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. I have to just take it easy around these corners and Are not you push. Are gonna make IJK, or are you just gonna keep <laughs> taking the run off? Absolutely not. What I need to do right now is I'm loading up um, the video for. Here's the thing, replays don't save if you save midway. So what I'm gonna do is um, 
recreate the start of the race. Well, if I can, that is. I'll have to mess with the weather. Recreate the start of the race. And then um, just save the replay after the first chicane or the Dunlop chicane. So that way I can uh, create a thumbnail for the beginning because I want it to be as accurate as possible. I think the thumbnail should be the, uh, the game stop box art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the thumbnail. <laughs> No, 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 just, just have the, uh, like, just put the car they use. In, yeah. And in, 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 in the box art, just put it over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. Dude, that, is, that is amazing. It's awesome. fucking glorious, dude. Um, I'm trying to think what else, man. Like, oh, dude, GameStop controllers? Do you guys. Uh, no, no, Adam. I haven't started GT4 yet. When I was streaming GT4 the other day, it was just a dick around with the Japanese licenses. Which, some of them I got gold instantly, others not so much. Uh, so the order is GT5, then GT6. I'm gonna redo GT1 only because Rhino's doing it, and that a, watching him play gave me the urge to play it again, because, oh my god, that game is so much fun. Then 2, 3, then 4. Uh, and then 7, then yeah, currently off stream, I'm working on Let's Play Gran Turismo Sport. I'm only doing, I'm, um, I'm right now in part episode three is all of the sport mode online achievements. So I'm literally grinding on daily race A because fuck doing daily <laughs> race C. And dude, what's funny is literally what I'm doing is just like, I already got the 20 wins, 20 pulls. I just need to get the 50 fast laps and 100 races. So what I'm literally just gonna do is compile together like the five best races from sport mode and then every other achievement is just going to be like one second clips of me getting the fast laps and wins just mushed yeah, together like 90 wins or something no i'm not doing the trophy hunting for the game fuck 91 wins fuck 322 races i don't have the patience for that 100 is enough you said you were going for, uh, the achievements. well the in-game achievements yeah the in-game ones go up to 100. No, I, guess they, I guess they don't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the trophies that go up to 322. That's... Yeah, that's totally yeah, the, 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 the most complicated would be the 15 game races. Oh, dude. I'm doing that right now, and because I keep getting hit by bad drivers, um, I'm literally crawling at a snail's pace in the back, so my, my fucking uh, DR went from like 35,000 to 25. Oh, yeah. By the way, I just got myself an Audi Genesis Group 3 car. Very nice. It's, Let's see it's not bad. It's, it's not a bad car either. It's actually improved. Yeah, DT this was like give me power, power to the candidate. Anyway, anyways, let's go and go to your stream and see what's going on. Suddenly, suddenly the he and I will have something like seven hundred horsepower. I still no one will be able to. By the way, I'm still looking for the for the ID and I, I E R C for sure. Which is why, Lotus, I'm starting to record the game now, because I don't know when the online is going to go down. Assuming from past generations of Gran Turismo, let's say GT7 comes out December, right, as a launch title, or let's say it comes out in 2021. I don't know. Usually when the new GT comes out, they usually kill off the online for the net for the previous one in like five months. That's usually how it goes. So that's why I'm trying to do the, the sport mode and the online stuff now for the LP instead of later. And also, when um, I do GT League, I'm, it's going to be a uh, group session because those races are boring. And I'm not going to do any, like, N100 cars against N500 because no matter what, the AI is just boring to race with no matter what. So it doesn't matter. I just, I just want to get all the GT League stuff done when the time comes and when that's all finished and no new updates. Oh, hi, Mikhail. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah. How are you? Hey, Mikhail. I'm just make sure that my uh, stream is like in line with the uh, chat on my PS4, so yeah, it, should, it should be good. It's good enough. But um, seventeen anyway, minutes. Oh, 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 nice strip from that corner. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> my my strat for GT Sport is gonna be wait till everyone moves on to GT7 and then go grind DR on the daily races. Dude, I'm You're still like, gonna be there. Seventy-five thousand. I'm still gonna be there, so I'm gonna race you to the end, dude. Yeah, Lotus, I feel you on that. Uh, I mean, you do have the PSN party chat, right? So, you know, you can invite some of your homies through that. Unless no one has. I mean, I think the only person who has a PS4 is probably Ender? I don't know. Well, Ender for sure has a PS4, but I don't know. I don't know anyone in... That's the thing. I'm terrible when it comes to Discord servers, only because, like, 
Thunder Q, um, okay, so here's the thing. I'm terrible with Discord servers, as you know, because I join them and I never speak, and I rarely, I rarely pop in, I'm like, I say one thing and I leave. That's, that's why I got rid of my own server. But see, that's the thing, I'm part, like, I need to change that for myself. But the thing is that, like, I guess I've been focusing more on myself, which is why I don't communicate much in Discord servers, but I need to start changing that, because you have this great community of people, aka, let's say, Let's say, okay, the Highway Runners, Arrow and Skid Kids, TRE's private server, etc. It doesn't matter, you know, who, are, who is in the server, who isn't. It's just the fact that I'm in, I'm in these several communities and I never communicate with anybody. Although I communicate with them on streams, I never communicate anywhere else. I need to change that. And I'm not saying, like, I need to force myself into Big conversation. I'm, I'm not saying I need to force myself to talk. It's not like I need to go pinging Lotus and be like, Hey Lotus, I need to talk to somebody since uh, you're in the server with me. Blah 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 blah. No, I just need to go and just start actually contributing because I just don't. And it's not that I get scared to. I just I'm a lazy fuck and I just don't talk in Discord servers. Dude, that is I mean, I still I still talk to you. I still might write like you know yeah. stuff. Right, exactly. Let's see here. Um, you're way too active in a lot of Discords for your own good. You're in seven servers and you get overwhelmed, Rishi. Dude, do you know how many servers I have now? How many? Around like 40. Jesus Christ. Well, all each needs so. So here's what happens when you become a when you become a person that is into anime slash racing slash sports slash etc etc etc. Cetera, et cetera, you're gonna have a lot of servers. Etc. 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 That's yeah, why yeah, I yeah. intentionally just don't get interested in things that way. I can keep yeah. my Discord service clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me check what my server running. Like, 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 oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Thirty-five servers. Yikes! Out of out of the eight servers I am in, Arthur, I think you have six mutual servers. <laughs> and I'm like, how are you everywhere? <laughs> I don't understand. No, I was gonna like, say. I'll go to, like, the how many mutual servers are all you guys in? I don't remember that last time it happened. Like that, it was like I I guess it was on ESGT. Uh, one, somebody, somebody, I'm, and I'm like, I really like, I'm also here, I feel like, yeah. No, I'm really like, I'm really like, I'm really like, I'm really Jesus dude, Christ. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, so, dude, dude, dude. Arthur, sorry, really quick. Dude. Arthur, Arthur is an eight mutual service, Mikhail's in ten, and Rishi's in three. So go on, Mikhail, sorry. I was the same. Sometimes I'll be crashing with Rishi all of a sudden, like, wait, hi, Rishi, why are you here now? And he was like freaking out because I. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Thank you for the follow. I, really I will, I will certainly lick your balls if you are of age. That is. Every once in a while, I just join a server, and ninety-nine percent of the time, either Arthur or Mikhail is there. And I was like, what? <laughs> Female 16? Yeah, you're not yeah, you're not of age. We are just waiting for you. Also, females don't have balls. I learned that when I was seven years old. There's like two servers, not counting like school servers, I don't count those, but like Sorry, two servers, neither of you are. I love all my other servers. You sure this female doesn't? Oh my god, and we just crashed. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, yeah, that is a thing. So I'm like, I fight for my friends. That's exactly. That reminds me of South Park. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Rishi. Yeah, let's not go into the topic too much. But yeah, uh, th th thanks, are... thanks for the follow. Hold on a second. What Are the fuck did you just walk into? I have no idea. 12 minutes left of this race. Alright, so we have, we have four servers, by the way, me and Rishi. Yeah, four. I know you're still in. I know you're still in the server, actually. I'm. I'm just asking the same question to you, Rishi. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> Wait. So we're in um, ERC, right? Okay. Um, let's. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna check my my mutual service with Mikhail as well. I don't think I. I don't think I've checked Catful server in like. Happening. Let's see here. Ar Arrow and the Skid Kids. Um, I'm starting to become a little bit more active there. ESGT. Uh, I don't compete in it anymore. Uh, ERC. I don't know why I'm in there. GT Hub. I literally use. For <laughs> uh, G G 
GT Hub? Help you to get some good stuff. You can see no streams. Yeah, they offer actual like racing streams like on the down low. Uh, the gym cord. I like the gym cord. It's just way too many people talking at once. So like, I, I Rishi has it done right. Like he has his little click inside the gym cord, and like they they talk all at, at once, and so he knows. Oh, he knows when to execute the conversations with, with some of his people in there. I always call it a click. I always say it clicks and keeps nah, it. Nah, it's a click. The yeah, cat, the cat cool the chat. We have, we have the, the cat cool chat, I only use it for the voice chat in there to talk to Rick and Celica sometimes and like the admin stuff. Yeah. Marvin the Gamer chat, I'm rarely in there. Sky Hurricane chat, I'm rarely in there. Emil's That's private true. server, I lurk in there a lot. And then the Cyrus's Dino Cave, I'm in there quite a bit. I'm surprised that Wells only have three actually servers in common, which is less than I thought. I was guess, surprised that uh, since uh, you need three to serve, I guess that's one less. Yeah, I, I guess one of the other three servers that. Alright, who am I supposed to? Okay, okay, so Arthur, so the servers that I'm with is Arrow and Skid Kids, ESGT, ERC, GT Hub. Jimmy's server, Cat Cole server, Marvin, more support chat. What? Um, TCJ, Romeo, and Cyrus. Cyrus. Sorry, I, I missed the comment before um, like my boss uh, followed. Um, I have Lotus said I have my own two servers, public and private. I'm in THR. You mod Thunder's public server as well as, as well, and I'm part of like a hell of a lot more. I see. A lot of different servers I see. Who who watches Sky? I do, Daniel. Um, Sky Hurricane's a really nice dude. I'm just not super active in his community, only because like, I I watch his like driving stuff because I feel like it's more it's just super casual and just much different than the usual racing yeah. stuff. It's it's a bit of a he has a bit of a different niche, but he mostly does like Minecraft and stuff, and I'm not really a fan of Minecraft. Um, yeah. let's see here. I remember when. Skyler can used to host lobbies on YouTube, but I'm like, yeah, I began to feel bad because I was sometimes crashing everyone on the races. I'm like, yeah, I think people will be kind of mad at me because usually I was, I only had tuning for the OP cards that I was using them without shame. Oh. <clears throat> you had um, a lot of active people? Okay, so my problem, Lotus, was that. I, I think I could have had active people on my Discord, but the problem is that running a Discord server stressed me out because not only of other life stresses, but it's just the idea that like I had a server that I had to run and like I gave it no love and affection, so therefore no one really was active in it. People could have been active, but they weren't because of my it was my own fault. So that's why I got rid of it, just because I I thought it was just too much of a pressure for me to run it at that point, and I just I might bring it back in the future, but only if I actually have a real game plan for it. Like, I can't rely on my mods to do everything for me, and, like, <coughs> if I'm not gonna do nothing with it, you know what I mean? Sorry, um, Mikhail, go by ahead. The way, guess how many, um, servers I have after counting? How many? Uh, past 100. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> why? Why, why are you in so many servers? Uh, because I think I just have more interest, and so I guess I don't know. I'm as shocked as well, to be honest. I don't know how I, how I yeah, that many. I think Mikhail has the same thing as me. Watching some streams on the internet, like, hey, who's my Discord server? I'll join. And I'm like, join. Put it in the <laughs> Discord folder and be like, yeah, whatever, I remember OP. <laughs> I used to have the same problem until I recently decided, I recently remember, or not recently remember, but I realized that. Okay, I'm in way too many servers. I don't know what's what. And I need to go through and just get get rid of some of the, you know, get out of some of the that, servers. That's what we need to do. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these servers. In total, I'm in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm in twenty total servers, and I want to say I, I frequently visit like fifteen of them. The thing is that most of the servers that I'm in now, um, they're super small, low key, and they're just servers that like my friends who don't stream, who play COD, or who do iRacing, uh, they created just for themselves. Or like, in one case, um, I'm in I'm in a server, I'm in a super private server that's all like um, people who are in racing, mainly like in the lower levels of NASCAR, and they all shit post in there. No names, obviously, I, out of respect. I found, uh, yeah. I think that's the same thing. Sorry. 
first. Uh, I found who has the most uh, servers in common. Yeah, I think the seven out of ten servers that I've been. <laughs> so uh, like, oh, hey. possible. Uh, it's Apollo. Oh, oh it's not a surprise. Oh, Apollo. And then seven of my servers. Good old I think, Apollo. I think there's some servers that are public, some that are like private, and like different kind of like parts of you know the community. So it just everywhere. Right. I think, yeah, it's probably because I've always wanted to like, meet like a lot of people, because that's just me. But I also want to like also connect to the old, like, you know, not old, but like to my other friends, like, you know, you guys stuff. Because it makes it more of a connection. So it's kind of like a hard thing to do, to be honest. I think I might need to do the same thing you do. It's like, for those I don't go, I'm bad to leave. Because, oh boy, on yeah. servers, I didn't think that was going to be a thing, but I guess it is. Yeah, that's just too many, unless, like, you somehow have the time to actually go on all of them. Um, yeah, and there, most of the Discord servers that I'm in now are just either, like I said, either f private friend ones, or communities that I actually, um, I can, you know, I'm actually active in. Um, Pinkham says, I used to be to I used to be in tons of servers, you left them, you're in 21 different servers from racing, game, tech, and cars. Yeah, see, I, like I said, I used to be in those too, but like, I I'll read you some of my servers right now. Um, actually, I'll s we'll say that for the Nurburgring recording. Yeah. Because because we're now about like four minutes and forty five seconds, I think. Yep. Yeah. Like one and a half laps away from total glory. This is one server that I don't even know how I got there, but somehow the moderator <laughs> and like I popped in like once a week and like, <laughs> and like it's such a weird server too. Right? Like it, it's like one of those weird sort of. Um, like, like, everyone's on drugs kind of server. You are, it's weird. It's Why are you there? Yeah. Hey, it's Chris, a.k.a. Mr. I, I made it into Top Split last night, and everyone in my chat was cheering for you because of how awesome you did. What's up, Chris? Hi, Chris. Oh, yeah. I can show you, like, a screenshot of the channels that are here and all. Like, yeah, like, let's go. Let's see. I can't even. Okay, so there's probably close to a hundred different channels in the server. It's so weird. It's like, um, it's based on like the uh, that story about the that infinite library, right? It contains all all written books ever, right? That Spanish yeah. story. Yeah. Um, so here's <laughs> there's some stuff here. <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, uh, Chris. <laughs> oh, I see beans. So weird. I, I don't know how I got there. Chris, Chicane, both start with a C. Oh, Daniel, that's that's something what? too. That's exactly why I um I don't have so many servers because Jesus, Christ, what the f what the fuck is that? I don't understand. It. What I server like is that. this? And because there's so many channels, most of them never even get used. Like some of these haven't been used since January. 2020 or uh, October 2019. It's like, all right, well, I'm here, I guess. One thing I, it, um... <laughs> dude, I love how it's important people, music, documentaries, woke communities, websites, <laughs> cognitive program, quantum. I don't know what the hell it is. AI it's and so futurism, cool. science papers, misc theories, history, culture, military projects, false governance, conspiracies, and extraterrestrial. Mythology and religion and science philosophy. Yeah, so if you know the story of the Library of Babel, it's kind of like in theme with it. You know, like it's there's so much stuff just everywhere. But it's still really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you called Castro? And then there's this um, like um, there's Final this Lap Google Doc they have with it. They have this like weird super long Google Doc where you can just type in basically whatever just type in random words right yeah and it's so good it's it's like five thousand pages long or something <laughs> that's wild i just don't know how i got there <laughs> and why i'm a moderator i mean i'm pretty wait you're a mod what i'm a mod man like i don't even know they were just like hey i want to be a mod and like, yeah sure <laughs> 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 I think I'm in, I'm think I'm in a lot of like another server now. The, you know the gallery server that I told you about, Shikane? Yeah. Yeah, I'm now officially an admin, so yay. Oh, fuck. 
so stuff. Oh god, what the, what the hell happened there? Bro, this Pescarolo has seen like so much abuse and crash and yeah. wear and tear. Hey, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be in the bigger lane anyway, so. Yeah, by two laps. I'm doing what um they couldn't do in 05. They almost they almost won. Oh, they they weren't like super close to winning, but they had a good chance that year, I think. But now you gotta bring them I to think the victory. The best chance Pescarolo had. Wasn't like and Sebastian Loeb driving the car that year? Probably. And you know what the funny part is? I, you probably finished the uh, race way before the real race that finished. So, there you go. 388 laps. Not bad. Um, read chat. We are reading chat. <laughs> so, sometimes, here, here, here's the thing. Can you send F in chat? Oh my friend, that she's doing a diet of calorie control. Calor... what? Calorie counting. Calories counting. What's her limit she's for the diet. day? I don't know, but she's already freaking out to the second day of diet. Jeez. Anyways, here we go. GG, this is the final lap by the looks of it. Lamont yeah, music from Grid. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right, the Lamar's music at Grid, yeah. I don't know what the music is, however, um, whenever I think about Lamar, I think about uh, She Sells Sanctuary only because uh, Radio Lamar played it all the time for their uh, commercial breaks in 2018. I always think about that song by the cult. But uh, let's see here. Oh, but yeah, if, if you guys notice me reading, so I will say, if you guys notice me reading chat super late, obviously that's because I don't like to interrupt over the other people talking or I try not to as much as possible. So it would be kind of rude. That's why I either A, address it kind of late, or B, whenever I can, just type a response with text because, yeah. Or you can use me because I have a PS4 and I can get the chat right away. Yeah, and if you can read chat, honestly, I don't care. So, uh, yeah, so um, how does it feel to become a LeBron's winner? Uh, I should wait. I cannot say it because guess what? A certain team has failed to do it when they got slow. I'm not driving a Toyota, okay? <laughs> just crash on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> just give the Audi his right. two laps back. Right. Like, right. like here you right. go. Oh, but actually, I can't. He can't get his two laps back because the, the clock already hit 24, so he can't win any anyways. Even if we stopped drive. in the middle. Drive backwards. <laughs> Undo your laps. <laughs> Undo my laps. And everyone's saying Team Rick, Team Rick, Team Rick, Team Rick, Team Rick. Dude, Rick. if Team Rick doesn't sign me because of Seek Stanford Chicane, I'm gonna like that's the only team I wanna drive for. Honestly, Team Rick. They better sign me. Yeah, or else or else or I'm, I'm gonna boycott the next Team Rick race. Oh shoot. Anyways, here we go. And Actually they they still owe I still owe them payback because <laughs> <laughs> they sure oh. not. I, I I still owe him payback because they wrecked me in, in that one practice where Arrow and Rhino sent me flying into the stratosphere. Here we go, coming out of the uh, final fusion. F1 here team! Here we go, here we go. To the finish line. And GG. We did it! Woo! Finally! Congratulations. It's over! Ten, ten months later. Woo! <laughs> Finally, um, I'm not playing the F1 theme, uh, theme because you know F F1 is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, you get a free song request, Arthur, because you wasted your. Well, actually, I can refund you if I decline your song request on the management. I can actually give you your points back, so it's not a problem. And get a refund. Oh yeah. Ten fucking months later, we did it, boys! Woo! <laughs> Seven hundred and ninety-four thousand. We're level thirty-nine. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> How much more do we need to get to level 40? Okay, um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the race right now to get the thumbnail for for the first six hours. So I'll do a shitty transition right now. All right, so we're barely okay. We don't need that much points left for level 40 to be honest. But the price card that we get for this race is actually a pretty good one. What we win is the Audi R8 race car. Team PlayStation Oreca from 2005, the LMP1 car. Ooh, that looks nice. And we've got 270 cars now, so we have matte pink, which is cool. Which, oh wait, if we have matte pink, we could do. Re oh, no, 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 no. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what, what I'm gonna do. Give the street car painted pink. No, 
No, no, no. Race car. Pink race car. That's what I'm what doing. Is the, what is your driver in, his, in that profile picture doing? <laughs> he's like, he's hitting the squat, you know? <laughs> he's he's shaking hands with the, the beast back uh, coordinator. No, I mean in the uh, top left where he's squatting. Horn number 261. Great. So there's our wonderful Audi R8. Too bad, it, too bad it never came in GT4 because that would have made more sense, but it was supposed to be GT HD was, was when I was the original yeah. concept of GT HD when that car was supposed to be used. So How did yeah. Audi fucking name a car the R8 and then name another car the R8? Like, what the fuck? Okay, look, yeah, look at that um, oh, profile. Okay, I should have taken the car real quick. It's a standard car, unfortunately. But there it is, guys. That's our car. So... Thank you so much for watching this video on YouTube. Next time on Gran Turismo 5, we're going to end this LP once and for all with the first six hours of the 24 hours of Nürburgring.